Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're starting the next Sly game. We're talking Sly 3 here. Um, yeah, we finished 1 and 2. It's time to hit the 3rd. Um, I remember the 3rd being very, very good. Most people kind of debate whether 2 or 3 is better. Um, a lot of people say 3 is better. But 2 is almost better in the sense that it had more innovation between games. Um, and I'm actually kind of slightly inclined to agree with that point of view is that I do think 3 is better gameplay wise, visual wise, you know, but 2 did so much to improve itself. Either way, we're here uh, playing 3 and we're going to start out on an island. Now once again, I have not played this game in <clears throat> probably a decade. I was but a ye lad when I last played it so um, I do know most of the story and stuff like that but I haven't played it in a while so this should be a whole lot of fun oh just like Cooper do I have to press ok for this nope he just stands there for a while ok cool I was wondering I'm like is that stuck Oh, there we go. Okay, that was intro screen. Fun. Um, okay, so here we go. Slide three. Honor Among Thieves. This is it, Sly. The gang's assembled and are in position to help you get up to that vault. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Wonder who that is. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. Our pumps. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I die. Right. die. Well, we know a couple right, of those people. Crime of the century and the balls in motion. Isn't that technically our vault, though? I guess spoiler, but pretty sure that's our vault. Why does he even let me climb up here? It's obvious I, I gotta go this way. Alright, let's uh, see. I want to make sure if there's like little collectibles. I forgot how the game works as far as collectibles. I don't think there's like any like bottles or anything in this starting area. So I guess we can just keep moving on here. All the controls are mainly the same. What in the world is that? That sounds dirty actually um have stopped rolling we've got an obstruction I'm on it. Zoink. Amazon right now Thank you, old speaking man. Nice work. The ball's got a track. Over. I am the ball. I'm also round in real life, so that works out. Hello. Ball requesting door. Grenade, please. Over. Launching. Stand clear. Very epic. Alright, we make our way inside. Although, <clears throat> it would have been easier to just, uh, maybe bring a boat up to this area, and then you can just, like, climb two feet. Just saying. Come on, Sly Gang. Wasting the resources up in here. Okay. Rocks? Do, ro do, co do rocks have coins? Can I just break that? Okay, apparently I can't just break that. Okay. What? Oh, is there? Is that a lab under me? Oh, there's a homie in the water with sharks around them. That's actually kind of brave. See, this is, I think, an actual contribution to the team right here. <clears throat> this is definitely something that someone would need to do compared to, to like throwing a firework How's at something. Oh, 
Very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And your son, uh, what's his name? Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well too, yeah? Mm, yeah. It's a shame you won't be seeing them again. Ah, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die any second now. Oh. 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 What are the guys, children, bro? Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richards got sloppy. Okay, so that's like an actual villain. We're not talking like a cartoony haha. -ha. The man just asked him about his kids and just killed him. That's like genuinely cold. So that's that's the type of motivation I need to want to play the game. I feel like I mean, I guess the Sly Cooper is a very cartoonish game, but a lot of the villains we've met are not that bad actually, which sounds whoops. Which sounds real bad, but... Well, apparently we're trash of being a thief. Oh. Oh yeah, he literally just gave us a code. Uh, oh, I am going the wrong way. All these guys are stormtroopers. They're not going to be able to hit me anyway, so... I wonder what fits in that hole. Cooper! You must be Sly Cooper, the new keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine, which now includes Shoot him down, the Bentley. vault and of the king. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. That's right. Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me. All right. Let's try not to get shot down by Monkey Boy over here. Keep coming, Bentley. Oh. Am I getting lucky, or am I actually a god gamer? I shouldn't have done that, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just jumped straight into the water. Why is it flooding? We didn't do anything. Did we break something essential? Did a uh, scuba boy over there <laughs> bust a pipe? We are almost home free. Bentley is in his wheelchair now for the last game. <clears throat> the boat's just up ahead. Still using his boat. There's no escape, Cooper. Uh, put down my turtle. Put down my turtle, dude. Yeah, probably. He looks like it. Definitely looks like a carnivore. Yo, put down my boy. If he wants to eat, eat this. Skirt. While he's threw away his only weapon. Sly, no! That's actually Hold terrifying. On, Sly. Hold on. Again, this game. Maybe I don't, maybe this game does make improvements over the second. This like is so much say, better. Your life really does flash before your eyes. And the art? Mm. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations. I was next in line to continue the Cooper name.
but fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. So did we play like the future? Because it seemed like we gathered a couple people there. All right, let's do this. And the one thing again, I will give this game is the art is much, much better. Okay, <clears throat> saving. Hazard room, two player, beginning of the end. Oh. This was what we just played, right? The beginning of the end? If we're gonna make it to the Cooper vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. There goes my phone. Okay, so I'm guessing they're just going to show us the things that we've learned in past games, right? Okay. All great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No. They never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gag marker I'm projecting. Oh. Great. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence phase two. I programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool thing, perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump, then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. Most standard knowledge, here we go. Alright, Bentley, what's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess, use the right analog stick? Yep, try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Sounds Excellent. about right. Now look up at that pillar. Oh. I'm projecting another marker. You're really telling me to look up and down? Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. 
Should be easy if you ping him with the L3 button and look around. Okay, Bentley. Oh, that's a camera. Oh, he just told me how to do something and instantly I clicked the wrong button. Clearly, I'm a genius. Alright, we run here. Zoink, zoink. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. Alright, job complete. Even though we didn't <clears throat> really do much. We're gonna do the next module here. You picked up a lot of skills after reading the previous Raccoonus. Heck of a page turner, that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. Okay. I mean, I'd be very surprised if Sly forgot this. <clears throat> what, has he been on vacation this whole time? Good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Raccoons love small spaces, don't they? Usually find them <clears throat> in your trash. They probably love small spaces. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. That was real impressive, really. Alright, <clears throat> job complete. We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. I agree with you, Bentley. Let's go ahead and get this get this rolling here. <clears throat> I know jumping is very hard, so I'm just glad we got through it. Alright, let's go uh, do some thieving. Alright, the Opera of Fear. Let's head inside. Start episode. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves. A group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback, where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about <laughs> rock music, and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. All right. Yeah, I didn't, almost didn't realize that when we were doing that mission, well, no, I, we did see Murray, so maybe that is new. I totally forgot. I'm like, where was Murray? That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him. Pretty sure it's pretty traumatizing seeing your uh, turtle friend's legs get squished. Must have sucked. All right, first map of the game. I have fond memories of this map. Boom, 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 boom. I love these boats. I I remember missing the boats quite often and just basically going swimming every other minute as a kid, but 
I remember liking this map quite a bit. And I do actually remember the layout of it too, so. Okay, so we got Sly, we got Bentley. No, actually we only got Sly right now. This is this is the Okay, so we still have the same uh store system. We got smoke bomb. We're gonna have to buy that quickly because that's extremely useful on alarm clock. Okay. Well, we'll have to gather enough money to get both of those, especially the smoke bomb, fairly quickly. It seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. Pizza, pizzeria. Give me the coinage. Right. That massive dope marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. There's a rope. Come on, Bentley. My boy does uh, Calculus 7 in his head, but... Come on, Bentley. I expect better of you, homie. Skirt! Well, let's head up there. Let's see what the cops are up to. Nice climbing, partner. I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. Hey, Murray? Is that you? That name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? <laughs> Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time. God! <laughs> Polita! Wait. Uh, okay, we gotta gotta keep him quiet. I, dude, I love Dimitri, dude. What a character. Um, flattery. Where's that He's definitely Dimitri gonna... you're so famous for? I always pegged you as the bigger man in these types of situations. I'm a big man, big with the payback and the sex appeal. <laughs> Got that end? I can throw the beat on this track. You're just the dancer. He didn't like that. All right, well, let's cut if him a deal. Those cops get their mitts on me. Who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out, and then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Grief. Wow. Okay. He's right. It'll be tough getting them out of here. I need a plan. <sighs> um. Let's just How about get the cops' attention, then run for it. Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cut lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Alright, let's do it. Okay, phone. I was, like, I was wondering who's the head cop, but you can already see. Let me go ahead. I want to hear this. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the pollution. I've yet to receive a warrant to search his opera house mansion, so we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Get out there and keep your eyes open. I've hired you mercenaries over traditional cops because this is a dangerous assignment. The neighborhood is filled with Yo, that's a big gun! Homie's packing. Get tough, or you won't last five minutes. I'm paying for results. The city of Venice needs this situation resolved now. 
Yo, okay. can I see her? I know you boys like things redundant, so I'm going to give you the presentation. Yo, what up, Carmelita? This time, pay attention. You're not getting paid to nap. Just she, let me get she gonna my say it again? Interesting. Yo, we got Carmelita. What up? What are you doing in uh? What are you doing in Venice? Your attention, please. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. Yo, how close can I get? As we all know, the canals of Venice have been at. mysteriously filling with talk what up? the last I... month. No one I feel is like sure it's not a good idea to like grab her leg, right? Our sources predict this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for disaster. Dude, why is Carmelita always in like the police precinct that we're in? Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Dimitri. So let's get back to business now. Where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. Okay. Uh, can't promise anything, but sure. Oh! You look a lot better in the dark, Petro. Huh. Really? You Yo, these guys, these guys kind of look intimidating, though. Like, not gonna lie. Oh, oh, look at their guns, bro. What are you protecting? This is Venice, Italy. You're protecting, like, the local pizzeria with that? Why? Good for you. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure. Just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear. You spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Murray. Big. This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Whoop. Slowly rotate the left analog stick until you feel a vibration. Stop, then go in the other direction, again feeling for the vibration. Then a reverse direction again, and stop when you get the third vibration. Once the green light goes on, let off the stick and you're in. So I used to do in school. There you go. I'll do like I promised and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway, I'll password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge, big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. All right. I'm guessing we gotta make a big old stink now. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper! Grab him, man! And I'm out. No, like, hello? How you doing? How's the weather? Just. Man, Carmelita. That's cold. Thought we were friends. Yeet? You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. Oh, my bad. Wait, she cheating on us? Sure. She's always really sucked with that gun, though. Has has she ever managed to actually hit us with that? Okay. Maybe I'm trash. Zoink. I think I'm the first person in history to actually fail that part. Yeah, I am. Boing, boing, boing. Does this give me money if I break this? Wow, okay. Well, I just broke someone's boat and I didn't even get money for it. Dude, are we just heading straight to her? Oh, what up? Greetings, old Inspector Fox! Man, <laughs> you're in it again! Hope that manhole works both ways. That's right! Hide in the sewers like the rat you are! Raccoon. Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, searcher. 
We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear, like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru and his wisdom told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on, I'm on a real spirit quest here. Sorry, sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't uh, have like Jack Black voice Murray. I think that would have been so good. I mean, look, no complaints. I like Murray's voice, but I think if they would have got Jack Black to do it, that would have made this game a masterpiece. Murray refuses to join the gang until the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected. As non-law operatives, we'll be able to tackle this situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find it. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Alright. Let's do it. I think we're gonna finally get to, like, explore the map. New training challenges. Um, you know what? I don't I really don't need them. But let's do it. I'm I wanna do the training things. Alright. I'm really gonna test your climbing skills oh, here. You okay. can use your cane to swing from hooks. Just jump and press the circle button again to latch on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've done this a couple million times. If you ever get in the jam, it's smart to climb your way out of trouble. I hear that. Press the circle button near that pipe to latch on and climb. Oh! <laughs> See, I'm making fun of it, but then I actually unironically fail it, so... Lord. Do we even need to climb that? I'd rather just fall. I just love pipes. Is that okay? So she's sure said. they're a thief's best friend, but don't forget wall hooks. Oh yeah, yeah. How could I forget the lovable wall hook? We First learn this at Jean Bassan's levels. Of course. I actually do not like these. Actually, they're, they're like a little weird to do. Maybe I'm just done slow. Yeah. You've made it through all my challenges. Hey, don't feel bad. Those wall hooks were kind of tricky. It was yeah. all supposed to be tricky. Anyhow, you've proven you know how to get around. A word to the wise. Anywhere you sense a thieving opportunity, you know, see the blue sparkles, you can use a circle button move. Pretty handy. Yes. Yes, it is. I think he could have combined all these in a single level to make it easy. Like, hey, do this, then this, then this, then this. I don't think it would have... I don't know why they're broken up so differently. There is one more training, though. I wonder what this one's about. All right, Bentley. Let me oh. have it. In order to maintain our lavish lifestyles, we we'll always need to have a little cash on hand. I hear you. Most guards are nice enough to carry around a pocket full of change. Exactly. You can pick their pockets by sneaking up behind them and pressing so the zero. circle button. Circle, this guy looks sorry. like he's carrying some loot. If I steal it, you can fence the goods online for some cash. Did they just like hire this Look dude? Like, hey, am I just standing in this room and just? Sure sign of something valuable. Try picking his pocket dry without getting noticed. Okay. Well, that's not hard. You just go up. This is a dude from. I think this is a dude from our from the first level. All right, give me. Okay, that's enough of that guy. Okay. Yo, you just killed him. That easy. Guards are usually on the move. As long as I don't bump into him, it shouldn't be a problem. I feel All like right, that's horribly talker. inhumane. Try robbing this guy. You just like hire them and then instantly just kill him. 
Alright, here we go. Give me your money. A prize. Nice. Crates away! Okay. Great. Now, as any good thief knows, a job is only as successful as the getaway that's planned. I hear that. Some guards are not too keen on fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You're not going to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, not now. Thought so. Look, there's no shame in running from a fight. Keeps you alive. Hold down the R1 button to sprint. Sounds easy. Prove it. I'm gonna have this guard attack you, and you'll have to run away to lose him. Whoa, hold up. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Woo! Hey, he shoots fast. Bro, actually lost me in less than two seconds. Come on, bro. It's your actual profession. Nice escape, Sly. An unfortunate fact about running is that you make a lot of noise. Sprint by a guard, and he's sure to notice you. Well, if I'm already running, might as well keep going. Good point. How about you try that? Run to this waypoint within six seconds, and then try and escape from the guards if they hear you. Come on. Ready, set, go. Okay. All right. I feel like didn't we just do this, but instead it was just one guard? Yeah. That works. How about you stop setting these guards up to kill me? Well, you could always take them out instead. Now we're talking. If a guard Murder. hasn't Let's seen go. you, you could sneak up behind him. You paying attention? This is complicated. Of course. We're talking about taking out guards. Right. Sneak up behind him and hit the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then press the square button to slam him down hard. Sneak attack. Nice. So that's the triangle button to knock him into the air. Than the square button for the slam. You got it. Now give this guy the business. <laughs> the business. All right, Bentley. Here we go. Unfortunately, the slam makes noise. Do it too close to another guard, and he'll be all over you. It's easy. You take out the first guy, then hide out when the second thug comes running. Wait until his back is turned, then strike. Try taking out both these guards without being caught. Okay. Well, I can just take this dude out while he's far away. Did you hear that? Nice Easy. work. I pity the guard that crosses your path. Now for the showstopper. See that boat slog up above? That poor unsuspecting guard? Yeah. Feel like dropping it on his head? Oh, yeah. This button will release the boat. Make sure the guard's under its shadow before you, you know. This is one of my favorite parts of this game. I can't see the shadow. Look for those buttons but... around town. The place is littered with unsafe machinery. Know what I mean? Someone call OSHA, dude. Alright, we got two more training modules. And I'm not gonna send the training into the next episode, so let's just get them done. I'm pretty sure this is oh, it's one Bentley, one Sly. Uh, the humble recon photo, the unsung hero of many a caper. I've outfitted your binocular with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. Okay. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. The left analog stick aims where you want to look, and the right analog... Of course, it won't always be so easy. Sometimes you'll need to get a better vantage point. That shouldn't be too difficult. Your targets can also be moving. Makes getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. Come on, Bentley. I'm a professional, man. I totally cut off his feet there out of frame. Maybe I'm not. No! Why are you going behind? Why are the controls inverted? Maybe I'll un in uninvert the controls in a minute here. There you go, Bentley. Some wonderful pinups for our refrigerator. They're lovely. High art. Seriously? No, but you've shown some real skill with a Monocucom's camera. Nice work. 
All right, we got one more training module. Here we go. I think this next one is for Bentley because it's green. And I actually am very curious at how to do Bentley's abilities. I'm pretty sure it's the same as last game, except now he's in a wheelchair, but... All right, Bentley. Things can get pretty rough out in the field. You'd better be prepared. Preparation is my middle name. My wheelchair is totally equipped. Good to hear. As a resident demolitions expert, you'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button, and out comes the goods. Okay, try dropping a bomb on that crate over there. Okay. Oh, he's fast. Can we do a... Okay, he has a little boost. He has a little attack. Okay. Yeet. Oh, why did that bounce so weirdly? That's some quality pyrotechnics, but how are your bombs versus guards? Against sleeping guards, I'm like a Greek god. All fall before me. Let's see what you got. Well, did <laughs> Greek gods, did they... I don't know if I'd give it that one, Bentley. Nice work. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep, too. My chair's been outfitted with, with the top-of-the-line sleep dart launcher. In fact, I even linked it to my binocucom. What? Smart. Crazy. So you just click the right analog stick to bring it up. Yep, we go bop. And to shoot, I press the R1 button. Have you got a zoom function on? Nice. Now, get over there and bomb it before he wakes up. Yeet. That bomb is very floaty. All right, Bentley. You make this look easy. But how's your aim against moving guards? With a zoom function and nerves of steel, I'm ready for anything. Okay. Literally made it two centimeters before I got him. He not dead. Oh my god, we didn't hit him. <laughs> We're trash. That chair is pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Oh yeah, it's my own design. The pickpocket pole, or the PPP for short. A fishing pole with a magnet? Personal Ingenious, protective huh? equipment? By default, oh, it's PPE, it's linked sorry. to the L1 button. And you can rob someone with that thing? I just keep the L1 button held down, sneak up behind a guy, connect with the magnet, then pull back to yank out the loot. Sounds just like fishing. Try it on this guy right here. What if he only has cash? It's a little harder than Sly does it, but uh, honestly, I'm just glad we can steal with Bentley now. I love that face. Okay, he served his purpose. I'm impressed with your pickpocketing technology, but how is it against someone in motion? Allow me to demonstrate. I just hold down the L1 button, attach, and pull. Couldn't be easier. So the exact same thing, except if anything, it's easier because now I don't even have to move. He just walks away on his own. He does the pulling for me. Now we go this way. Give me the loot. And you're dead. That chair of yours is a wonder. You've packed so much technology into such a small space. All right. Very cool. I like We're the upgrade. All done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Okay. I'm going to see if I can invert my controls before the end of this episode. It's the last thing we're going to do here. Okay, back to the Opera of Fear. We did the setup, right? Okay, cool. Um, so let's go out and go out with Sly. Are they gonna give me a slideshow? Okay, good, because I, I kind of know what to do. Oh, I can do a charge attack just like last game. Oh, okay, I'm like, how do I do the attack? That makes sense. Okay, and last thing before we um uh, before we skedaddle here. Ba -dum -ba -dum -boom. Okay, well, maybe we'll figure it out later. Anyway, we're 40 minutes in, so we're going to end the episode off here. Next game, we'll start the game itself. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. We're playing some Sly Cooper 3. 
we just did the setup for this map so we can start with our first missions and here's one thing I'm asking myself does this map have bottles oh my bad literally two seconds without being caught does this map have bottles like the the past couple of games from just looking around I don't see any bottles so does this game not have bottles we gotta go over this bridge any Ooh. interesting I assumed I would have just been able to throw them in the water apparently not in this game interesting Octavio is known to rely on 3D technology to secure his property. In order to see the security measures, we'll need to utilize these depth optimizer goggles. Functional and fashionable. Nice touch, Bentley. Yeah, no. What is 3D technology, dude? Everything around you is 3D. That's cool, though. That's... You can kind of see that it's a product of its time, right? The whole 3D red and, red and blue was just kind of getting started here. And five, ten years later, I literally got an Oculus next to me. Crazy. To open this door, we'll need to press the 3D security buttons at exactly the same time. Very okay? 3D. On my three. One, two, three. Am I okay. trash? One, two, three. Nice. Epic. Money? Yo, is everything in here money? Gimme, gimme. I don't know. I forgot if it was 300 or 200. But if there's just like free money lying around, I am not one to say no to some free money. Especially if it comes out of wooden furniture. Looks like fond of this 3D synchronized security system. Let's do it. One, two, three. All right. All right. Post trip. De Venice. Okay. Drat, my booster won't be enough to make it to that next door. I've made a number of improvements to my wheelchair, but none that can float me through this canal. Don't worry about it, pal. I'm sure I'll find a way across. And there seem to be plenty of boats hanging around to make a nice bridge for you. Okay, I'll wait for your signal. Alright, time to do a little bit of climbing and thieving. Kind of like every game here. We jump on a few things, we go around a corner, we do a little sneaky sneak. Good evening to you, my fine, fine associates. Octavio here. I'm pleased to report that the task suction levels are at all a time high. However, it saddens me to report that some of you haven't been keeping in time with the orchestra. You know what I mean. I'd like to see Mark, Raphael, and Julius in the main vacuum room immediately. We are going to discuss your retirement package. And if any of you got these boys, make a run for it. Well, shoot them in the back. That's not very nice, Octavio. Don't bully your employees. This seems like a... Woo! Not a functional... Uh, can't tell if that's for um, home defense or decor. Can't really tell, actually. Oh, do we go under? Yeet. Yeet. Alright, we probably could have done that faster, but... Okay, we need to get Bentley a boat. How in the world do I do that? Also, this homeboy needs to... That door ahead of you is reinforced. We'll need to bob our way through it. Later. Thanks for the assist, Sly. Maybe I can return the favor with some well-placed explosives. I do like bombs. Bombs are fun. If the okay, government is back. listening... Thanks, pal. No, I don't. Woo! Almost... ran into every single one of those. Money? Oh, that's literally a wall. Okay. Hmm, this door is made of four-inch thick bulletproof plexiglass. My bombs won't make a dent. 
See if you can find a way around it through that ventilation shaft. Right. Oh, I think is this the right place? That's a lot of money and crawl a little farther. They've got to have a lock switch somewhere. I'll take the money though. I love it when there's big old stacks of boxes. Makes me feel warm inside. Okay. Here's the deal. You two stoolies are gonna be in my new eyes and ears. I can't let no one get near my demolition switch or sabotage any part of the operation down here. Oh. Does he not see us? I mean, I'll take your money though. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Judging from the security, we must be getting close. Does he it's see? Live. Does he see us? I'm very confused that whoo, he can jump. Just uh. Whoo. That was very confusing. Why he just like let us do that? More boxes. Oh, what up? Nah, don't do that. Please do not destroy our surround. Oh, that man's got hot knives. That's pretty cool, actually. Where can I get some of those? Okay, maybe I'm trash this game. Oh, oh, he's so good. Actually, dude? Come on, Bentley. What are you doing, man? Those guys just like hot knives. They're not Synchronized dangerous. Watches and... One, two, two, three! We're in! Hey, -o. Any more cool posters? Nope. A Warlitzer 700. I can splice into this easy. Just as long as you're enjoying yourself. That's the important thing. Aside from a few tense moments, that break-in seemed to go pretty well. It's not over yet. Hack the system and let's get out of here. Oh, it'll be a snap extracting the details on Octavio's operation from this old dinosaur. Hey. Wh what? A delay switch? Sorry, Sly. Guess the dinosaur has teeth. I'll hack as fast as I can. Watch my back. There are sure to be guards on the way. Right. Can you go into the... Ooh, my mistake. Dude, I'm just trying to shove him into the fire. This dude's an absolute unit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't hit the turtle. I want the money. Oh, my bad, Bentley. Yo, don't hit the turtle, homie. Oh, nice. Why don't I use, like, my... No, 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 no! Halfway there. You're gonna drill someone? Drill me. That's what she said. Can I use my big ol' attack? Okay. Don't... Don't do what you were just doing. I've almost got it. No, 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 no! I swear, I'm, like... I, this should be easier. I'm just like. So close. You got it, Bentley. I'm just trying to collect all the gold. Yeet. I right, come a little closer. Oh, what? Download complete. Now we can find out exactly what Octavio is up to. Very cool. I, I was hoping it'd be like one of those hacking levels. I love those. They're a lot of fun. Sadly, they didn't give it to us. But I think now I have enough money for the smoke bomb. Okay, so I still have the just the normal gadget grid, which is pretty lit. I'm going to steal this guy's treasure here. Now, does this treasure automatically sell? It looks like it does automatically sell. Okay, so it doesn't... It's not one of those where I have to, like, go to the station and sell it. Alright, give me your loot. 
Silver watch. Kind of trash. Alright, let's head back. We could probably... We don't technically need the smoke bomb this very second. We could probably quickly just do that uh, mission right over there. What does this button do? Okay. I wasn't quick enough, apparently. I need money. I'm kind of broke. Silverwatch, come on, man. Where's the gold? Doesn't Octavio pay you? Alright, where's the next mission? Over here. Can I technically get a boost? Okay, no. What does this do? Oops. Not my fault. Heads up, Sly. I've intercepted a radio message from one of Octavio's men. The Dawn is moving towards your position. Great. You want me to take him? No. We need evidence that he's behind this city's tar epidemic. With some incriminating photos, we might be able to help the cops prosecute him and put an end to this nonsense. Never thought we'd be helping out the cops. Really? You always seem eager to aid Inspector Fox. Yeah, well, she's different. Your average law enforcer isn't that, I don't know, attractive? Hold up, here he comes. Right, let's get a photo of him. That's despicable. Get a picture before he finishes. This is perfect. Use your binocular to take photos. Cool. Did I like, just learn how to do this? A few more of these, and the cops will bury this guy. Follow him. He might be headed for some more polluting. I'm gonna smack him in the head. Why would you want to? So yeah. I don't know if they, we've been told that I'm just dense, but do we know his motives for tarring up the place? Like, what's the point? Don't you want drinking water? Mm, you gonna let me buy? Okay. Guess we don't need to be on the rooftops. Um. He's at it again. Get whoops. a picture. Um. What if I could, homie? There we go. That poor bird bath. I guess more of a bird death trap <gasps> now. He's on the move again. Keep it up, Sly. This Woo! is some great work. He's walking towards me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh boy, I need you to move. Oh, there he is. God, I lost ya. Please don't see me. Boing. Is there a bad person up here? I wish I had... Yo, you can go away, like, now. Bro, stop! He's got the loot. Give me the loot while I'm at it. Yoink! Gold ring. We take those all day, every day. Don't mind me. Whoops. Where are you going, bud? Imagine clogging a delightful water wheel with deadly sticky tar. Monstrous. Alright, where in the world is he? Okay, I need to get on this, right? <gasps> oh, no. There we go. Keep on it. We want to make sure all this horrible polluting is fully documented. <laughs> Do you not see us? Alright. We use this hook right here to... Do Whoop. Apparently we suck with the hook. Where'd he go? I guess we'll just do a couple of, a couple of bounces. 
boing, boing. So we could just follow him on foot. I'm gonna smack him in the butt. Spot. Boom, bum, bum. Is he gonna start looking behind him? Yeah. Seems like uh, you might need some practice. Treasure? We don't say no to treasure around these parts. Thank you. Bronze. Bro, what's your pay rate? He must be one of the bad guards. Get out of here. He seems to be working a switch, but there's no tar anywhere. Yet. Get him. He's doing something, but what? I, I can't believe it. He flooded that aquarium with tar. All those poor dead fish. As much as I hate to see what hate is crime this fiend will do next, you should probably keep on his tail. Someday the people will know the truth due to your pictures. Alright. Where is he going now? Whoop, he's going the other direction. I can't see. Oh! How am I supposed to see when the camera does that? Sadness. Yeah, it's a me. Get that engineer on the horn. Sly, see if you can latch on to the car Octavio is riding in. We should eavesdrop on his phone conversation. From the look on his face, it seems important. Ping pong. Less energy of army. This Ferris wheel was a good idea. She's a pump on the tar fast. And nobody, but nobody suspects a thing. But still, is it gonna be enough to get things ready for my opera recital? Bella, when the people come to see me sing, I wanna make a show. They keep a coming. Even if they don't feel like it. One way or the other, there'll be opera fans again. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, see you soon. That fiend! He's twisted a time-honored amusement park ride into a tool for wrongdoing! Break open the control panel with your cane. I'm on my way to do a little rewiring. Look away if you must. You're about to witness the dark side of electrical engineering. Kill a bunch of poor innocent fish, will he? That'll do. I feel like you shouldn't run behind that. What if it goes the opposite direction on accident? Poor bird. Man, I liked that Ferris wheel. All right, job complete. I think we have one more for Bentley now, right? Yep, we got one more for Bentley. So we got to go ahead and uh, switch out characters here. You got money on you? I have no treasure. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll just take the money. And I think we have enough to buy two moves that we need. Oh. Okay, well, uh, no, 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 let's buy the moves now. I, if I'm having a mission with Bentley, I want to see if I can get um, that alarm clock. Oh, yeah. I, I thought one of them was 300 for some reason. Let's go ahead and bring out Bentley. And, um, okay, so we'll trigger bomb, L2, L1, and let's put his thieving on R2. One, one more time. Uh, wait. What? Let's do L1, L2, R2. There we go. I want all my throwables on one end. Yeah. Yeet. <gasps> oh, um, I want his money though. Can I? <gasps> oh no! Get put to sleep, homie. Give me your money. That almost messed that up royally, though. Alright. Gimme, gimme. Good ring. That's pretty good, actually. 
All right, say goodbye. Let's make our way over to the point. It's a police boat. Hey, Sly, you better get over here. My sources tell me that Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. We've got to get to them before they get to her. She's off on her daily patrol. The thugs can't be far behind. On my way. Just make sure to have one of those police boats hot-wired by the time I get there. Let's see. Just cross the blue wire with the red wire and shazam! Just in time. There go the vipers. I'll shoot. You drive, Sly. Oh, I'm driving? Oh, no, no. I'm shooting because I'm playing with Bentley, right? That would make a little bit the more sense. The canal is packed with shipping. Make sure to jump oh. and weave or we're sunk. Let's take these guys out. Yeet. Oh, I can I shoot and drive. Oh. Yes, I should use short burst. I understand that. I understand. All right, here we go. Whew. I just took out someone's laundry. Yeah, these guys have a fair amount of health, actually. I think I see why little David thought this level was hard. So you actually need to shoot each of them quite a bit. And these bolts can jump, dude. LeBron James. Yeah, like these guys. Oh, all right, there's one. All right, the other two are about half health. This shouldn't take too much longer. Unless I just ram my way through half of these obstacles. If we're back at the beginning of the level. Apparently we took too long. Nice shooting, Bentley. Right, one more homie. Way to go. That's the end of the blue fighters. Oh yeah. Bentley's feeling himself right now. Another uneventful patrol. This city's beautiful, but a bit quiet for my taste. I think Carmelita could have taken him. I hope you realize that by saving Carmelita, we're only making our operation here more difficult. Maybe so, but what's the fun in stealing if there's nobody trying to catch you? Besides, she's helped us out in the past. That, and you've got a thing for her. And I've got a thing for her. Look, I'll stash this boat. It might be useful for later. You stay out of trouble. <laughs> All right. Mission accomplished. Very good. Although we didn't get to use our bombs, which makes me sad. I want to use bombs. So, according to these decrypted files, Octavio is pumping tar from underneath the foundations of buildings so he can sink them into the canals on a whim. He's going to demonstrate this destructive ability to the people of Venice during his opera recital on the first day of Carnival. To counter this threat, we'll first destroy the balloons inside, advertising the recital. If no one shows up, he'll have no reason to sink a building. Next, the blueprints to the main tar vacuum have been cleverly split into three parts and hidden in local coffee houses owned by Octavia. Unfortunately, they're under constant guard, so you'll need to use a disguise to get us inside. Also, some big Vincenetti goons have been called in as insurance for the recital. 
given their size, I think it's prudent to fool Carmelita's eight mercenaries into taking them out for us. And finally, we'll have to convince Murray into taking to the field. If he's learned the aboriginal ball form, it'll be just the thing for destroying the local tar reservoirs. Very cool. What is the aboriginal ball form? Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's see how many jobs we got. Venice operation day two. All right, so we got three. Oh, okay, we got three for Sly, one for Bentley. All right, well then, uh, let's go ahead and uh, hit up mission with Sly. I am hello. Um, my brain is massive, and it is currently working at full capacity. Bro! Stop! Stop ju- Alright, bro. I'm, I'm done playing games with you. Thank you. Bentley, looks like you found one of Octavio's Vincenetti goons. You on your way to the police station for the old bait and switch? Yeah, he's following me. Too close for comfort. You gotta move! Break something, Sly. Now to get those mercenary apes involved. Hey, uh, all you fake cops, go home. Uh, we don't need no more stupid thugs in Venezia. Solid. I might not be a real cop, but I've got feelings, pal. And you've just hurt them. You talking to me, fruitcake? Cause I don't need a date. Eat missile, punk. This was a good plan, Bentley. Now we can just sit back and watch the fireworks. Thank you. I pride myself on deviousness these days. With her ape guard under fire, there's a 93% chance that Carmelita will arrive and take out the entire Vincenetti gang. Devious. Inspector Fox, I'm glad to see you. This Vincenetti puke is giving me all I can handle. Stand your ground, soldier. We'll take him together. Oh, sick. I get to play with Carmelita. Wait. How do I... How do I... Sh what? Press this box. There he goes. Alright, we coming. Is Carmelita always on run mode? Can't crawl with her, she's she's fast. We go high. See, this is much easier because we got built in height here. I love built-in height. Oops. My bad. Wait, how do I go into this mode? This is much, much easier. Why wasn't I in this mode earlier? I don't understand. But I'm not gonna bother trying. Bro, you wanna get out of here? The little owl? Bro, I'm gonna shoot the crap out of you. Nice shot, boss. Right on. Dude, I'm actual garbanzo beans at this game, dude. Probably shouldn't stand in that bomb. Where'd the other guy go? I am deep in the trouble. I need backup and I need it now. 
<laughs> get to the chopper. All right, let's make our way over there. Again, how did I? Oh, I need to get into triangle. That makes so much more sense. I'm sitting here wondering how do I how do I get in that uh, shooting mode? Okay, I understand. I just this mission was easier than I thought. I'm just kind of a doofus, to be honest. And yeah, probably can double jump. Let's get on these roofs. Let's go help a boy out. We coming, we coming. I'm on a bomb. Give him the business. <laughs> him the business. You have almost got him. There we go. All sectors have been stabilized. No further Vincenetti presence has been detected. Good work, men. For mercenaries, you fought with honor and distinction. I'm proud of you. That's a solid reward right there. I'm proud of you. Well, since you're proud of me, I mean. Alright. Next mission. Oh, what are uh, Recording's at 36. You know what? Next mission. Next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing some more Sly 3. We just finished up a couple of missions. Let's go ahead and start the next one. Octavio keeps the blueprints to his main tar pumping station in three parts. Each is cleverly hidden behind a painting inside one of his legit coffee houses. Not very subtle, posting a full-time guard in front of a coffee house. Since we destroyed his Ferris wheel, he's gone all out on the security. In fact, he's got all his guards checking up on each other. If we're going to get inside and at the blueprints, we can't raise any suspicion. I'm with you. I'll approach the guard while in disguise and pretend to take the next shift. When the coast is clear, you head inside and swipe the blueprints. With me standing out front, no one will know that something's up. Your disguise can be assigned as a power-up. When hailed by guards, oh. make sure to memorize their passwords and say them back in a timely fashion. Take Okay, so I need... Oh, we bought the smoke bomb. Okay, let's put that on L1, let's put that on L2. Mess it up, and he'll know you're a phony. Hey, you! What's the carnival and password? Got it. Here it is. Tenor base, tenor, tenor. Yep. Okay, I guess you're the relief shift. Uh, thanks for coming early. I got a big plans for tonight. Carnival, a uh, good time, eh? Yes, sir. I can't believe that worked. You've got the worst Italian accent I've ever heard. No offense. Head inside and grab the blueprints. No telling how long to Bro, Sly's, he's Sly's done with them. Bro, get inside. Don't talk to me. We ain't friends. Alright. Let's see what we gotta do with Bentley here. Ooh. First Ooh. coffee house I've ever seen with wall to wall laser security. Yeah, me too. Octavio really is old school. These Those muffins look good, safe. though. My father used to crack these all the time. Jean the trick here is finding the safe's combination hidden somewhere in the artwork. Might take some searching, but it's sure to be there. Just right keep here. at it. Wait. I didn't know I was supposed to memorize it. No. <laughs> oh, I, did. I, I think I'm going to go back to the painting. I didn't memorize it. I'm a genius. What can I say? I'm built like that. Strong work. We're still clear up front. Yo, those muffins look delicious. Can I steal? Nope. I destroyed them. Coffee house. Interesting. Do you have money inside of you? Nope. Okay. There you go. I don't even need the tables. Screw those tables. Alright. Next, uh, coffee house. 
I feel like they make some... They, if I actually went up there and asked for it, they'd make some horrendous coffee. I'll meet you at the next coffee shop. Once you take the guard's post, I'll move in. Second verse, same as the first. Okay, Sly. Um, let's... What is smoke... Oh, let's go ahead and get our disguise. What does smoke bomb look like? Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that animation better than the second game. And that one, you kind of just like, bop. And then it was just like a little... Pfft. I like this one better. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna... Ah! Oh my god, he's goaded. Nope, just, uh, don't look. Dude, he straight up just comboed me. Where's the next shop? Oh, it's you. Alright, I'm coming from the sky. Hey, you! What's Octavio's house password? As I expected. Here you go. Um... Uh, you stupid! Yeah, he, the, alto, alto, the thing base, comes base. up a little slow. Yep. Oh, am I glad you're here. Mama's making spaghetti tonight and I'm starving. I'm gonna eat like three, no, four plates of food. I guess that you really like a cooking. Mamma mia, I want to be buried in her sauce. It's a heaven. I... Genuinely, I would love some spaghetti right now. Some, like, authentic... Oh, I don't... Oh, you're making me Any hungry. Any problems with that guy? Said he wanted to be buried in his mom's pasta sauce. Yeah. That's, uh... That's strange. Dude, no, it's not. I think that's a very normal feeling to have. If you get some good pasta sauce, bro, I'd bathe in that. Dude, fill up, fill up a pool, fill up a tub, fill up a jacuzzi. I'm, I'm in there. You know, I just can't get it out of my head. Have you ever had pasta sauce that tasty? I don't want to distract you or anything, but I just don't think I've ever had cooking that good. Are we like missing out on a whole universe of flavors here? Yes, I think you are, Sly. To be honest, food doesn't need to be that good for me to want to bathe in it. It can be mediocre food, and I will still love to do that. Alright, so we were uh, Jean de Sans. Now we're... This looks like Miss Ruby or Rally. I don't... No, it looks like a little bit of both. Oh, it's got to be in the sky, right? Am I blind? Okay. Oh, there you are. And the more I look at it, the more it looks like Raleigh's. That's nine, six, eight. Okay. Oh, yeah, enter code. There we go. 968. 968. 968. Bop. 68. Blueprint number two. I love his face. All right. Two out of three. Almost there, partner. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, comrade. Ooh, my bad. I didn't mean to step in your spotlight like that. Alright, let's go. Third coffee shop. Here we go. How do you get some food after this? Like, actually, genuinely, after this episode, I'm gonna go get some food because that spaghetti made me hungry. You know, maybe there's a good Italian restaurant around here. Enough with the sauce! Keep your focus! We're on a job here! Thugs everywhere! Death around every corner! You're right. We got one more coffee house to hit, then we're done. Yes, now you're talking sense! And then, we eat. <laughs> I like this game. The, I feel like most of the dialogue from the past games was pretty, like, not good, to be honest. Bro, this game's upgrade. Okay, I, I'm i starting to sway my feelings. I, I think we're only, like, an hour deep into this game, but this game's already just, like, it's just such a good game. Like, the dialogue isn't some, like, crazy, funny dialogue, but it's just good. The, the dialogue from the past games... Like, this whole spaghetti thing, not gonna lie, has been more entertaining than any other dialogue out of any other game thus far. I don't know. I'm quite... An, and we already we already got to play with Carmelita. We had a fun boat chasing thing. This game is just good, man. I think I might... I think I might put this game as my favorite. We'll see, though. We got the rest of the game to play, so... What's the carnival at password? Your mom. Bink, bonk, bink, bink. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Yep. Yeah, you know the code, uh, but what's my nickname? <laughs> There's only one Tony B on the payroll, and I'm famous in the family. I'm a new, uh, just got called in from Roma. 
They know me in Rome. I'm practically the mayor of organized crime in Rome. You telling me you never heard my nickname there? Uh, my cell phones are going off. I should take this call. It could be the boss. Yeah, okay. Talk to some of the other guards in the area and see if any of them know Tony B's nickname. Okay. BRB, Tony B. Hey, what up? Halt! Ferris wheel password, quickly! Can't stop. Here it is. Bing bong bong bing. Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Sorry about that. Okay, you're legit. Hey, you know Tony B's nickname? Tony B? That cannoli, he's a, what's it called, an egomaniac. I don't know nothing about him. Don't want to know. Okay. Well, if you don't know nothing, then don't mind me taking your money instead. Maybe I shouldn't have even bothered. Get up, bro. Alright, bird brain. I'm taking your watch. Alright, uh, head up to the roofs here. Maybe Catboy knows a little something more. What up? You there! What was last night's password? Here's the password slide. Ooh. A little more difficult. Here we go. Alto, tenor, tenor, alto. Okay. Yep, that's the password. Sometimes I forget them, you know. You and me are both, pal. Hey, uh, you know what the Tony B's a nickname is? <laughs> yeah, that fathead likes to call himself Tony the Killer B. What an idiot. I couldn't agree more. Nice job getting the nickname. You're really fitting in with these monsters, Sly. Maybe you should switch teams. Get an apartment with the Killer B. I feel like that was cruel. He just told me. I thought I thought we were bonding, right? And I just like instantly dis undisguise myself and throw him into the water and kill him. I feel like that's cruel, right? Powered up, Tony. Halt! What's Octavio's house password? As oh. I expected. Here you go. Bing bong, bing bong. Tenor soprano, tenor soprano. Sorry about that. Yeah, you should be. Are you there? Tell me the daytime password. Uh, yep, yeah, here it is. Didn't he just see me a second ago? Alto, alto, bass, bass. Yep. So, big shot, what's my nickname? Oh, come on. Everyone's a herd of Tony the Killer B. You're a the terror of every player grounder from here at Sicily. Ha ha ha, real funny. Least I'm not on guard duty during Carnival. Who's got the last laugh now, tough guy? <laughs> Me, that's who. Alright, bro. Why would I want to go to that anyway? Don't take too long. If that guy comes back to chat, I'm out of here. Seems like a insufferable guy. I bet he doesn't like pasta. You've got real skill with this art decryption, Bentley. It always takes me like 20 minutes to figure those things out. You're just flying through them. Whoops. My bad. Muffins. Oh, we got a Contessa's level. I'll right, try to speed run this. Right there, one, one, three. Easy. Although I keep pressing the wrong button like an absolute. No. Um, enter code. What was it? One, one, three. Yeah, there we go. Enter the code. One, one, three. All right. Got all the blueprints. Here we go. Get out of there. Woo! Must have been rigged to an alarm. <laughs> My bad. I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully no one sees me. We need to hide out back in the safe house. That alarm is attracting all kinds of guards. Agree. We've got the blueprints to the tar vacuum. Our work here is done. Do we... Oh. I mean... Sly, you good back there? Whoop. Okay. I was definitely trying There's to put him to sleep, but... We're good. Just keep running. Alright, you're going to sleep on me. Later. Let's go, Bentley. 
They totally didn't just see us walk into that building. Just... Boom, boom. Very cool. Ah, the safety of the safe house. Okay, I think we got a few slime missions, but I know we got one Bentley mission. So let's maybe, uh... Let's run up a Bentley mission. How about that? That sounds like much fun. Is this the one with Murray in the ball form? Alright, can you go to sleep? Got anything nice in your pocket? Ooh, you do. I uh, don't mind if I do, big boy. Also, my suspicions I think are confirmed. There are no bottles in this game. I wonder why they removed those. I mean, not the worst thing on the planet to get rid of, but uh, it makes me a little sad. I liked those. I liked the bottle hunts. I thought they were fun. Totally missed the first shot. <gasps> Murray. So I said you were looking for me. We need your help to destroy some tar drums. I'm done with all that. I found a new path. It's full of peacefulness. Come on, what happened to the Murray? The guy who'd get into a fist fight with ten thugs wearing nothing but a towel. The guy who used to punch first and not bother asking questions later. Where's that guy? Where's my old friend? I, I'm sorry, Bentley. I, I tried to save you, but... I just wasn't strong enough. Get over it, Murray. I don't blame you, and never have. The only thing I feel bad about is losing my pal. Look, I want to help you. You're like my second best friend. It's just that I promised I'd stay here and peacefully meditate till the black water ran pure. Well, what if you could help us peacefully? You wouldn't have to punch anyone. I'm in. Keep it peaceful, and I'll smash up anything you'd like. As a student of the Australian Dreamtime, I'm sure you've learned of the ball form? Yeah, sure, like my first week. Excellent. Tuck into ball form and clog that vent pipe. The pressure buildup should shoot you skyward. Maintain your ball form and smash into the tar drums around town. Awesome. Yeah, that's totally peaceful. I'm sure my guru wouldn't mind. All right. Press the L. Ball to go into ball form. We rolling. Here we go. I accidentally made him commit a violent crime. Can I do some bouncing? How close do I need to hit to the ground? There we go. Okay, so I actually do need to get fairly close. This is great, Murray. Those tar drums are an integral part of Octavio's scheme. With them out of the picture, you're that much closer to seeing the black water run clear. I promise. All my homies love clear water. Where's the next one? Boing. All right, here we go. Superb bouncing, chum. Mm, chum. Watch out below! Yeah, I love these types of missions where we like just like do. You're really getting the hang of hang time. More that odd stuff like Carmelita's shooting and stuff like this. I love sense, it. Of course. So I see we've done enough missions with Sly. You know, on a ledge. We've done enough of those. I want stuff like this. A little a little more fun, a little more different. Can I hit that? Oh, it's gonna be close. Keep this up, and the environmentalist will send a thank you card. I would hope so. Can I? Oh, it's probably illegal to hit a guard, right? I was about to go smash a guard for giggles, but I don't think that's legal for me to do right now. I don't think my guru would uh Yo, get out of the way, dude! That's the last of them. I was about to smash his head. Really nice work, Murray. It's a pleasure to see you back in action. Yeah, well, I haven't forgotten who my friends are. I'm just playing with a different deck. Thanks, Murray. Big homie. Appreciate it.
Alright, I think we got the rest are slime missions, right? Yeah. Run and bomb. Let's do it. Can we maybe steal a little bit of cash on the way? No? Okay. Anyone got some... Ooh, this guy's got some stuff on him. Don't mind if I do. Gold? Ring. Okay. We definitely take... Whoops! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. He actually sniped me out of there. What an absolute unit. Ooh, did I go to the wrong side of the map? Oh, no. Alright. My mistake. My mistake. I'm taking over this Carnival fireworks stand as a base of operations for our next job. We need to take out the side and balloons advertising Octavio's big comeback opera recital. I hear ya. If no one shows up for him to extort with his building sinking scheme, then why would he bother with the demonstration? Excavating all that tar seems like a big operation. You'd think he'd hold off until he had an audience. Exactly. Now, I've cobbled together a few explosives powerful enough to destroy the anchors to those balloons. Unfortunately, I'm a little short on fuses. Then, I'll be quick. Place the dynamite when you get near the anchor, or kaboom! Raccoon parts everywhere! Kind of interesting, the fact that he had the money for the bombs but didn't have money for extra fuses. It's a little funny. You shouldn't have walked. Excellent. One less ad polluting the Venetian skyline. Very nice. Although I don't think that balloon was doing a whole lot of polluting. It's not. Stand. I've got another stick of TNT ready. I don't. And the wind's blowing in the right direction for stage two of our assault. I don't think those balloons have engines. I, so I don't think they actually pollute that the place. That explosive had some kick. It was a child compared to this ferocious beast. Don't dilly-dally with this one. It's got a longer fuse, but you've got farther to run. Ferocious beast? Run, Sly, run! Fear the beast! Alright, where's the next one at? I don't think that sound reminds me of something. I can't remember what it is. Oh, yo, what up, Carmelita? Oh, she's just straight up beating people up on the street. You love to see it. You go, Carmelita. Don't mind me. I'm just committing acts of terrorism. Hurry, before the wind changes direction. What would that have to do with anything? <laughs> the whole stage two. The balloon, carried by the wind, will impact on the Octavio side. The combustible gases oh. in the balloon will ignite and BAM! Hindenburg Part 2. Oh, that's Drat insensitive. And curses! The wind died! The balloon's caught! Sorry, pal. See if you can climb up and knock the balloon free. I'll start putting together another explosive for the side. Such a shame. I was really looking forward to seeing that balloon burn. Fascinating chemical reaction. Do I start over here? Okay. Yeah, I was like, where in the world am I supposed to start from? Woo! I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. Grab, grab. Wang. Whoopsies, almost really fell off right there. I think we gotta go around to reach that higher peak, Yelp. Wang. Alright, let's smack his mustache off. He kinda ugly, not gonna lie. Why does he have a bar hanging out from his arm? Whew. On a cigar. A blow from your cage to dislodge the balloon. And his entire head, too. Wow. Looks like we've got a new ferocious beast on this operation. Come on back and what? Sorry, sir. We're currently close. Hey! Let go of me! Ooh. Sly! Get back here! Quick! Alright. I'm coming. Bro, why are you messing with Bentley, dude? He's just a turtle. Leave him alone. He didn't do nothing to you. Except... This guy is crazy. Except... I've got him locked out, but... Commit oh, no. acts of terrorism. He didn't do anything else. Other than that. Fly, he's breaking down the door. Where I'm 
coming, I'm coming. You're fine, Bentley, I'm coming. <gasps> oh, it's the big boy. Nah, Sly Cooper. My boy on the inside picked up those pictures of me you sent to the cops. Nice a try, but I own this town. Put my friend down. I'm gonna knock out all of your teeth one at a time and make you eat them. <laughs> That's the toughest talker you got. You're pathetic. Back in my day, we had enforcers that would make people pee their pants just as soon as a look at them. Believe me, old timer, I don't make idle threats. Oh, I know all about you and your crack little gang. You ain't nothing without these little guys' brains. So, I figure I'll just scoop them out real slow and use them to fertilize my tomato plants. I'm allergic to tomatoes. First yard, Bentley. Yo, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to... Oh. Drink it up. Dude, when did he get these installed? That was fast. Also... Oh. Power up. Let go of me, you geriatric fiend! <laughs> geriatric fiend. Okay, see, yeah, this game has some solid dialogue. That's like genuinely c funny to me. Maybe it's not funny to other people. Well, that's funny to me. Call him a geriatric fiend. God, Bentley's got the he's got the jokes. You won't get enough. Little Carmelita said to Contessa, "I'll get you." I'll get you. Right, where are you running with the turtle, man? Do I gotta like? Do I gotta smack him or do I just gotta follow him? <laughs> he called him lunch meat. Uh, turtles. I don't think turtles count as lunch meat. Right, come on, big guy. Take him. I won't oh, forget easy. about this. You guys are dead. See, but why? Why did he do that? There's no reason okay, for him. Bentley? Could just kill him on the spot. My ego's bruised, but it'll heal. Like, there wasn't anything stopping him. Like, we... I mean, I'm glad he did that. I'm, you know, Bentley's kind of a homie, but maybe I'm not understanding his motives for that. Well, the Octavio's comeback opera recital just a few hours away. We're all set up for the main event. Let's get go. ready for Operation Tar Be Gone. Our objective, get Murray back on the team. Sly, you'll start things off by using your disguise to sneak into the opera house. Make your way down to the pump room and let me in through the side entrance. Thanks to the blueprints we stole, I now know just where to bomb to cripple the machinery. Then we'll go for Octavio's detonation switch. I'm sure you'd agree that we just can't leave a weapon that powerful in the hands of such a madman. So I'll distract the old monster with an opera duel. He's sure not to attack while we're both on stage. Meanwhile, the old cut the lines to the chandelier and drop it on his head. I'll swipe the switch and we'll both find Murray. By then, the black water is sure to be running clear, and he'll be free to come with us. Very cool. Let's do that, Bentley. Um, let's go and grab Sly first. Is it Operation Tar Be Gone? Okay, it's just one mission, right? Okay, here we go. Let's make our way over. Let's get this tar out of the system, huh? I like water. Oh, what up? Apparently, this fighting again? Beat him up! <gasps> Carly has things in her pocket. Yo, don't mind if I do. Oh, yo, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. What? Did she follow me up here? Oh, she's got the hops. Yeah, shoot him instead. Carmelita, I want your back things in your back pocket. Por favor. Got anything good? Anything good in there? Silver watch. Actually, not that good. Carmelita, really? Bro, how much do you get paid? Why in the world do you have a silver watch? Okay, that's fine. I was expecting, like, bro, diamond encrusted platinum ring, bro. Come on. 
You know she's making that money. This is it. Octavio is due to arrive for the opera recital in just a few minutes. We did a good job taking out the advertising. No one's shown up to listen. No audience means no demolition demonstration. True, but to finish the job, we'll need to take out the main tar vacuum. Use your disguise to gain entry to the opera house. Then head down to the pump room and let me in through the side door. No problem, signore. Nice. Alright, let's put our uh, disguise on. What up, boyos? Uh, halt! What's Octavio's house password? Uh, yep, yeah, here it is. Bing bong, bing bong. Tenor soprano, tenor soprano? Yep. Don't be long inside. The boss's opera recital is about to start. He's got treasure in his pocket. I want it. I don't think I'm going to be able to grab it, but I want it. Stay in disguise here or the operation's a bust. Okay. Halt! Vacuum room password? Here's the password slide. Do they question every single guard that they see? Or do, do I just soprano, look funny? Soprano, soprano, bass, bass. Okay. This recital is going to be a drag. Between you and me, I hate opera. <laughs> yeah, most people do. I feel like it's uh, it's a Give good show though. Got it. Here it is. I feel like you don't listen to it for like the music itself, right? It's just like best, best, it's best such a skill soprano? that it's almost yep. like wondrous to see. Been a practicing for months for this a day. He sings a great. Yup. Later, my guy. Drat! A double butt door. I, I'll think of something. Just give me time. You! I don't recognize you. What's the secret soprano password? Uploading you the password. Okay. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Okay. Pass a word to the rest of the guys that under no circumstances am I to be disturbed during my big comeback recital. Yes, sir, sir. I'm uh, certainly looking forward to the performance. Uh, once I'm done in the pump room, I'll be headed out to the stage. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, would you help me with this double button security door? But of course, for a fellow musical lover, it would be a pleasure. Good man, good man. On a three. One, two, three. Be quick in there, you won't want to miss out. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure we wouldn't want to miss out. Psst, Sly, Sly, All over here. Nice to see you, pal. Okay, we need to act quickly while the recital is getting underway. You ready with the bombs? Once I've destroyed all six tar pipes, the vacuum should start to lose suction. Look, if those bombs attract any guards, let me do the fighting. You just focus on taking out the tar pipes. We need to stay on schedule. Here. Let's go and try to speed run this. Let's try to do like a... Looks okay, tough. totally missed that one. More bombs. Let's try to place two bombs on each one. And that way, when the people come, it's actually like right before basically the mission's done. And then we'll just have to do one quick run through, and it'll basically be done. Alright, here we go. We only need one bomb for each of these now, so. We've got company. Just stay yep. on those Not for long, though. This could get hairy. It's gonna be done in about two seconds here. Just one Done. left. Nice work, partner. Is there still time to catch Octavio's recital? We're right on schedule. If my calculations are correct, he should be about to perform an aria originally written as a duet. That's when we strike. Interesting. So if he's going to play a song that's a duet, who is he going to really do it in the stage, first place with? Of course, he's a musician. He'll be overjoyed to have a lyrical counterpoint. Just be ready to drop the chandelier when I've lured him underneath. Okay. 
walk up on stage. Ah, Mr. Tomato for Eliza. <laughs> you got a death wish. I couldn't resist showing you up at what you treasure most. Opera singing. You're a vocalist. Fine. A duet is coming up. We'll sing it first, and then I'll gut you. Bring it on, Grandpa. I'll sing you under the table. Dude, this is giving me theater kid vibes, and I don't like it. It's disturbing. Pleasant music, though. Oh, I go second, I got you. That's not very pleasant. <laughs> I don't know if it was a good idea, Bentley. Did I mess up? No, I think we good. This is so bad. <laughs> Honestly, if I was like Tavio, the second I heard Bentley open his mouth, I'd just be like, just, bro, don't do not do this to yourself. Like, why, why would you handle this level of embarrassment? He's still got the demolition switch. I never ever freeze. I'll drive. You shoot. Looks like we're gonna have to. I need immediate pickup. Criminals are headed east. All units converge. Roger. Sorry, Cooper. This time I've got you surrounded. Do you though? Do you? Can you go any faster? This is it. Shoot out his engine and we'll have him. The canal is full of cops. We're in big trouble here. Yeah, there's a lot of cops actually. And they're all just. Oh, okay. Noted. <laughs> Avoid bombs. I guess it seems pretty obvious, but bombs are not. A good thing to try to. Attention, criminals! They're traveling at an unsafe and illegal speed. Stop your engines and prepare to be boarded. Cooperate now. We'll go keep you on. Resist. I'll personally make sure none of you see the sunlight for a year. I repeat, stop your engines. For a year? Bro. She said put you away for a year. Bro, with the stuff that we've committed in this, like, map, we should be basically be put to death. We bombed a couple of buildings. We've murdered many, many people. I feel like one year is... Hey, we'll take that plea deal, man. Yeah, yeah, lock me up for a year if you uh, forget about all the things that I've done. That sounds like a, that's like a deal and a half. We, we, we take it. 
No lawyer needed, we just accept. Alright, he's almost dead here. Yes! He's out of control. Get ready for a sudden stop. No! More to the left, you idiot! We are gonna crash! Right back where we started. It's over, Octavio. You're beat. Give us the demolition switch and we'll all try to ditch these cops. You chasing me for this? Fine, the big shot. It took me six months to prepare this thing. But what the hey? I got more where this came from. You guys see that boat go out of control and jump and smash into that thing? Destruction! So cool! You think that was a cool punk? <laughs> <laughs> you monster! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> That's not good. Murray, I need your help. I've never seen someone move that fast. Octavio's old, but he's still got it. Let's take him together. But, but, I vowed to my guru that I'd renounce all violence, and the water is still black. It'll be clear any minute. Trust me. Now, let's take him. You're right to be scared, Hippo. Your wheelchair friend should have been so smart. Murray! Help! That does it! I'll floss my teeth with your spine! <laughs> Alright. That's actually a pretty solid threat right there, to be honest. The Murray returns! Oh, he's only got one tooth. All right, here we go. That should slow him down. I do gotta remember that out of all of the fights, this is actually one of the harder ones. So I do need to be a little bit more careful, maybe. But honestly, I'm not too mad about maybe a fresh little restart here. Maybe we could take him on without losing any health. Ah, okay, this never mind. I'm moving to another valve. Okay. Right, we lost a little bit of health, but um, nothing we can't come back from. Ooh. Stay away from that one. We actually hit him with a thunder flop too. Absolutely comboed. Ah. Okay, I just stood in front of that. That was wonderful. I gotta stop standing in front of his kicks. What? <laughs> Smack him on top of the head. Dry. I'll open another. Hang Thank tight. you, Slay. Appreciate you, big dog. Can I just, like, do that? Does that hurt him? I don't think it does. All set with the tar. All right, run at me, big boy. Right into the water. Murray, these pumps are out of tar. I saw some more valves over by the cop station. Follow me to a fresh supply. <laughs> Alright, later my guy. I'll crush you boys like a bug. It's ball time. Yee. Can I like bounce? Wanna bounce really high. Let me bounce. I wanna go so high. <laughs> cool. But I wanna go up into the I wanna go up, up into the sky. All right, that's fine. Enough ball time. You may have more tar, but I'm not holding back no longer. Listen to the song of your death. The Murray knows no song but the triumphant horn section of his own triumph. Quit talking, a stupid kid, and die. I don't want to die though. Dying is dumb. Ooh, he's singing at me. Ooh, gotta avoid that one. There we go. Lost a little bit of health because I was being a little reckless, but um. This tar valve's dry. I'll open another. Hang tight. Okay, thanks, Sly. You shit, you big dog. All right, singing me weirdo. Draw him in. I'll let loose with the tar. All right, 
few more punches. Here we go. Alright, sing at me, you weirdo. No. Come on, man. The valve's empty. I'll crack another. Thank you, Sly. <laughs> he just ran through that. Didn't even take any damage. What an absolute unit. The tar's ready to flow. I almost wanted to beat him without the tar. So that's it. The old guard's out, and a new generation steps in. That's right. Step it in. Big time. Come on, Murray. I got the demolition switch. Let's get Bentley and run for it. We got cops closing in. Later, loser. Imagine just sinking buildings. Like, why, dude? With the fight over, we went back and scraped Bentley off the pavement. It was touch and go for a while there, but we managed to sneak out right under Carmelita's nose. Octavio wasn't so lucky. The guy got 30 years behind bars for what he did to Venice. I guess Italians don't like it when you sink their landmarks. Ironically, he found success as a singer while in jail. After all, most of his old fan base was already in the clink. But the big score here was bringing our old pal back into the gang. Once he put on those gloves and that mask, it was clear to everyone, most of all him, that the Murray had returned. You'd love to see it. Still wearing no pants. All right. I think that is the map done. We went a little over on this episode, near uh, 50 minutes, but I liked it. I'll see you guys next time. Hey everybody, we're playing some more slide three. Let's go ahead and start <clears throat> the rumble down under with the setup. So funny enough, my power went out and I actually played like the first 20 minutes, but my power went out and I lost the file. So. Just like old times, the gang was back in action. But, little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian... I love how Murray's got a children's outfit on. That's kind of funny. All right, going to Australia. Along the way, Love it. Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Star Wars, Apparently, classic. This guru of his was capable this of Yoda. fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. Seems like a cool guy. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. All right, Sly and the gang going to Rumble Down Under. I like this level. It's, uh, but my power went out. So we're going to go and redo everything. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome. He'll get inside your head and freak you out. Ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Interesting. Yeah, see, I don't. <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun to me. I like being in my right mind, to be honest. Alright, 
let's go ahead and do a little little parkour. Get over to his uh, little seems like his smoking spot at this point. This dude has got to be on something. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. He pooped in his hut. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. Yeah, he definitely took a deuce in his uh, in his hut there. I don't know if uh, homie just has like a real small toilet and Murray absolutely like blasted it. I'm talking like Team Rocket. He just absolutely de de what is it? A defiled toilet seat. Right, where were you supposed to be going? Oh yeah, up here. Oh, you got some shmoney on you. Hey, say less. I'll take that off of your hands. Thank you. I don't care if you see me at this point. Miners must use them to haul up their drills. Looks like you're going to get some rock climbing practice. Hey, yo. And here's the one other thing. So, so far, because of I lost the original file, nothing has really been lost. We're just redoing the one mission that I recorded. But I did buy two moves, and I'm wondering if Sorry, Mary, that stayed. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru is finding someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling, and he'd be all peaceful, and they'd just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way, and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up, and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! <laughs> My master's a goner! Yo, Murray, chill. Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. Yeah, man's having a panic it's attack. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Seem about right. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. Stay away from uh, big helicopter. Yeah. Also, apparently stay away from the fire, too. Yeet. Let's go ahead. You got treasure on you? No, then I don't. Then I don't need you. I ain't interested. Really? How about we go up here? Let's do a little. Uh, do I not have my smoke smoke bomb? Okay, so we did keep the move. Okay, so I guess I'll just let you guys know at the start of the level last first time recording this, I bought the knockout dive and I bought the push attack. So those are the only two things that I bought. Um, so let's go ahead and put the smoke here. So we did buy this knockout dive, which is this thingy. Okay, that was great for me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. Well, good thing we're here to stop him. Okay, literally, I'm just grabbing the same hook over and over. Sly, come on, man. Grab something else. Up we go. Alright, where you at? Big man. You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from Bro, his what's training. what's with his pants? Over there, over there. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how you doing, partner? You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. Okay. Let's go get uh, the local homeless man is sticking stone back. Yes, so the only thing that got lost in that whole thing was really just that um, that first little setup mission, and then I bought two moves, and that was really about it. So, now let's go ahead and continue with the game. So, I also did do a small portion of this next slime mission, but um, I was in the middle of the... Okay. I was in the middle of the mission when the power went out, so, okay, come on, for real? 
Bro, I I didn't even I wasn't the one that bombed you guys, chill. Not me. Alright, let's go ahead and do a little hop skip and a jump. After capturing the guru, the dingoes confiscated his magic walking staff and moonstone. Without these objects, the guru is powerless. Given that we're dealing with miners, I bet they stashed the goods in one of the caves around here. It's a secure location with plenty of guys on duty to provide protection. I agree. The most likely candidate is this mine shaft. It appears to have the highest number of workers coming in and out. Good place to start. I'm on it. All right, let's go get a uh, homeboy his uh, his stick and stick and stone back. All right, cave Those number one. Caves are gonna be dark. Your optimizer goggles will make navigation easier. Very cool. Nope. Let's not use the 3D. I feel like, do I really want to be using technology from the early 2010s? Yeah. If they're here, the guru's items would be stashed at the far Oops. end of this cave. I almost smacked my forehead off of that drill. That wouldn't have been very cool. Okay, well, clearly I'm a super gamer right now. Well, we could probably stick on this one to get to the next one. Yeet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at us go. Give me your money, dude. I'm here to take your valuables. Also, I'm taking all the money that's stuffed inside the wooden chairs. Woo! I very much almost missed that. I really hope these drills just don't randomly turn on. I feel like I wouldn't have toes. Go ahead and yoink this guy's treasure. What do you got? Silver. Okay. For a second, I thought that was um, a bronze medal, and I was about to uh, start cooking the dude. But you know what? We'll take a silver one. I'm not into tearing up the environment Whoops. or anything, but these caves are rich with opals. I can see why these miners are so driven. All right. I need to grab that point right there. Boink. Go ahead and just uh, jump behind this dude. I'm not gonna even bother robbing him. I'm just gonna smack him into the ground here. Right, let's go grab uh, homeboy stuff. A couple of lasers for some odd reason. All right, speed run this. Speed run. Speed run. Ooh. Okay, never mind. Maybe not speed run. All right, dude. I'm actually trash. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Got his purple stone back. Time to take you back to your rightful owner. These miners are smarter than they look. They booby trap the moonstone. It looks like a light sensitive detonator. If I can get it outside and into the sunlight, it should power down. All right. Ooh. Speed. I am speed. You don't even know how fast I really am. Wink. Ooh, we jumped up real high with that. And I'm just not looking for a fight here, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh just uh kinda walk walk past those guys. Dude, a paraglider here would be extremely clutch. That would have been the absolutely juiciest glide of my life. It's okay though. It was still a nice fall. Alright. We out. Time to time to go get the the dude's stick now. We got his ball. Let's the need the stick. Walking staff must be hidden in their other cave complex. I've marked the entrance in your Banaki cup. Okay. Um. What is the easiest way to get up there? I'm assuming this is probably. Can I just jump on that little thingy? Nope. Apparently not. I'm guessing this is going to be the easiest way up there, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, how about we just not do that, huh? Right, let me just uh, walk right past you. Those, the dudes with the, the Indiana Jones homies, they're, uh, they're kind of snipers. They'll hit you pretty easily. Fortunately, it seems the Guru's moonstone 
just providing enough illumination to let you see. Watch your step. These mine pits are deep. Well, it's a good thing we went for the stone first, then, or we we would have no light. So interesting. All right, but yeah, those uh the people with the with the little whips, their attack range is farther than you than you might think it is. All right, speed run. Okay. Of course. I tried speed running it the first time I recorded this, and I actually got it. Of course, on my second run, I wouldn't be able. No, I had it, and then I went too far. I got too excited. All right, I'm getting a little too excited nowadays. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. There we go. There right, we go. Homeboy's stick back. A little twig. Wonder what's so special about this staff? Another booby trap for a stick? These guys are paranoid. And from the sound of it, they've called in reinforcements. Nothing like a horde of angry dingoes to make things a bit more interesting. Yeah, I'm not not sure on the reasoning behind protecting a stick with like your life, but um. Let's see if we can try not to get sniped by those guys. Again, those those guys will snipe you pretty fast. First time I did this, I stayed here for like 15 minutes trying to get a no hit run. Well, this one's not gonna be it either. I guess if I hit them, it kind of slightly delays their whipping. So I could try that, but I love these sliding things. They just feel no. I'm trash. I think this is this is actually where my power went out right here. So from here on out, all new content for me. I'm pretty sure I was just sliding on one of these and everything just went dark and I'm like, all right. Oh, what up? I wish I could grab your treasure, but sadly, eh, I think I gotta go. Nice bird drawings again, man. Someone, someone's out here decorating these caves with bird drawings. All right, we got a stick and ball back. You want to come back to the hideout with us? We could, like, try to brainwash each other. That would be fun, like a fun sleepover game. Where do I, do I got to go? Oh, the mission's done, right? Okay, so I just need to go back. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, grab Murray here. Right before I... Let me just grab this dude's treasure. Thank you for your silver pen. Uh, trash, but it's okay. No chair, two gold. Where's the hideout again? Oh, it's over there. So, give me, give me, give me. I I really really like that the game added that Bentley and Murray can now rob people too, because that was the very annoying part in most of the other games is that the fact that you couldn't steal unless you had Sly. So I'm really really happy they uh, found a way to implement that into this game it makes it really really nice uh, whoever you're playing with you can gather money along the way mm. can we make this jump oh yeah Murray's an absolute unit but he's actually got some fairly good height on him um so this is the boost pad whoops is that not the way to get up there Bro, are you, do you really want to fight? Are you sure this is what you want to do with your life? Okay, well, you no longer have life. I know you're a little nervous to see your teacher again, but he's requested that you and I pay him a visit individually. If it wasn't for the guru, I wouldn't be the Murray you see before you today. I'm just not too sure he'll be pleased with my progress as a mystic. What are you talking about? You used the aboriginal ball form to great effect back in Venice. He'll be proud of you. Maybe, but I lost my temper and got in a fight with Octavio. To help me? I'm sure the guru is happy to see friends sticking up for each other. Head into this cave. It'll take you right up to him. Okay, Bentley. Caves ahoy! Let's do it. Let's see what is in the cave. I wonder if it's going to be one of those like, little Star Wars things with Luke going inside the caves of Dagobah. And he starts absolutely hallucinating and sees his own face inside of Darth Vader. Murray, try 
Try throwing rocks to destroy those stalagmites. Of course, uh, throwing guards will work too. I want you because I, I want to shake. No, I want her to shake him down. Get out of here. I don't like you. Yeah, I just want. No, I wanted to take your money. That's okay. Here we go. Should I take another rock with me? Or. No, I actually just grabbed this dude. Yeah, in a sense, Murray's actually the easiest to get treasure with because you just hit him and take their stuff. Unlike Sly, where you have to like keep a distance, and it's actually much easier to steal with Murray. Uh, do we need another rock? That no, doesn't look like it. So whenever I see treasure with Murray, I'm I instantly get excited. All right, I guess we're gonna have to hit this dude in the head with a rock. Sorry, guy. Is he a different enemy? He looks like a different enemy. You got money on you? Nope. Okay, well. Later. I hope you, uh, enjoy the mines. According to the mine's hydraulic flow chart, the door ahead appears to be sealed shut. Then I'll just bash it in! What's the good of having fists if you can't smack steel doors with them? It's too thick, even for you. No, to get through, we'll have to overload the pressure in this piston. You want me to punch it? I can do that. <laughs> Use your way too excited for this. ball form to bounce on top of the piston and smash it down. Build up enough hydraulic pressure and the door is sure to open. Piston, beware. You're about to be bounced. All right, Murray. A lot of enthusiasm. You love to see it, though. All right, ball form. Here we go. Boing. Boing. Who just leaves a piston out in the open, though? It's like a random kid could just come by and jump on it. And... Eat it, piston sucker! <laughs> Alright. Good dialogue, good dialogue. <laughs> piston sucker. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright. Give me your money. Oh, never mind. Actually, I can throw him twice. Never mind. Got that he's one of the big guys, and he actually takes quite a few hits. Is he gonna try to snipe me? No, he's bad. Another locked door. To open this one, you'll need to overload all three pistons at the same time. Okay. How hard could that be? Wait, I totally missed that button press. I think I need to be like closer to the ground to do it. Alright, come on. Isn't that hard? I wonder if this like hurts Murray's spine. I feel like he could have some pretty like warped vertebrae from something like this. Alright, here we go. Last one. No, last one now. No, last one now. Okay, I'm just gonna stop now. Oh yeah, I forgot that they turned green. I did it! Three against one, and I still took you piston chumps to school! Yo, that dude up there had a red face. That dude's angry. Whoa! Look at the size of that guy! He must be jacked up by that mask of dark earth the guru was warning us about! Curious, it seems to make the wearer much larger. Probably more aggressive, too. I can take him! My righteous quest to see the guru won't be stopped by some big stupid freak in a mask! Even if you won, you'd have nowhere to go. The door through has an electric deadbolt. This whole area runs off the same circuit. Even the drills are linked up. Then I'll throw this clown into the drills! That might break the circuit! Give it a try! Alright. All right, let's go ahead and uh, throw Big Boy into the drills here. Keep it up. You did some Ow. Big old kangaroo. I feel bad, though, because the kid doesn't have the mask on. One drill down, two to go. So it's just the mama that's kind of nuts right now. Oop, I made a mistake. Mistakes have been made. Oh, boy. That 
mask can run. Why can't He's out of here. Back? Intriguing. Press on to the guru. He'll have some answers. The door should be unlocked now that the drill circuit is broken. All right, what up, guru? Open up. Oh, that'll be useful for later. I have returned, my master. The black water now runs clear. I'd like to. I am asking. Oh man. Habituhaya. Yeah, I want to join back up with my friends, and uh, we're hoping you'd come along too. Babaji. You'd love it in the gang. We have all kinds of fun. Hata tuba, hata finjing, hata ja, hata ja ja. Miners, gyrocopters, and a mask of dark earth. Yeah, that's a lot to deal with. But we'll help you. I promise. Hoda ha. Thanks, Guru. I'm happy to see you too. Right, let's destroy this mask for him, and he'll come along. Very nice. Feels like a fair trade to me. You give me your mind control powers and uh, we'll destroy a, a thingy for you. Oh, big truck. All right, that's where we're going next, but very quickly. Let's see, this guy has a little something shiny in his pocket. So it's mine now. Yoink. Silver pen. Kind of trash. Ooh, money's the other direction. All right, you go that way. Where is it? Big old truck. Ooh, this guy has treasure too? And these guys are loaded. Oh, this guy's a bronze ring. That's trash. You don't deserve. You don't deserve a life. Ooh, okay, hydraulic. Little boing thing right here. Ooh, that's a, I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah, I feel like Murray's probably not the greatest swimmer on the planet. I think we gotta go a little around. Are you sure that's a good idea? Are you positively sure that following a hippo is that great of an idea? Can I pick up these boxes? Alright, you're gonna get yeeted. Kobe. You have treasure too? You're gonna give me your treasure. I think I just threw all those coins into the gross water, but I can grab some of them actually. Alright, here we go. Murray, let's motor out to Ayers Rock and scare away those mining dingoes. Your guru wants it purified. Awesome! This is the biggest truck I've ever gotten to drive! I could crush houses with this baby! Let's do it. That is a pretty gigantic truck. I don't, and also, he's just driving on water. I thought that was like a deep, dirty lake. Apparently that's just a little bit of sludge, so... Cool, I guess. Oh yeah! I have an idea of how we might drive the miners out of Ayers Rock, but for my plan to work. We'll need to force the drill on this rig deeper into the ground. Okay, Bentley. You've got my interest. Though it looks like I may have to take care of a few guards if I'm going to get at those drill controls. Defeat the guards and start the drill. Then Murray can begin phase two of my plan. Alright, let's do it. Oh, we just knocked them off. That sounds about right. Actually, not a bad idea. One question, though. How do I capture scorpions with a truck? The vehicle is equipped with a supercharged e-brake, which, if pulled when moving, will cause a forward flip. Time it correctly, and you'll trap a scorpion in the mining that's built into the bed of the truck. Okay, Bentley. Bring on the scorpions. 
Not so fast. The truck's tires will heat up quickly in this blazing hot sand. You'll have to cool them down by driving into the water or running over scorpions. Watch your heat meter to make sure they don't melt. And remember, we're only interested in the red soldier scorpions. The blue worker scorpions won't help us scare the miners off. The truck controls are straightforward. Hold the X button to go forward and the square button to drive in reverse. When you're oh. going fast enough, press the... You'll need to trap those red scorpions, Murray. Use the R1 button after you've built up some speed. Skirt. Yes! Nice work. Looks like more are being driven to the surface. Alright. Seems pretty easy to me. Uh -huh. It's actually kind of cool. They don't get to drive cars very often, so... Anything with car driving is going to be a fun mission in my book here. We're also going to have to probably cool our tires down in a minute here. Did I get that guy? I don't think so. I think I completely missed him. Alright, but we can't let our uh, tires overheat here, so let's go ahead and uh, chill on the little pool for a second. Yeet! There we go. Right. We need to get these blue ones out of the way. We don't want no blues. Here we go. I mean, can't we just grab a couple of the blue ones? I feel like even the blue ones are still pretty gigantic, scary scorpions, to be honest. Let's grab you, I guess. Never mind. Whew. Yeah, you're coming with me. Hang tough for a minute. My sensors are showing a drop off in underground movement. We'll have to drill deeper to keep the scorpions coming out. Sly, you'll have to climb to the top of the drill tower and override the depth control system. Okay, Bentley. I'm on my way. Alright. Where's the first hook? Whoa. There we go. Well, that was a slight fail. I wonder if I can just, like, skip a hook. I probably shouldn't, because then it might take me longer to get back up. But, I want to. Boink. There we go. Deeper. Wait a minute. It's draining the water around the tower. Hurry, you'll have to rely on squishing scorpions to keep your tires cool from here on out. No problem, Bentley. I totally got the hang of it now! Alright, that was a little dumb to be honest, but it's okay. No bother trapping the blue ones. They're Bro. only good to cool down your tires. Bentley, homie, there was a blue one in the way. Plus, these again, the blue ones are still like if you look at the size of the blue ones compared to the truck. Dude, these scorpions are still like 10 feet tall, dude. They're only good to cool down your tires. Even the blue ones are kind of terrifying. I'm sure if I grab a blue or two, the guards won't be like, well, there's a blue one in the mix. Why Why should we be scared? Like, dude. This is a, just a 10 foot scorpion in front of you? You. I would absolutely poop my pants, to be honest. I think most people would. Where the red one's at? All the workers are out. Where are the soldiers at? Am I just like missing? Oh, there you are. I was was I just missing it? There we go. All right, you're coming with me, Mr. Krabs. Arr, give me money. Alright, where are you at, red ones? Where are you hiding? Oh, our tires are getting a little hot. Let's try to run over a couple of these blue boys here. While we search. Ah, there you are. You're coming. Dude, I hate it when I do that. I'm just slightly sideways, so the game is like, nope. That is not your scorpion. Yes! There we go. One more. Here we go. Oh, yeah! 
Bonk. Great job, Murray. Now back that truck full of scorpions up to the mine entrance and deliver that not so friendly payload. Oh my. Yeah, see, those Sorry, things are gigantic. Run for it, mates. Uh oh. Unfortunate. That man probably had a family. Nice teamwork, guys. Ayers Rock is clean of miners. The guru will be pleased. I'm glad he's pleased. All right, 10% done with the game. Look at us go. Do we got a? Do we got a plan? Okay, maybe that is it. Oh, there is one for Bentley. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and head back to the hideout. And then we're actually going to end the episode. And um, we'll continue next episode with Bentley. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing some more Sly 3. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and uh, do Bentley's mission. We're going to start off with Bentley here. Hail, O Guru of the Stone. Murray has purified Ayers Rock, and now I humbly deliver your walking stick and moonstone. The time for escape has come. Ooh, da, da. Thank you, you're too kind. But tell me, how do you plan to escape? Over da, in da. Gadzooks! You can transform yourself! Why, once you change shape, a guard is sure to come inside and investigate. Hey, Rafa Honda. Hi, Baba Honda. <laughs> Too true. Wait, here comes a guard. Let's grab him. Faster. Let's go and Hold jump on his head. The L1 button to transform. I Where'd he go? I am now the rock. Faster, you're jump the on his back. Ram him into the cell door. Bop. Show these miners who's hmm. boss. All right, let's grab the one of these homeboys. Found a weak spot. And we can actually... Oh, okay, I did not mean to do that. Let's go ahead and transform into something fun. Bop. Where'd I go? You'll never know. And now you're mine. I love uh, missions with the Guru guy because you can... These guys are super fast. They jump a lot and you can actually do their attacks, which is kind of cool. So if we grab one of the gun people, actually get to use his his gun, which is super fun. Your talents are impressive, Guru. <laughs> he is my favorite homeless man. Uh, yeah. I hear you. Those drills are tearing up the landscape. They appear to be fragile at the base. Ram a guard into it, and the whole apparatus should break apart. <laughs> Oh, yeah, some things never change. Okay. So we just gotta grab a bunch of animals and uh, commit some war crimes and send them straight into drills. Very nice. I'm sure the guru's uh, non violence uh, shtick is, really makes sense with this one. Right, where are you guys at? I'm trying to get some... I'm trying to commit violence. I'm here to commit domestic abuse. Alright, here we go. I am going to send you into a drill. Alright, some other kangaroos or other homies. Just chilling about. There's someone up there that I missed. Oh, I'm going to get like an ultra jump on this dude. Bop. All right, let's keep finding a couple more people. Is there someone up here that I can grab? Nope. There is another kangaroo up here. I could potentially... Oh, yeah, let's grab that dude. He's not doing anything right now with his life. Well, then you are mine. Here we go. I love their little running... Whoops, I did not mean to do that. I love their little running animation. I, just, it's, I find it hilarious. Oop, last dude. Perfect. Thank you for being where you're being. Bop. Master, you are king. Keep it up. Bentley's got 
got another plan to stick it to these miners. Head for that far rock. Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're going to transform into a rock real quick. I don't know. You're mine. Oh, no. I guess the second he sees me, all of a sudden, I'm not allowed to take over his mind anymore. There we go. Skirt. Where do I need to go? I think we can, uh... We can make that work. Let's go all the way around with them. Smoke bomb. Also, I don't know why that sounds hilarious to me. <laughs> okay. Get out of my way, please. I'm having a tantrum. That grinder is tearing up Wave Rock! I know, it's awful! However, the Lynx generator is weak, easily destroyed, provided you can jump a few guards over there and ram it! Huh, or don't I? I think we can make that work. Alright. Come here, big guy. Oh, this is the dude with the gun. So we can shoot a couple of times. This is so sick. Oh, no. I actually almost fell off there. That was that was almost really bad. Oh, yeah. I know who I is. All right, we'll let that dude turn around really quickly. Skirt. Thank you for your talents. By talents, I mean your skull. Pop. Mm. <laughs> Hot, oily tears from my righteous blow. I love Murray. Alright, where's the last dude? Ooh, another gun guy. Wanna guess some, huh? I wanna go see if I can, like, shoot someone. But I also feel like I don't feel like throwing the mission, so maybe we'll just go. I'm sure we'll have another mission with our homeboy here. I feel like we like almost caused a bigger mess because now someone's gonna have to clean that up. The guru has agreed to join our team, provided we can rid his homeland of the dingo miners and deal with the mask of dark earth. A tall order, but we're up for it. First, we'll enlist the aid of some local wildlife to help fit out the miners' ranks. Murray will feed our foes to a local giant crocodile. With some luck, he'll take a liking to the taste of miners and chow down on them left and right. Second, we'll hit these guys where they live, or at least relax. If we can clear them out of this lemonade bar, it'll be a crippling blow to their morale. They'll be begging to go home. And finally, Sly will use some mining equipment to drill for radioactive oil deep beneath the dried lake bed. Trust me, it's the key to getting rid of the mask of dark earth. Let's go ahead and head over to the thief net. I want to buy something right here, the paraglide. So, I'm very, very surprised they're offering it this early in the game. Usually they give it to you like later in the game for like a specific mission where you need to be really high, but they're just outright giving it to us so i'm going to be taking the paraglide and then also the hover pack here this will help a lot with bentley bentley's a little hard to get around currently so let's go ahead and get that hover pack and i think next we're going to go ahead and save up for these rocket boots um let's go ahead and grab sly and we'll get the first mission going here and fun fact this is actually the third time i'm recording this because um my power keeps going out for some reason and it's happening every like 10 to 15, so I've basically had to restart this three times. But um, I've sat around for like 20 minutes and it hasn't happened since, so I'm assuming um, I'm good. And obviously if you guys see this video, then you'll know that it didn't go out because if the power goes out, the file gets corrupted. So let's go ahead and uh, run it for a All third right, time. Boys, look tough and get angry. It's time to intimidate the locals. I'm not sure I can do it. How do you guys get angry? Find the match deep inside yourself. Light it and let the fire burn up your guts and boil your blood. Uh, yeah, I pretty much do the same thing. Look, 
Our goal is to drive away these miners, and we'll do whatever it takes. Okay. Let's get the boys out of here. Listen up, dirt bags. Time to clear out. From now on, this bar is Cooper Gang turf. Top top wagga. But you ain't got That's got to be racist. With us. We here are known around these parts for our drinking skills. The lemonade. This just happens to be a lemonade bar. Sly, lemonade. I'm sure this is such a good idea. If I have sugar hangovers after this. What you had in mind? Then the three of us will take on the best three lemonade drinkers you've got. Fair dinkum. Losers have to clear out. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, out drink them on lemonade here. Lemonade. Ready, steady, go! Alright, so I've got the controller up on my desk here. We just have to mash buttons. Here we go. And from what I've seen, Sly drinks fast, Murray drinks extremely flat, fast, and then Bentley drinks fairly slow. So we're going to get quite a big head start with Murray here. You could see he literally needs like four gulps, and he's literally done. Now Bentley is going to take a little bit more time here. He's kind of a little slow drinker. He's got a small mouth. Remember to breathe. Yeah, indeed. Remember to breathe. It's not a bad idea. Breathing is pretty good for your body and all that. All right, come on, Bentley. You got it. That's what she said. Go, go, go! All right. We win. That's cheating. Why the turtle spill more than he drank? Around here, there's only one thing we do with cheaters. Turn on the fence, Bruce. It's time we gave these cheaters a beating. Whoa, oh, okay, we fighting. So here's gonna be my plan here. I'm just gonna run around and drop bombs and collect money. Cause these guys are gonna drop a lot of money. Nice work. Look at look at all that cash. You know what? I don't even care about killing people. I'm just gonna drop bombs to my heart's desire and pick up the cash afterwards. How about that? Woo! Look at all that money. Give me, give me. No! Sly, you okay? I wanted to click more money. Sly, go get the money. Dude, these bottles give us a lot. A surprising amount of money, actually. No, Murray, don't break the bottles. I need to get them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all that money. Absolutely juicy. And yeah, we got a lot of moves to buy, so I'm not even uh, ashamed about it. I'm a little penny pincher right now. I mean, just like, whoop. Ah, there's too many of them. I love this mission, though, so much. This is definitely, like, if not my favorite, one of the, like, top two missions of this whole map. It's just got a little bit of everything, right? It's got a little lemon drinking. It's got some fighting. I love this uh, mission. All right, hopefully Murray and Bentley are all right. While I'm just sitting here kind of collecting my coinage. Bonk. <laughs> you good, Bentley? It's only got electrocuted. They just keep there we go. You holding up, Murray? All right. Time to switch over to Murray here. Murray's definitely going to be uh, kind of carrying the team as far as uh, fighting is concerned right now. He's about to take out most people here. Ooh, look at all that money. I think I'm, I'm gonna not get there in time. It's a little bit of a shame. Oh, I'm gonna thunder flop on their heads. I think that's kind of hilarious. Oh, I just took out like two people with that. Oh, yeah. Alright. Kangaroo. I'm gonna slam. I'm gonna absolute body slam you. Sorry about your kid. Your kid's getting body slammed too. You shouldn't have brought your kid to work. What can I say? That's a bad bring your kid to work day. Bop. Nice work, big guy. Look at that, dude. We we managed to collect like I think near near 200 coins just from this uh, fight here. 
Gimme, gimme. Love me some coins. Oh, yeah. Pop. Any more coins? Like, Oh, look at these three kangaroos. I thought I could, like, hit them all at once. That was about to be an absolute juicy hit. Is this guy the last one? Ah. That sucks for him. I think this is the last dude right here. Nice. Yes! The Cooper Gang rules the roost. We're the kings of the hill. The totally maxed out heavyweight champions. Those guys won't be coming back here anytime soon. Um, guys, looks like they saved their big guy for last. He's wearing that freaky bad spirit mask. He must be so jacked. <laughs> we should work That's together like to actually oddly terrifying, down. to be honest. That mask has a powerful force in it. It just feels like that's the type of animal right there that's actually going to like kill you. Not like a cartoonish you know, beat you up, but like, that thing's actually gonna gut you. <laughs> okay. That was... You alright, dude? Got something stuck in his throat. He just, had a... he just squeaked on me. Try to hit him with a little bit of fire. Okay, clearly that didn't do anything. Wonderful. Alright, so what we're gonna have to do here... Let's have him run into Bentley's bombs or Murray's thingies. And then smack him in the shins, basically, until his shins give out. Murray? Murray! <laughs> Come on, bro, grab a barrel. What are you doing? Grab a barrel. Smack him. There you go. I wish you would smack him right into the fire and damage him with that. Oh! What in the world? He just spazzed to me. Alright, get blown up. Of course. Mash Timmy right before he spazzed. Ooh, I yeah, right there. That is a funny looking move. Alright, Murray. Go ahead and smack him in that with a barrel. The lemonade barrel. Oh, I don't know why I'm getting close. I can't hit him just yet. Just gonna take him around the fire. Drop that bomb, Bentley. Bob's in position. Of course. Oh, oh. He's swinging at me again. Bop, bop, bop. Paraglide. Paraglide. Alright, grab a barrel, Murray. Bop. Alright, I think we gotta get him three more times, probably. Alright, Murray. Drop your bomb. Thank you. Bro, of course. All right, one more hit should do it. Murray, you got a barrel on you, homie? Grab that boy and chuck it. Finally, that guy was the mask. It's getting away? We might have cleared out this bar, but that mask is sure to keep making trouble for us. We need to destroy it. Yeah, probably be a good idea. All right. Very nice. Yeah, again, one of my absolute favorite missions. You get a little bit of everything. You get a boss fight. You get, like, an all-you-can-eat brawl. You get... It's a fun little mini game. Definitely one of the best missions. I, I love it. And you make a good bit of coinage from it, considering you... It's one of the times you just absolutely fight, like, 15, 20 enemies, and most of them have money on them, so... Definitely one of my favorite missions. Kind of sad it's over. Uh, let's head over... Do we have another slime mission? We do. We have the claw. Okay, well then let's just head over and do that one right now then. Boing. Might as well not switch characters if we're already sly here. Paraglide. Do you have treasure? No. How come, how come no one has treasure on them nowadays? The claw. Ooh, we can just jump on this thingy right here, huh? Boing. Do you have treasure on you? Nope. You ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh yeah! Bentley said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down! Sounds like your thing. Why, e -S, yeah! We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Bentley. Wouldn't dream of it. 
I like those slideshows. Now, this mission, I remember this one being hard, but fun too. I think something with the claw, it's, it's gonna be like a weird mechanic, but I, I remember this being a cool mission. These power stations while Murray gets all six oil wells flowing. Use this Super Claw 10,000 to deal with any miners that might show up. Use the left analog stick to move the claw around. Okay. The X button will pick up and release items. Before you're How do I throw it? Hmm. Pick up that rock and drop it in the pit. Okay. Zoink. This is easy. You do seem quite adept. The other important feature on the 10,000 model is the throwing action. Ew. Just pick up an item and press the circle button to throw them. You can <laughs> throw things quite a ways. Go ahead and hit that electric fence with one of those rocks. Okay. Gimme. Oh, I actually missed it. Gimme, gimme. I think I've got the hang of it. Nice shot. Let's see you do it again. Okay. Face it, Bentley. I'm a natural. Hope you're right, because it looks like the miners are on to us. Defend the power stations by using everything and anything in the oil field. This electric fence should come in especially handy for dispatching guards. Here they come. All right, let's do it. Where are they at, though? And so what are we supposed to be protecting? Uh... Ooh. How about you? Can I just, like, pick them up? Oh, can you not? No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, let's not. Let's not get you guys to do that, huh? You close enough? Zoink. I can see all of them coming, right? Whoops. Skirt. Oh, I dropped them. I don't know why I keep dropping them. Yeah, how about no? Do not do that. What would your mama think? Whoop. Seems like I have a great habit of grabbing them right before they Indiana Jones the crap out of it. Two down, one to go. Skirt. Can I like, do something different with them? Can I like throw them somewhere else? Ooh, how about you not do that? I want to like throw one of these things at them. Can I just drop it? Oh, that's pretty sick. Hold on, this this thing looks gigantic. What is? How big is this? Oh, that one's a big old bomb. Now, can I drop a rock on him? All right, whatever. All right. Come on, Murray. I'll... Murray, I will try not to throw you. <laughs> Look at him, dude. He's so cute. He's just. He's just chilling. Okay. Just having fun. Pick up the pace Check out these guns. That pumping has got me pumped. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's try to use some of these bombs. Have a little bit of fun with it, huh? Bop. To the brains. I approve. Bop. Come like beef. Nope. Oh. I definitely threw that one a little far. Pick up another one of these bombs. Zoink. Is that all the bombs got we got? One going. I want one of those, another one of those, like, nuclear ones. That thing blew up and it was sick. Do we have another one? I'm like, I don't want to go too far away because then I'll accidentally miss these guys, but... No? What? Bro, no shot I didn't grab that guy. So no shot. Alright, we got a... No. Do not do that. Just one more to go. You got it, Murray. You got it. Whoop. How about we not do that? He's not getting up. That's bad. It, these guys are just lucky I don't have any more explosives. Oh, for real? I think I'm going way too fast for my own good. I had a bomb right there, that would be useful because I could clear out a couple of them at once. That's it. All now. All right, nice work, guys. One of the next one. 
where we light the crude oil on fire. Sick. Yes. Now. Oh, do I got it? Oh, I did have a big old bomb. Dang it. Okay, we'll just throw it. All right, come on, Murray. You come with us. You better pick up the pace, Sly. Grab Murray and get going. Those guards will be out and... Okay, Sly, it's safe to let Whoop. Murray go now. Um, what do now? Let's get that oil burning. Sly, drop a flint rock on the end of that long plank. Murray, you'll then jump on the end and cut Is this the flint rock? The oil wells. The sparks on impact should start a fire. I'm assuming that's a flint rock. Maybe not. Let's just get rid of these guys first. Did you guys not do that? Flint rock? Flint lockwood? Right there. Really? Murray, can you fight them, homie? Like, homeboy's just standing around. Alright, well, I gotta... I'm just genuinely... I don't really know what the game wants me to do here. I think I keep missing. I think that's my problem with the rocks. Okay, let's try to do it again. This has to be the flint rock, right? There's no other things to pick up. I just... I keep missing this, apparently. I don't, I don't particularly understand. Okay, I totally just dropped him. There? There we go. Okay. So it's a little closer than I thought. Alright, let's grab a couple of these guys. I keep making the mistake of accidentally letting them go instead of throwing them. Let's grab another rock while we're here. Come on. This is why I'm terrible at claw machine games. Alright, drop the rock there. Jump on him, Murray. I agree. Whoop. No, no, no. Bro, grab him. Grab him. This game's rigged. There we go. Definitely rigged, just like real life claw machines. Okay. Apparently not even close. Dude, am I just bad at this? I think I'm just bad at this. Good? There we go. Alright, we're about halfway done, but it's kind of bad because I've got less than half health. And I keep dropping them instead of throwing them. Stop. Don't do that. Alright, I need to clutch up here. I'm going to lose if I... Uh, I keep messing around here. It's time to clutch up. And of course, put the rock in the wrong place. And I drop people. Here we go. Alright. Come on now. Oh wait, that one was fine. Come on, man. No shot, that one was a bad drop. That one was a good drop, what? Come on, man. There we go. Stop. I still need two more, so... I'm st still kind of in the danger zone here. There we go. Clutched up on that one. Alright, one more rock. Gib. There we go. Okay. No shot. Yo, stop. Stop. Nope. Oh. Throw that dude. Let's try one more time here. Should be able to get it this time. There we go. Alright, stop hitting this. Now for phase three. With the oil wells alight, the pressure differential should draw the deep uranium enriched blowing oil to the surface. We'll need to be extremely careful in retrieving a small sample. Fly! Fly! <laughs> I'm glowing. Woo. Bro, how was Murray still alive, dude? How was he, like, not accidentally killed as a kid? He's cute, though. Alright. What do we got next? We got a Murray mission. Alright. Whoop. That's where we go next. What do we got on us? Anything cool? Nope. Turn around. Thank you. You got any treasure? Well, since I'm behind you, might as well grab the, the cash you have on you, right? Thank you. Uh, at, at some point, we're going to have to take out that helicopter, right? It would only make sense. 
we make it all the way over here? We can. Very cool. Alright, let's grab our boy Murray for this last mission. Only Murray can complete it. I think we're gonna have to feed the croc, right? Here we go. Where's that mission at? Timely subtracted a few miners from the equation. You know I don't understand that math talk. Uh, we need to uh, uh, put the smack down on these uh, uh, bad dudes for justice. Righteous. <laughs> Righteous. I'm the man for the job. The guru will start luring miners to a position near this giant crocodile. Your job is to throw the thugs into the mouth of the monster. Teach him to like eating miners, huh? That's a sinister plan, Bentley. I approve. Teach him how to eat miners? With some luck, the oversized reptile will be in I don't think that means what you guys think it means. In our efforts to drive away the miners. He might even take care of our mask of dark earth problems. I've spotted it prowling near the safe house. Roger, it's feeding time. All right, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love that man. He's my favorite homeless person. All right, let's throw some people into uh, Ms. Voodoo's mouth here. Wink. Here you go. Nice. You'll need to give him a taste for both types of guards. Okay. Here. Ooh, I'm clearly throwing him in the wrong place. Please don't whip me. Don't. Ooh. Ready. Let's grab this homeboy skirt. You like that, All right, huh? he's got enough dingoes. So now we just got to give him the. I don't appreciate that. We just got to give him more kangaroo here. I heard kangaroo's not that bad, actually. I've never had it myself. I heard it's not bad. What I could do? Couldn't I potentially just sit here and farm money? Just let stuff keep coming to me and just keep farming? This isn't the worst idea on the planet, actually. As long as I don't get hit too much. It's basically free money, right? Okay, well, see, that's got to not happen. But these guys also give me help, too. So it's fairly sustainable, actually. Uh, let's get everyone in one juicy pile. Bop. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. All right. I, I think it's probably not that profitable, though. I think stealing might just be better. That wasn't very nice of you. I don't appreciate that. I'm trying to feed the nice crocodile and you're getting in my way. Let's maybe grab this guy. Alright. Let's focus up here. Let's focus up. Where's a kangaroo? Alright, I need you. Bro, really? Did I kill both? Whoops. Let's pick up this homeboy here. Skirt. Alright, I think I need one more kangaroo here. Oh, looks like, uh... Crocodile has your name on it, kangaroo. Oop, never mind. He just belly flopped on top of me. Right, that dude's gonna die. You're gonna come with me, and mission done. Great job, Murray. Now, feed the croc one last thing. A big, tasty flashlight guard. Ew. I've located one and marked him with a waypoint. Remember, you'll need to sneak up on this guy in order to grab him. Alright. Go ahead and do a little mega thunder flop on this homeboy. I feel like there should be like a damage multiplier for high up ground flops. Like if I'm coming at you from like a mile away, that better have like a 10x multiplier on my damage. You're about to get Murray's full gut. You'll need to sneak up on the miner with a flashlight in order to grab him. Okay, well, it looks like doesn't look like he's particularly looking my way, so shouldn't be that hard. All right, you're coming with me. You're gonna get fed to a crocodile inhumanely. Yeah, I feel like we're 
We're definitely gonna get treason for being a serial or treason. That's um. Can you go away, bro? No shot. Just go away. Don't do that. Like we're gonna get like sentenced to some horrible punishment. We were like just murdering people left and right. All right, you ready? Here you go. Get the mask. No. Tarnation, that mask keeps getting away. Since when do masks get away? Since now, apparently. Alright, new slideshow. Hit me with it. You can feel it in the air. The miners are about to pack it in. In fact, they'd probably already be long gone if it weren't for the corrupting influence of the Mask of Dark Earth. It's clear we need to destroy it. Time for Operation Moon Crash. To start things off, we'll need the Guru to take out the Gyrocopter. With it gone, we'll have clear skies for Phase 2. Now, according to Aboriginal folklore, the Mask of Dark Earth is the sworn enemy of the Moon Spirit. So, given Murray's moon shape, we'll coat <laughs> him in the glowing oil That's funny. and have him pose as the spirit. We'll then dangle him from the crane. The mask is sure to spot his ancient foe and come running. That's when we'll strike. Murray, thunder flop off the crane and obliterate that mask. With the mask destroyed and the miners run off, the guru will be free to join the team for the Cooper Vault job. Easy plan. What could go wrong, right? There's absolutely nothing that can go wrong with that plan. Let's go ahead and grab Sly here for Operation Moon Crash. You know what? We're actually going to go ahead and end the episode off here. We'll start it next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. How's it going? We're playing some more Sly 3. Let's go ahead and uh, grab Sly. And I think we're on the final like operation of this map. So let's go ahead and grab our boy. And head on over to the mission. Guru, I know you've yet to formally join the team, but we need your help to destroy the Mask of Dark Earth. Hi, Yahoo. Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I hello. Glad to hear you're up to it. The bad news is the gyrocopter has a sensor that can detect your moonstone. I suspect that's how they found and trapped you earlier. What's Get in that moonstone? And they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, you'll need to run guards toward it and then jump off early before it senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing and it's sure to fall apart. Alright. It feels like the most roundabout way to destroy a helicopter, but um why not? Let's do it. I think this guy is going to be our first victim. Let's see, where is this helicopter currently landed at? Oh, um, can I just, like, jump up there? I might have to go... No! Oh, there we go. Aim that fighter and then jump off with a triangle button! Oh, I... No! Okay, I understand now, though. I have to aim it, but then I actually have to jump off. Go, there we go. A couple more direct hits like that, and that gyrocopter will be history. All right, come here, kangaroo boy. You're coming with me. Um, yeah, I guess let's just jump this rock. That's probably easiest. Zoink. That thing's on its last legs. Right, let's Ram grab. one more guard into it, and it's finished. Zoink. Moon spirit rises. Woo. Very Everyone scary. Everyone keep an eye out for the mask. It's sure to take the bait. Is the mask that dumb though? We got a situation here, fellas. Looks like Carmelita finally managed to catch up. Drat! We can't stop the operation now. We'll just have to give her a wide berth. 
Roger, applying wide bird. Wide Quit bird? Quit around and look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. Yo, Guru, what are you doing? Here I come, master! <laughs> Skirt. Did you get it? Is the mask gone? Sly, can you see? Can't tell from here. I'll move in. We got Giga Carmelita now. Cooper, thought I'd find you here. Carmelita, you've uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. Maybe I should smash you. Now that's not nice. <laughs> Best boss ever. Bro, how high can she jump? Could use a little help. I don't. I'm putting a few of your sleep darts in Carmelarja here. They will pry off the mask. Uh, okay. I mean, I'll give it a whirl here, but, uh, I don't know if sleeping darts are gonna be the best thing here. Ooh, oh, dude, that was an easy shot I never I missed. Alright, I need to get better at this. Does the slide die if we don't? I thought she moves the second I need her not to move. Please, 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 no, I'm trash at this. Oh, there we go. Ooh, now she's looking at me, apparently. Of course, something's in the way. Ooh, got her mid-run here. Alright. Maybe another dart here. Of course, something's in the way again. Maybe we're gonna hit her mid-run here. Come on, come on. Oh, we got it. I didn't even see the num the count at the bottom. We need to hit her five times, apparently. Right there. Oh, that's going to be a snipe and a half. Okay. One more. I guess I could zoom in, too. That might help. Oh, right there. Come on. Finally, the darts are starting to kick in. Or <laughs> Sly smile. The he likes this. My darts must somehow be interacting with the mask to make her even bigger. Whoa, you're not kidding, Bentley. She's getting gigantic. Everyone head for the big truck. We've got to get some distance between her and us. She might shrink back down with time. So we basically just drugged her to make her even bigger. That's that's great. Yo! Alright. Not gonna even say anything. Not gonna even say anything. Zoink! Yo, was that her? Why does she sound like that? That is not okie dokie. Whoops. Bro, I'm trying to grab him. Dude, I'm trying my best. She keeps throwing bombs right in front of each other. Ooh, <laughs> that's not a pretty sound. Maybe we can grab it before it blows up. I'm trying, Bentley. I'm trying. This truck won't hold itself together. Did we lose? No, she lost. She's too huge. We can't outrun her in the truck. How are you doing? This is bad. 
We need a new strategy and fast. Climb her. This just isn't working. Time to stop running and deal with the real problem. Pry off that mask of dark earth and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. I do not love her. Okay. Not yeah, you do, Murray. Shut it's up. It's all about taking off that mask. We got to find a way up there. You're the climber, and I'm sure you've always wanted to get closer to her. Can't get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. That's not a crazy idea. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. You got a better idea? Yeah, but we'd need a giant fighting robot. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with the bootlace plan. All right, Murray. All right, let's go ahead and uh, climb her. Watch out! Carmelita's troops are en route! See, but why are they angry at me? I feel like they should be angry at her. One boot at a time. Oh, that's not a pretty sound. Feels like she's regurgitating something. We grab her little hair strand here. Oh, okay, I understand. She's gonna swat it herself. I grab on your leg? No! Same time, I don't feel like getting squished. What is she looking at? Is she like trying to squish me? Hey, no! <laughs> okay, Carmelita. Okay. I feel like this is like Sly's dream mission right here. Oh, that's creepy. Yo, destroy that mask. Oh, sick. Good job, guys. Little flying Thanos, I suppose. You'll love to see it. Carmelita just lay there, unconscious, helpless on the desert floor. Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. Her camera proved to be a real source of entertainment as we took turns posing. <laughs> Didn't want her to go home empty-handed. Morning broke, and we got a clear view of the landscape. It was beautiful, empty of the miners that had been digging and drilling into the sacred place. The moment was broken as Carmelita began to stir, and we prepared for another quick exit. Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. For the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member. And the team would never be the same. Nice, we picked up a homeless man. Let's go. And he can... He has powers of... Taking their minds? I feel like we just basically... You know, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I think we brought on someone bad on the team. Alright, Flight of Fancy. Ooh. I feel like this is going to be a nice level here. Let's go ahead and give it a... Let's give it a start here. If this is the one that I think it is, I love this map a lot. Bentley was obsessed. Every night he'd pour over the blueprints to Dr. M's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep Spikes up with him it. intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Bro. Baron. Bro, Bentley's catfishing. Dog fighting champ up there in Holland. 
He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. Oh yeah, he's catfishing. Look at him. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. Nice. All right, let's go get our let's go get uh turtle as love interest, huh? Sly and the gang in flight of fancy. Nice, dude. The one thing that I remember about this game very fondly is these heli these um these plane games and, and the missions and oh, man, I love them to death. Ooh, Carmelita's already here again. Yeah, she really knows how to find us very, very quickly. This is one of the maps that I think I re maybe remember the least, though. I definitely remember it, but I remember it a lot less than a lot of the other maps. But I do remember it being real fun. Alright, looks like we're stationing up right next to the main hall, which is right next to us. I wonder if Carmelita's going to be in there. Okay, so what do we got as far as new gadgets? So that's what I'm curious about. Let's see, Insanity Strike. Ooh, got a roar. We still don't really have enough money for anything, so... I think we're, we're still kind of saving up for the rocket boots right now. Let's go ahead and put on our piloting costume, and uh, let's head out, I guess. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, it looks like we're in like a hotel. If we're gonna succeed in this year's Aces competition, we'll need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane, and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give hey, yo. color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Sounds like a plan to me. Can I get out of my suit? Or is that illegal? Okay, we gotta go... So we gotta go talk to Dimitri. I'm just gonna instantly guess he's probably by the bar. Yeah, he's next to the bar. That uh, isn't a surprise. I wonder if, does he got some lemonade on him? Okay, apparently we gotta walk around. What up, Dimitri? Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights. I have many profiles. Dig, don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. Is that true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Question mark in bold. Um. Intimidate him. Okay. Threaten to expose him. How about that? I want to think about talking, pal. I could always rat you out to the Black Baron. Then you'd be out of a job. 
I'd have no job, and you'd have no nada flight lineup. Mm, go ahead, blow that whistle. I'll be seeing you in the loser's hot dog banquet. Uh, he's right. Okay. Threaten to move violence, I don't know. We both know who will win in a fight between the two of us. I'm not looking to start something here, but you know I'll finish it. True that, raccoon. In the mano a mano, you win. But look around, you soft sock. It's a supersized aviator blowout. Start the fight in hotel, and disqualification will be yours. <laughs> you want that, Jack? Dude, why do I always pick everything wrong? We both know okay. you're gonna tell me. You I did this last time too. Showing up if you didn't want to talk, so spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on an electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is pinched. This guy's paranoid. Looks like I need to calm him down. All right, how do we calm him down? Compliment him, make him feel good. Promise to protect him. If you talk, me and the gang will protect you. We're all in this together. You can count on us. You know our reputation. The Black Baron is a big wheel. He'll roll all over us. Too many men he commands. We can't stop them. Too many to count. Okay. Um. You talk and swear the secret stays between us. I am a thief after all. Keeping things quiet is what I do best. Trust a band of thieves? Do I look chumpy to you? Chumpy. Your promises will be cold comfort when I'm pushing up the daisies with concrete overshoes. All right. Come there on, you go. Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this black baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk of flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro. This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, <gasps> big time. Um, this guy is a real nut job. Not sure if I want to owe him. Mm, let's try to bribe him before With we do anything. Coins maybe change your mind. I find it's a lot easier to talk when I'm rich. Bribe money? Le bling? Cash won't help me get done what needs getting done. I need gang of thieves, not federal reserve. All right, let's just agree to the favor. Okay, Dimitri. Hook me up with the flight roster, and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. We love those. <laughs> Stand cool. Here comes Big Cheese. <laughs> Big Cheese. I remember that line. That was my favorite as a kid. Here comes the big cheese. The most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time, we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. Dude, what a cameo. Now. We all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good-natured late-night hijinks. Well, <laughs> like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes. Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear off Korea's planes. Ha <laughs> 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 put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine. <laughs> yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more. You know the rules. No one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No exceptions. This will be a fair competition. Same as last year and the year before. I've got the scars to prove it. I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow... So like eagles, eh? <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. Let's do it. They don't lock the front door to the hotel. This okay. isn't a jail. But you heard the Baron. What's outside? 
things will get dangerous. Is this the... Oh, this is... I don't even know what MS means. Is it... Oh, it's probably this big old entrance over here, right? Let's see, anything interesting about the other pilots? I don't think so. Is this where we're supposed to be going? No, that's the elevator. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we gotta head over to the, uh, the Baron's Hangar. And play uh, Where's Waldo with a couple of paintings. Careful, partner. The Baron's got plenty of guards on duty. Is that cheese? And it's a long way up to his castle on the hill. Boing. So what we got? We got like a ram thing? You got some loot on you? Let me see. Do these guys get better stuff? Because... All of the other stuff was like only like 80. Yeah, it's still it's not worth that much. I don't know how I'm supposed to get all these big upgrades if these guys aren't giving me any of the cash. Well, I guess we'll just keep uh, slowly going at it. Ooh, there's a oh um how about we just call it? That's a big old wolf. Oh, that's terrifying. There's a piggy. Oh, he's after me. How about we not do that? How about you go after everyone else? Please let me get his treasure before you for anything attacks. Gold medal, 94. Okay, not that good. How about we just call it a day, huh? Oh, there's the big wolf. Let's uh, maybe try to outrun him. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Inside the Baron's hangar with that drawbridge up, there should be a release lever on top of the castle somewhere. Sorry, pal, but you're the best climber we got. Yep, I got a Bentley. I'm already on it. Where are all my guards? Sleep? Watching TV? I bother paying them at all. They're going to lounge about like common tourists. Okay. Gotta climb a little castle here. Skirt. All right. I tell you, Christoph, the Aces pilots get better and better. We've got some real competition on our hands this year. But oh, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Baron. No, 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 no. We've done a fine job training. Our pilots are in tip-top condition, the best lot without question, truly. I'm not just saying this, truly. This is going to be our finest victory ever. Yes, yes, tomorrow we'll witness some legendary dogfighting. Uh, provided the other teams don't sabotage each other. Will they, will they learn? Interesting. Woo. Okay, we're at the top of the castle. King of the castle, king of the castle. Where's Bentley at? Sly, are you out there? No, oh, yeah. Sorry, just us Black Baron goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal, I don't see any switch. But, but, but there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on, I got an idea. What is he gonna like? It's gonna fall. Oh, say, I'm like, is he gonna like shoot a harpoon at him to climb or? Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. Let's do it. Shouldn't Sly like stick around in case like there's like enemies and stuff? Yeet. Oh, I forgot that I bought that hover upgrade, so now I have a couple of jumps. Let's take a look at uh, the Baron's plane. I'm very curious to see what it looks like. is accurate. The flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and um, check. Oh! Whoopsies. Attention! Attention, cast of stars! We've got a big, big day tomorrow with the first round of the Aces competition. Twelve hours away. You've all done a superlative job preparing for the event, and this year promises to be the best dogfighting action we've ever seen. However, 
cannot stress enough that I must win. You've all been hired to help me achieve victory. If, in fact, the unthinkable happens and Team Black Baron loses, I'm going to dismiss the lot of you and start clean with a new staff. Am I making myself clear? Leave nothing to chance. No outsider is to enter the castle. No one is to go near our place. If we lose, if I lose, I'm going to take it out on all of you. Anyhow, have a pleasant evening and let's have fun with that tomorrow. What? what? Alright. Sounds like a little bit of a mean boss. Hey, yo, we got Rajan's level. Okay, let's just start from the bottom to the top. Hey, yo, there we go. Right there. Two, two, three. Oop, I went the wrong direction, but it's okay. Two, two, three. That safe was a bust. Dang it. Try the other. Yeah, this extra, extra hovering is kind of doing wonders for me right now. Oh, that one was very easy. 510. This is Rajan's next level from slide 2. Wait, I already forgot what it is. Was it 510? Yep, there you go. There it is. I, I love... I'm going to say it again. I love Bentley's face when he finished me. He's like, eh. Like, man, he's, he's he's looking ready to ready to fight or something. Okay, fellas. According fellas. to the flight lineup, we'll be flying against Team Iceland and Team Belgium in tomorrow's semi-final round. As you're all aware, we've only got a single plane, while our opponents will be flying 15 apiece. You got that, guys? That's 30 to 1 odds against us. In order to give us a fighting chance, we'll need to pit these two teams against each other. First, Murray and Sly will paddle through the sewers beneath town to get access to an air vent leading into Team Iceland's hotel room. Steal one of their trademark Viking helmets, then head over to Team Belgium's hangar. Vandalize one of their aircraft, then flab the helmet in order to frame Team Iceland for the damage. Next, Murray and I will steal one of Team Belgium's monogrammed handkerchiefs. Meanwhile, the Guru will break into the Team Iceland supply truck, carrying their lucky ice sculpture. Sly will steal the art and then place the handkerchief insinuating Team Belgium for the crime. Get it? We frame both teams so they'll be gunning for each other and not Sly in the semifinals. All the while, I'll be setting up defenses around the Team Cooper air hangar. You never know when one of the other teams might come looking to do us some harm. Is true. Although it'd be kind of mean if they went after us, considering we have a single plane. Like, come on, man. What's the competition, right? All right, let's go ahead and um. Oop, let's go ahead and buy rocket boots, and we're gonna end the episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing some more Sly Three. Um, let's go ahead and hit up Sly, and let's go and get us started. Holland Operation Day One. We just bought these rocket boots. Okay, let's see. Are they? Okay, they're literally just the classic rocket boots like from any other game. Cool. Well, that'll help us get around much faster in like these slower times. All right, frame Team Belgium, frame Iceland, and Cooper Gang Defense. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do the Cooper mission first since we're kind of at it. Whoop. Apparently, I don't know how to control the rocket boots yet. So that's good to know. So I can kind of like come up to someone real fast with that. Cool. All right, let's, let's do the first mission here. All right. See that armored supply truck? It's en route to drop off Team Iceland's lucky ice sculpture for the semifinals tomorrow. I've given the drivers some bad directions, so they should be going around in circles for hours. We need you to get inside that truck, steal the sculpture, and plant some evidence implicating Team Belgium. Good thinking. Team Iceland won't be gunning for me if they think the Belgians stole their lucky hunk of ice. Well, that's the idea. Now the first thing to do is steal one of Team Belgium's official gold lace monogrammed handkerchiefs. Murray will head inside and get one of those stodgy Belgians laughing 
They're notoriously stone-faced. Then I'll move in and steal the handkerchief. Seems like getting inside that truck might be a good job for the guru. He could use some of the guards' heads to bash in the back doors. Agreed. I'll make sure he's in position. All right, so it looks like we, we're kind of all on this plan. We're going to need Murray to make him laugh, Bentley to steal, Guru to smash people into the back of the truck. No pressure, but you've got to find a team Belgian pilot and get him laughing so hard that Bentley can make the pull. This is serious business, pal. Those guys are uptight. Mm. If they notice being robbed, we'll be kicked out of the Aces competition. This guy looks like a fool. Hello, Belgium Flyer. Do you like comedy? I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile. What do you say? I need to get this sourpuss to laugh. Um... An impression. That Baron, he's always... I love flying. Don't go outside. Listen to me. I'm so smart. I'm the boss. My mustache is so macho. <laughs> That's pretty lame, huh? Okay, political humor. I think that'll get him. Why did the chicken cross the road to France? Because it wasn't turkey. And you see, the chicken's not a turkey or a turk. It's a chicken. A French hen. All right, physical humor. Ever see someone put their fist down their throat? Ta -da! Hey, fish! Duck! Duck! I need help! Hey! <laughs> Why does he do that? He laughs and he goes. Okay, Bentley, it's go time. Make the pull while the Belgian's laughing, or he's right. sure to feel you fishing for the handkerchief. Here we go. Do they have metal handkerchiefs? Right, I'm here to s steal your money. Skirt. Yeah, I don't think the handkerchiefs made out of metal, but um. Nice work. Meet me outside with the goods. It's up to the guru now. <laughs> I hope Murray can get his hand out of his mouth. It's kind of embarrassing. You have to take him to the local hospital. handkerchief, but we'll never be able to swipe the ice sculpture unless we can get into that armored truck. I agree. The back door should be its weak spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the guards around here won't mind too much if you break the door down with their heads. I think their families will mind. Bentley set up a waypoint on the truck. Should be handy. The thing's moving pretty fast. All right, let's go ahead and grab. Ooh, that piggy. Oh yeah, you're coming with me. Let's get to the back of the truck here. Here. Bop. It's a good start, but the truck just powered up its automated defenses. Ooh, You'll have to pay attention that. on your next approach. Could get sticky. So, dude, up here I can grab. Hey yo. All right, let's go ahead and grab this homeboy. Well, he almost just dropped a little trap on me on accident. Let's hope he doesn't drop one. Alright, we need one more guy. Where is another dude that's just kind of in our path here? The truck is not actually that fast. We're kind of keeping up with it. Okay, there has to be a dude in the fields, right? Got to be someone out here protecting the hay. Yes, pick time. All right, come on, bacon. No. All right, I'll just turn into a pile of apples. All right, come on, big bacon. I need you. Where's that thing yet? All right, we're gonna have to make a little bit of a dash here, but we'll make it. We're on our way. Mmm, like one more hit? Oh, hey, look at that. A rabbit right when we needed him. Yo, where in the world did that thing go? I was about to try to go out of the map. Oh, don't go into the town. Boing, boing, boing. Alright, I wonder if I can hop on... Ch 
He's still alive. All right, well then we're still taking him. All right, we gotta catch up to this truck. Boing. Not gonna lie, that other trap was kind of cheese. It was sliding down the bridge. Come on. There we go. The back doors are still holding tight, but the top of the vehicle's been blown wide. Bro, the guru's got some cheeks. Look at him. He cheeked up. Okay, Sly, your turn. You'll have to sprint hard to catch up, but jumping inside through the roof should be easy. All right, where's he at? We got the paraglider now, so we can just kind of glide over this river. Ooh, do you have treasure? Nope, no treasure. Then I'm not interested. You got treasure? Not interested. Okay. Mm, what is the best way to do this? Can I just, like, jump from up here? This drops something, doesn't it? What does it do? I don't know, but let's maybe focus on the truck for now. Yeet! This is it. Crack the safe and make the swap. No pressure, but I think the driver has figured out where to go. You don't have much time. There we go. Great work. Team Iceland is sure to blame the Belgians. They'll be all over each other in tomorrow's dogfight. Nice. Alright, who do we gotta grab next? We got two Murray missions. Okie dokie. Move maybe? Juggernaut throw, berserk charge. I think we can probably get. Let's just get um, Murray at least one move. Y you know, diverse, diversify his kit a little bit. So we have the ball, and then now we have this charge. Let's go. See, what does this do? We just literally. Okay. We just head charge somebody. Alright, let's go ahead and do this mission. Looks like hard partying team Iceland has already gone to sleep. Time to borrow one of their Viking helmets. Why do you need me? Just have Sly pick the lock to the door and steal the thing. This is a delicate business. We're trying to frame Team Iceland for a crime they haven't committed. If there's any evidence of their door being forced, people might believe that they're innocent. Man, you've gotten devious over the years. So, uh, how are we supposed to get inside? There are some sewer pipes beneath town that should connect up with the ventilation system of the hotel. Sly scrounged a raft for the trip, but be careful. Other pilots have caused trouble down there in the past, and the Baron is sure to have set up some security. I get to row a boat? Nautical! <laughs> Nautical. I like that. Maybe I'll use that in real life. Very, very nautical. All right, let's do this. Oh, the water looks nasty. That's that's doo doo water. Murray, use the left. Nope. Oh, I need to like click. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm guessing I'm not supposed to hit those things. Probably. We're rowing through doo doo water. My favorite. What happens if we hit this? Does it just like shove us sideways? Didn't actually do much. Right, this is probably gonna shove us sideways a lot, right? Yeah, still didn't really do much. Okay, see that? Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. That we definitely don't want to hit. I feel like if we hit that, we're not gonna be alive for much longer. I also feel like it's a horrible idea. You're in a sewer. That thing is gonna just like touch the wall, and all of a sudden you're gonna have like massive structural damage to your sewer system you're gonna have doo-doo water in your water supply call it flint michigan like i don't know if this is a good idea um oh this one we probably need to row all the way from this end now nah, we're gonna smash into it you see murray is not doing the things that i need him there we go okay roll fast murray roll fast one more time
Here we go. I'm also doing this fast because I'm confident. Can we click this any faster? Let's see if I can. Oh, I think we're at the end of the line here. This is it. Make your way to the hotel ventilation system. Murray, stay and guard the boat. Okay. Let's do it. If you're telling me other pilots in the past came down here in this doo-doo water to try to sabotage someone else? I feel like it's like way too much work for that. Boink. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab one of those Viking helmets. I'm glad we don't have to grab an animal head like in slide two. That always confused me. Be careful not to wake these guys up. They're a paranoid group and a Probably set up some crude burglar alarms. Like this thing? Guess guessing we're not supposed to. Man drank too much lemonade. Don't you have them? No. You're the responsible one here. Let's just bang on the door. Nice work. Head back to Murray and the raft. Is that yogurt or beans or soup? I'm not gonna wake them all up. Those guys will shoot at us tomorrow if we do that. Fine. We'll just go down to the front desk and ask for a spare. But you can forget about me being your wingman tomorrow. Sad. All right. Dude, I want to knock that. I want to knock it down so bad. We won't. Stay professional, Sly. Stay professional. Alright. Back to the doo doo water. And another thing there are speed challenges in this game. I don't know if I should just save them all towards the end and just do them all at once, or do them as we go. Sorry, pal. I'm not super sure, but... Position. We need to escape through another tunnel. Okay. But fear not. The Murray has an unnatural sense of direction. Steer with the left. I'm hoping they give us a couple more bombs here. The first part was a little too easy. Oh. Alright. I shouldn't have said something. Now, now we've got moving bombs? Whoops. Well, we're bound to hit one of them, right? There we go. Mm, yeah, let's wait for that one to pass and then go. Mm, maybe I'll follow right behind this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sick. You just follow the... Follow the stream. Do a little drift around the corner. Murray's in Tokyo drift right now. Uh, oh, that seems a little hard. Ouch. Oh, okay, we're good again. Nice. Alright, let's go plant this Viking hat. Nice job. You really showed some finesse with those oars. The Murray is, and always has been, finesse. Uh, yeah. You good to plant this helmet on the Belgian plane? Can do, pal. Can do with a vengeance. I forgot, where is the Belgians people's thing? What the hell? We'll collect it at the end there. Um, let's throw you over there. Where am I supposed to be at? Oh, right, the hangar. Nyom. Belgium's 
prize plane strung up from the ceiling. It's held in place by these anchors. Destroy them and the plane should come crashing down. Seems like these lasers might roast my hulking bulk. True. You'll have to compact yourself using your ball move to travel safely beneath the laser grid. Check. You can just crawl either one though. Ball attack. Nice job. Uh, just three more to go. Halfway but... there. Right, one more to go. Just one excellent work. Plant the Viking helmet, and the Belgians are sure to blame Team Iceland. Here you go. Nice. All right, I think we got one more Murray mission, and I'm hoping it's on this on this other side of the map, so we don't have to run all the way back. Good? Good. Okay. Cooper Hangar Defense. Let's do it. You have money on you I could steal by chance? You do? Wonderful. I love it when they do. Silver metal. Me. Alright. Start the mission. So I'm guessing we're going to be beating up a lot of guys considering it's a hangar defense. But these are like my favorites. I've been working to get our hangar security devices online and they're almost operational. Unfortunately, my internet pal Penelope heard a rumor that a rival air team might be stopping by to do mischief to our plane. Mischief makers? Coming here? If you could stand watch while I finish getting the systems online, that would be great. Fear not, Brainiac chum. You'll be safe while my fists are on duty. Greetings, troglodytes. <laughs> Didn't think I forgot about Mesa City, did you? I figure you joints let me smash up your aeroplane and we're even. You and what army, dumb guy? I'm Got him. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, boys. I paid you off good enough. Time to crack some skulls. Murray, you can't hurt Mugshot with your fists. Try using the switch in the middle of the hangar. Ow! Get that <laughs> pink punk! You hit him in the nuts. Open. Hit him in the nuts with, uh, boxes. Ah! Can y'all get away from me? Here we go. Smash him in the nuts. Oh, you're dead, punk. Nah, I'm still alive, apparently. Uh, uh, don't throw tools at me. That's horribly wasteful. They just spit at me like a weirdo. Alright. I'm thunder flapping all of you. Free money though? Thunder flop. Oh! Ran into that fire. That was kind of on me. Yeah, stop throwing your tools, you Mr. Bacon. Bop. Right, let me hit him in the nuts again. Oh, right in the solar plexus. Don't think this is over, Meatball. You're not untouchable. This is just the beginning of a really bad day. All right, mugshot. mugshot Definitely top three villains, as far as for me. Fortunately, my Bro, security everyone was trying to get some. Almost online. I'll just have time for a quick test. Let's see. I can switch between computers by moving oh, the that's left so sick. analog stick. And now to test the security by pressing the triangle button, circle button, X button, or square button. See, why do they get clear water while we got doo doo water? Just in time, too. Murray, they're upon us. If one gets through my trap, you'll have to take him out. Got it. 
The Cooper plane is as safe as a baby in well, a I'm sure Murray's not gonna have trouble train. with that. Okay. Gotta try to keep an eye on both here. Skirt. We got bacon for breakfast. Oop, I missed. It's gonna be on cooldown. Any one from over there? I probably could have hit the rabbit with the. We stopped that group. Oh really? That's it. But it looks like more are on the way, and they're packing explosives. Bro, that's not sabotage. It's just straight up like taking away my plane. I feel like I have like grounds to sue for that. You can't just like share up destroy my entire plane. I'm gonna take you to court. Whoops. Okay, there you go. What up, pick boy? Whoop. Tried to hit him with that triangle there. I was slightly bit slow. There we go. I love these types of missions. These are really, really fun. Anything involving these types of traps and button hitting, they're usually very, very easy to do, but they're just a lot of fun. Um, let's go ahead and hit that, hit that. The circle there, there. They haven't even gotten close yet. Ooh, that guy actually got close, funny enough. Oh, one's gonna get through. Uh, one dude's gonna get through, but that's fine. Really not that big of a deal here. Oh, okay, another Okay, see, I said this was easy, and now I'm actual garbage. I'm trying. I'm just bad. Oh, one more is going to get through. There we go. Stop it with that. that Trying. There we go. We got Let's go. Nice work. A little scary there for a moment. Mugshot will need a lot more than muscle to intimidate us. Looks like he's got muscle and mortar fire. Maybe it's time I brought in some backup. Just hope she's monitoring the ham radio frequencies. Penelope, do you read me? Are you out there? I read ya, Bentley. Uh, this is sort of an awkward first face-to-face, -face, but... But your hangar is getting attacked by some traitorous peed off Black Baron goons. Don't worry, I won't let those honorless double-crossers hurt your team's plane. Is your RC chopper operational? Affirmative. It's deployed and airborne. You're a heck of a woman. I know. That's what my homepage says. Bentley's got a weird way of flirting. You're a heck of a woman. What are you, 80? Don't worry, Bentley. I'll keep those traitorous guards from damaging your hangar. Oh, wait! I just installed a Yank 86 and haven't had time to read the specs. Are you familiar with the device? Absolutely. Just hit the X button to lower your cable and grab opponents. Follow the arrow to find enemies. Oh, okay. one button to kick on the thrusters and yank things off the ground. I got you, and then I go, yeet. I'll teach those chumps not to sell out the Black Baron. Some enemies require a few yanks to defeat. To maximize your power, boost in one direction, pull on the cable, then turn around and boost the other way. Yeah, these guys are heavy. Oh, did he? Penelope, okay, I'm like. I'm detecting incoming tanks. They could do some serious damage to our hangar. Follow the arrow to find their location. Affirmative. Skirt. Those tanks are heavy. You'll have to boost back and forth several times. He wasn't so tough. Well, let's keep grabbing him. I feel like this is like kind of mean. 
skirt. Well, I feel like it doesn't really matter at this point. Alright, come on. Air pig. Was that a tank? Is that red? Because that's a tank? Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Alright, let's uh, go towards the tank here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's gonna hurt a little bit, ain't it? Skirt, skirt. Yo, pig, stop! Don't huff and puff. I thought the wolf was supposed to do that, not you. Somehow I actually missed that. What does that M stand for on the plane? Okay, you're gonna have to stop that like right now. Also, why does everyone want to sabotage me? What did we do? We didn't do nothing. Another tank? At least the tanks are real easy to grab onto because they're so big. Oh, come on. I feel like these smaller guys are harder to grab. Come on. Who's attacking our thing? Stop. You're not allowed to do that. That's illegal. I'm gonna tell my mom. Where is this helicopter getting all this fuel? Oh, come on. I didn't even touch that dude. He just started flying. I feel like that was definitely not my fault. Great job, Fidelity. You're the best RC pilot I've ever seen. Ah, uh, those thugs deserved it. No one sells out the Black Baron and walks away scot-free. What do you mean sells out the Black Baron? What the okay, is that we're all set up mean? for the Ace of Semifinals. Once Sly arrives at the team hangar, we'll prep the plane and suit up for competition. Semifinals? What what happened to like the group stage? We're just going just straight into the semifinals? Alright bro, can you get knocked on the ground? Get money on you? If you do, I'm taking it. Get out of here. Alright, looks like we gotta grab Sly here. Ooh, whoops! Yo, 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 stop shooting, stop shooting! No! <laughs> Alright, let's try to get out of here. Oh, we're trapped. Alright, bro. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Alright, this game is hard. Can we jump into this water? Will that kill us? No, it won't. Okay. I don't know why I was so scared of this water. I just assumed that we, we probably can't go in it, right? You got money on you? Oh, I just want to shake you down. Nothing, really? Oops. Alright, can you sit down? I don't know if you had treasure, but I don't care anymore, to be honest. Zoink. Is there any other enemy up here? I'm throwing a barrel at their head. Can we jump and barrel? No, okay, we can't. That'd be kind of broken. How do we get... How do we get... Oh, we got more cheese, okay. So cheese is not that bouncy, but, uh... Hey, I won't complain about it. I wonder what type of cheese it is, though. There's some bouncy cheese that I don't know about. I don't want to have it now. Do we got enough money to buy anything? I feel like we've been neglecting Bentley a little bit, but we've also got a lot for Sly. Press and do powerful push attack. Press triangle, triangle, circle. Okay, I actually kind of want to get... I want to see what that move does. But let's not buy anything for now. Sly is going to be our next mission. I haven't used this push strike before. Oh, okay. So it's not just like the hold... I can do the hold, and then I could do one of the push. What's just like the normal spin attack? 
Okay, so yeah, the this is the normal spin attack, and then this is the push. Okay, interesting. Well, guys, we're actually going to go ahead and end the episode off here, and we'll go ahead and start the next episode. Or start, Yeah, start the next episode with the next mission, so I'll see you guys. Hey, what's up, guys? We're playing some Sly 3. We're going to go ahead and head over to Sly's mission over there, but first, I want to show you guys something. If you look up in the top right, you can see that we have 6,262 coins. That is not what it normally should be. Um, there was a couple of hours where I couldn't record, so instead I just ran around the map and stole things for like a good two, three hours. Um, so I got a bunch of money. So what that's going to basically help us do is I can just buy everything right now. So let's go ahead and just absolutely cash out. And even after all that, we're still going to have 1900 left over. So likely, we shouldn't have any problems um, buying anything the rest of the game. Just... And again, that was just a few hours, so that wasn't, um, you know, that wasn't a whole lot of time to do that. So, um, yeah, I wanted to get that out of the way. We now have all the moves. I don't even see what they were. Um, okay, combat dodge. Let's see what, um, this does. All right, let's go ahead and go to our mission. Let's see what we're doing here. Suit up, partner. Almost time for the semifinals. Oh, we're finally getting in the plane. All right. Stay sharp, Sly. Iceland and Belgium will be at each other's throats up there, but you're still outnumbered. Relax, Mom. This is gonna be great. Alright. And by far, one of the best parts about this game is this flight. These, these flight missions are absolutely so much fun. Okay. <laughs> I love how there's like team I know Bentley their planes kind of look similar to mine so the funny part about this whole thing is just the fact that um, there's three teams two whole countries and then me I love how they just like let us have that exception of, yeah, yeah, you know, Belgium, Netherlands, whatever, Iceland, and then random Cooper, just, I mean, hey, <laughs> thank you, I guess, that feels like a real honor, considering only other countries were let in, but, um, I wonder what, um, what were those power-ups I picked up earlier, were those, like, heals? I picked them up, and do I have to, like, click something? I don't know, I'm clicking all the buttons, and... Ooh, I just did a little barrel roll. Is that like... Oh, that's ammo! Okay, because I'm seeing... So if I do this, do I run out of ammo? Okay. I now understand what this is for. Alright, well, let's go ahead and grab some more. Honestly, th this isn't very hard, because it's not like they really shoot back that often. I don't know if maybe, like, once we destroy a couple more, they'll start shooting back. But currently, they don't shoot back very often. I don't have any, like, boost or anything, right? And so, and they don't fly particularly well, either. They're pretty easy to hit. Boom, boom. Although, I do get damaged if I run into them, so I should probably not uh, do that. But yeah, these... I don't know who's... Ooh! I don't, know, I don't know whose team that is, but they look very similar to me. I'm almost like, am I shooting Bentley or something? Ow. Woo. I got no more ammo, homie. Alright, let's head back down to under the bridge. Woo! You absolute dingus. No. Can he grab the ammo too? I hope not. What up? Should have looked under, bud. You suck. Right, six more. We can actually snipe people too, which is kind of cool. Let's try to snipe this dude. Your actual cheeks. Do these guys have a bigger hitbox? I feel like their planes are bigger. So I could hit them a lot more easily. Alright, four teams left. Let's go ahead and try to find them. Yeah, you know what? Let's go grab some more ammo. I don't feel like coming back for a refuel here. So let's just go ahead and uh, zoink this up and... Woo! 
Hey, what up? Thanks for, uh... Ah! Thanks for joining. Alright, two more? I know where both of them are at. Don't make me run into you. Don't make me run into you. Whoop! Alright, let's do a little barrel roll. Where are you at, bud? Haha! <laughs> Your cheeks. Easy peasy. All right, one man against two parent whole countries. We take those. All right, slide your time. Like the slides flying, we're officially in the Aces finals. Our opponents, Team Mudshot and Team Black Baron. The rules in the finals are a bit different than normal. Okay. Whoever takes out the defending champ gets the title. Hear that, boys? It's all about taking down the Baron. Our only real competition will be Mudshot himself. We need to remove him from the competition. Here's the plan. I'll challenge him to a fist fight out in the town square. Sly, you find and lure Inspector Fox to the same place. When the two meet, the sparks are sure to fly. With some luck, the big guy will get carted off to jail, and we'll have clear skies for the final. However, the Baron won't be so easy to deal with. He commands an enormous team of flyers, and has been known to bring in a squad of blimp gunships when things look grim. The answer to our problem isn't obvious, although it is potent. Behold, Lupus Gigantormus. I'll drug the beast so that the guru will be able to ride it and take out some of the local guards, who also serve as the Baron's pilots. Obviously, the fewer enemy pilots Sly has to deal with in the finals, the better. Next, I'll hack into the aircraft control tower. If successful, I'll be able to intercept any messages the Baron might send to his gunships. All right, team, we've got all night to prepare. If we take this thing, it'll mean more than a trophy. Penelope is sure to join our gang. After her stellar work defending our hangar, I'm sure we'd all agree that she's a prime recruit. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna, I want to do the mission with um, the homeboy who can steal mines. Oh, oh, hey, more. Okay, hold on, hold on. Grapple cam. Okay, this is fun. Oh, this one's good. Silent obliteration. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's buy Shadow Power and Fists of Flame. Also, we're out of money again. Okay, so never mind. We will have trouble buying things. I'm gonna need more money. Um, let's head out. Wait, does I just saw does Light even have a mission? I think it's all Bentley, right? Yeah, apparently it's all Bentley. All right, well. Let's head back inside and uh, get our boy Bentley here with a lot of new moves. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we got Adrenaline Burst. We got, what do we got? Insanity Strike and Health Extractor. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. And then we're going to do that. Yeah, so what is this? This is just uh, fast, right? Woo, that is fast. And then this is... Oh, and we got him the triple jump. This is our bomb. Woo, what's the... What thing I'm missing? Oh, no, actually, that's it. Okay. Let's head up to his uh, mission, and let's go ahead and get, get it started. It's time we dealt with Mugshot. We can't risk him taking down the Baron before you in the finals. Not to mention he deserves a little payback for what he did to our aircraft hangar. True, true. Since Mugshot's assault, the Baron has been keeping an eye on him. We can't fight him out in the open for risk of getting disqualified. Thankfully, Inspector Fox is out in the field looking for us. I hear you. We'll set them against each other. Mugshot is an international criminal, after all. Carmelita won't be able to resist. My only concern is for Inspector Fox's safety. Oh, don't worry about her. She's more than a match for a meathead like Mugshot. Okay, I'll pick a fight with Mugshot and bait him into meeting in the town square for our rumble. You do that. I'll get Carmelita's attention and lead her back here to the same place. Agreed. 
I've got to hand it to you, Benley. This is a really underhanded plan. Why, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good about it. All right. Let's do it. Love how his little hat just goes. Whoop. Yeah, I feel like if Carmelita doesn't get there very quickly, Bentley's not going to survive very long. Um, but hey, I'm not going to say nothing. It, it's not going to take Mugshot more than like a single squeeze to basically um, kill him. So let's hope she gets there quick, huh? I'll beat it, twerp. The Black Baron's been giving me the grill since that event. Look at this dude's biceps. Perhaps you'd like to take out some frustration by engaging in a physical battle with me outside of the town square. No way. I'm being watched here. That, and it wouldn't feel right pounding a four-eyed runt in a wheelchair. Alright, so we gotta say something to really get him going here. Um... Yeah, okay, let's do this do you mental. Do even know what hmm. I'm saying to you? Or are you too stupid to understand the words coming in through your ear holes? What? What's an ear hole? Talk sense, why don't you? Okay, he is too stupid, okay. Um... His record, I'm I don't know. I'm sure you wouldn't win in the fight anyway. You've got such a long, sad history of losing to the Cooper gang. I could whip your whole gang with one arm if you jerks would sit still. Look at these arms. I'm unstoppable. His mustache. Oh, his monkey, that's gonna your get him. Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentleman callers than the operator. Nobody talks that way about my mother. Nobody. Okay, little broken down runt. Looks like you're gonna get broken down even more. Town Square, five minutes. Please don't be late. Yeah, I was like, yeah, don't be early either. If you're early, ew. Bentley's about to need a. Uh... What would a paraplegic need? Because he can't. Okay, Electric wheelchair? Go find Inspector Fox and lead her back to the town square. He would need one of those. He does need his arms. I don't know. Um, okay, that bridge over there is... Is that bridge down? Did that bridge come down? When did... No, no. When did this bridge come down? Okay, it used to be, uh, it used to be up. Interesting. Okay. Alright, we need to get Carmelita. Are you gonna be alright? Alright, you're not supposed to be here, so you're gonna die. Okay, do I literally just walk up and oh, let me steal her stuff first yo give me your cash and then I'm gonna lead you if you're gonna get beat up by mugshot then at least can I smack her hey inspector Fox still looking for a date to the prom Quit running oh. And I'll the you. oh she actually almost hit me with that one actual stormtrooper aim dude skirt can she follow me up here or is she just gonna... Bro, shoot back! Bruh. Really? Ah! <laughs> she... Okay, apparently she just doesn't care about anyone else. Fair enough. Just follow me. Gonna take a dip in the river, huh? Hopefully that wolf ain't around. That wolf would eat both of us. Who chain? So this is where I'm supposed to- Ooh! Blast it, Sly! Why run? Why not face me like a real man? Not man enough for you. Mess with me? That little punk is gonna eat dirt. Hey! You're that cop hag that busted me back in Mesa City! Mugshot, alias Two Gun Tony, also known as Meathead Mugshot. Seven foot three inches, 324 pounds, wanted in seven countries with 13 outstanding warrants for your arrest. And yes, I'm that cop hag that put you away back in Mesa. Well, wise guy, lady. 
feel like going for another shot at the title? It's my duty to put you behind bars. That, and I enjoy making tough guys cry like the stupid babies they really are. I ain't no stupid baby. <laughs> kind of sounds like a stupid baby. Oh, sh shoot, he can... I forgot that he has guns too. Why does he have guns? Bro, 1v1 me on Rust, bro. I'm gonna quick scope the crap out of you. No tacticals, no flashbangs. No quick, no hard scopes or you're, you're trash. Can I just... I think that's like the strat. You just go back and forth. He, he's only hit me a couple times so far. Well, that was one of them. Mother, that you? I'm sorry. I didn't know they was yours. Was she steal her cookies? It'll take all night. Oh well, I'm sure Cooper won't make his move anytime soon. There we go. Gotta love, gotta love Carmelita missions. Her gun is actually real fun to play with. Like one of the only times you, you just like use an actual gun. Bentley's bombs are like sorta like a gun, but like not really, right? And that's also why the plane missions are also fun. Alright, let's put that guy to sleep. I'll put this can I snipe him? Nope, I'm trash. Can I put this thing to sleep? Nope. Alright. Um let's uh, do one of these bad boys and get out of here. Perfect feral specimen of Lupus Gigantormus. So let me get this straight again. You plan on stalking that thing, drugging it, putting the guru on board, and setting the two free to smash up the guards? An airtight plan, I agree. In simplicity itself, by channeling the wild destruction housed in that bloodthirsty creature, we should be able to thin out the Black Baron's ranks. Which, of course, means fewer enemy pilots flying against you in the files. I'm all for evening the odds in our favor, but come on. This plan seems a little... risky. Not at all. I've modified my sleep darts with heavy doses of skunk bulb. It should be enough to pacify the beast, provided he doesn't catch wind of me first. Alright, that sounds okay. You can hang back and shoot him at a distance. Uh... Well, given the weight of the darts, I'll need to sneak up behind him and take a shot within a few meters. Meters? Quit trying to freak me out and put the guru on the binocucom. That's who I'm scared for. Screw Bentley. This going to be on top of him. It'll be up to you. Thanks, guru. You always know just what to say. Bro, the guru falls off one time, and the dude is toast. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, here we go. Bop. And then we know what the right runaway button is now. Alright, yeah, smash that pig for me first. Oh, yeah, fight. Ooh. Mm, I don't know where he's going next. Oh, okay. We can snipe him from here. Don't go for that guy. Don't go for that guy. Good Skirt. Job. I'm out of here, bro. Oh, is he still behind me? You don't know who I am? You don't know where I am? It looks like I'm farting some absolute devious. Ooh. I even got little black things. Bro, I'm... Something's come out of my butt that's not holy right now. Alright. Bro. Otherwise, the darts just bounce off. I was like two seconds away from him. What do you mean? Okay, let's give that another whirl here. <gasps> Almost too close. Nice. Oh! That hit home. I I only got uh I don't got any more speed boosts left, but I think that's actually okay. Because the next dart is going to put him to sleep, so I don't think I'll need another boost. I try to eat him up. Call that brunch. It's around brunch time for me, actually. But I only I only got like two or three hours after school to record, so... 
Pro Ooh, I get free money for that? I'm prioritizing you guys. Food? Nah. YouTube? Mm-hmm. Nice right, you're slipped. Game, Hunter. The skunk bomb is kicking in. He's almost asleep. Well, the seam asleep. It was like he just started running faster. Guru, you're up. You should be able to possess the giant wolf now that he's out. Okay. Homeless man time. Skirt. I got a stick and a stone. Okay, I can... Whoa, I can jump pretty high. Okay. <gasps> That's gonna kill me. Oops. Honestly, I kind of assumed that the wolf would be able to swim. Also, this has to be like one of the worst ways to die, right? No. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Yeah, I feel like this is like a really traumatizing way to die. Like, yeah, maybe get shot or whatever. But, dude, a wolf eats you? Like, that's like probably top 10 worst deaths you can imagine. Come here, big boy. Alright, let's try to jump up and try to get this rabbit. Come here, tr tricks, cereal bunny. Tricks are not just for kids. They're for me, too. Ooh, bridge boy. Two bridge boys. Where y'all going? And free money on top of it? You're telling me I'm feeding a local wildlife and I get free gold? I should do this more often. I know there's a dude hiding in... Where are you? There's got to be a dude hiding. Oh, he's already running. He's not hiding. Come here, bub. You're next. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't hurt me more. Ooh, I got... Ooh! That was kind of sick, actually. Alright, I got to be careful. There's water right there. Um... Ooh. Come here, little piggy. I feel like this is, like, how the... Fairy tale was made. Where did this gold come from? Hey, free money. Ah, I, I want to get that rabbit, but I'm also fairly scared. I need to lunge at him and. Okay, you know what? I'm le. I feel like I should just leave him alone. There is a piggy up there that I want to go. You know what? No, the trick cereal rabbit is gonna get. No, dude, I'm trash. Come here. I want you so bad. I want to eat you. You're delicious. All right, let's go get that piggy up here. You're supposed to build a house, doofus. Why are you running around in the open? I also want to do, like, a big old jump. Come here. Ooh. Oh, that was way too close. I almost just died. Had a slight panic attack because I've already died twice. Okay. That pig also had the chance of killing me if I felt, if I jumped right into the water right there. You're done. Excellent. That should even the odds tomorrow in the finals. Dude, how did the guru not, not get just instantly eaten right there? At that point, I would have like got Bentley to re-drug him. All right, windmill firewall. All right, we get finally another hacking mission. Let's go. Let's see how fun it is. Also, I'm going to throw a bomb at this because these things are fun to explode. Bop. Gimme, gimme. Oh, and actually, this was one place when I was grinding money where I came pretty often. Because it's... Okay, screw you too. It's just a decent amount of money all in like one place. Let's see if we can like trick shot our way up there. How do you plan to hack into the aircraft control tower? It's simple, really. The whole system is linked through computer nodes which monitor the power generated by the nearby windmills. Seriously? All the power around here comes from the local windmills? I thought they were just for looks. The control nodes tell a different story. How do you plan to get up there? It's pretty high. My turbo chair has been outfitted with an extra afterburner. Heights such as that are nothing to me. Okay. But, oh, I was like, yeah, because we already bought that. W were they going to give it to me for free if I didn't buy it? Computer, I will show no mercy. Of course, because hacking you do. Yeah. All right. See, this is cool. This is like the hacking game from slide two, except 
The controls are not inverted this time. Amen to that. I could actually wait. Mm. Oh, it is inverted. Cheeks, bro. It's okay. I feel like I'm gonna do better this time. But they, they actually, the controls are still inverted. Mm, looks like I might need to transport the circular lockdown code. Very cool, Bentley. Very cool. Very techy of you. Finally, some All right. challenge. Mm, zoink. You go there, dude. I'm not gonna even fight. I can just juke him out. Skirt, skirt. Easy. Another falls before my digital kung fu. Hi -ya, cha -cha -cha. Bro, cringing for Bentley. For a second, I thought the next one was on the blimp, and I was gonna start asking questions. It's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to steal the dude's stuff, but um. Okay, well, we gotta keep running, right? I was hoping I could keep running before he shot me, but Bentley's kind of good at getting shot, so. Let's keep, these boosters are very addicting to use, because I feel like whenever I'm going slow, I just instantly want to not go, not do that. Bink, bonk, bink. Alright, here we go. Kneel before the feet of the master. Okay, bud. Looks like, looks like going no shot, no shot, <laughs> dude. Alright. You know what? Oh, actually, I have to get rid of these, or I'm gonna die very quickly. Okay, then let us do that. Pew, 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 pew. I'm kinda getting uh, owned right now, to be real. Alright, just this last dude. If I could just aim right, that would be wonderful. Woo! That's okay. There we go. Okay, now we just need to grab these gumballs out of their little prisons. Just let me get the gumballs, please. Or digital. Digital. Okay, fine. I just got rid of that with my body. Alright, pizza. Stop chasing me. Ow. Okay, just need to free one more gumball. And then we can take the... Alright, I'm in slightly better trouble here, but we got it, we got it. Take that there. Ow, ow. Ow. Okay, we're... We actually can't get hit a single time, or we're dead. So we're gonna have to use our gaming skills here to not get hit. Games. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by that guy. Terminal? That was a butt clincher and a half. That was a butt clincher. But, um... Hmm. Okay, let's do one more. Well, I wonder if I could jump onto that on accident. Let's do one more. And then I think we'll end off the episode right before the third one. Right. Oop, I keep pulling that out on accident. And that is not what I'm meaning to do here. Ping pong, boom. Don't worry, my pet. I'll make this quick and painless. Don't call it your pet, you weirdo. Dude, I bet Bentley's got plenty of Tamagotchi, dude. What in the world is this level? Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I need to basically watch out for that thing. Okay. Grab this. I was gonna go around, but this just made it easier. Okay. So far, not too bad. What are these orange things? Extra strong pizza slices? Is there gonna be like extra large gumballs? Oh! We got an absolute juicer. That dude's gigantic. Which we technically don't even need to fight him. We can just go inside of. Can I? I might destroy him for fun. Can I just destroy him. For... Yeah, okay. I just wanted to destroy him just to so I could say I did. Excellent. If I didn't. Now for the aircraft control tower. Once it's hacked, the system will be mine. 
and we will do that next episode guys thanks for watching what's up guys we're playing some more sly 3 we got one more terminal to hack and then i think we're going to um probably the final mission with uh the planes okay that was unfortunate not only did i get shot i almost also got blown up and detected unlucky but yeah i think we're gonna go to the final mission soon jump as far as you can towards it and we get to play the super fun plane mission all right let's see if this one's hard i feel like the set i feel like the second hack was the hardest so far the third was actually fairly easy all right this might be a, this might be a re okay all right let's restart and let's do it the right way i guess no i was actually very close to that all right let's go ahead and do this and do it the right way here really the ones that cause me a lot of trouble i don't mind the big old dude these orange ones kind of back me up into a corner and it gets real scary real quickly honestly i'm almost tempted to just not even fight them and let's just uh, go back very surprised i made made it out of that without even getting hit once maybe we can try to do this whole thing without even getting hit once that would be kind of goaded would be a pro gamer moment for sure. Okay. Actually, there's a decent chance we're going to do this without even getting hit once. I almost got sniped by that one. Dude, easy. They say it couldn't be done. Success. I've got total access. Wait, the, the code's unstable. Everything's speeding up. I mean the code's unstable. Bro. Buggy code. Free water? Windmill throwing stars, eh? This little system bug might come in handy. Yeah, but see, I don't think it will. I don't think you can particularly control that unless you're just like... I don't know, let's just throw one in the air, see what happens. Which would be kind of sick, and, and I'm all for that. Thanks to our combined efforts, we are now ready for the final round of the Aces dog fighting competition. Put on your helmets, because it's time for Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. In just a few hours, Team Iceland and Team Belgium will begin fighting it out in the B-Champs round. This will provide the perfect cover for step one of my plan. Sly, use the catapult and your paraglider to get access to the local gunships. Plant some tracking devices, then head back to the team hangar and suit up for the finals. Murray, you're up next. Use your rowboat to pull down the aircraft communication antenna. With it out of commission, the Baron will have to use an unscrambled radio frequency to call in the gunship for backup. If that happens, I'll be ready with our secret weapon. And with the tracking devices installed, I'm guaranteed not to miss. In the end, though, it'll be up to Sly. This is a sudden death competition. The first team to take out last year's champ wins. That's if the Black Baron doesn't take out all the competition first. All right, let's do this. We got Sly. We have any any more things to buy? Anything new? I mean, nothing new. Just the same old that we didn't have enough money for. All right, Operation Turbo Dominant. Was that Eagle? Yeah, I was like, I didn't. I don't have to climb the whole thing, right? I can just kind of yeet up there. The B Champs dogfight is beginning. With these guys going at it, no one will notice as you slip onto the gunships and plant the tracking device. Sounds straightforward enough. Where'd you get these trackers? They look kind of funny. Best I could do on short notice. They're sensitive to extreme changes in altitude. You'll have to pull this job off at high elevation, or it's a bust. Shouldn't be a problem. What kind of trackers are only good at high altitude? Is there some like weird oxygen meter in them? Yeet. I can make it to that one. Or can I? Oh, it might be close. I got it. That was that was kind of close though. 
Not quite. Bad. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, try to do that again. I guess it is on a timer. Alright, I think we can make make it there now. If you'll let me get on. I think we can make it there now, because we're not as far. And I think it's going to make a left turn. Oh, no shot that I miss again, right? Okay, thank God. I got scared for a moment there. Well done. Two down. Oh. Um, this was maybe a mistake. You know what? I'm going to go back. I don't like that. I know I'm not going to make it for a fact. Um, and both of them are very far away from me. I guess we'll just give it a moment again and see when we get closer. Also, why are these guys dog fighting over to the town? When we dog fought, we had to fight somewhere else, didn't we? Also, I actually, like, really love the design of this map. I don't know, for some reason that water just... I don't understand where the water's coming from, because we just got it randomly coming out of a mountain. And it's flowing, right? So flowing water needs a source. I don't particularly understand where the source of water is. Like... I guess maybe... Where's the last one? Okay, well, it'll take a second. What is behind there? That's where the water is going. The water is starting from right in there. I don't feel like... Is there like... Oh, okay, I need to jump now, actually. Is there like some secret to like water bending that... The Baron knows? Woo! That was kind of sick. Let's do it. Can I just jump off? All right, Murray. The Black Baron's communication antenna is held up by three support beams. Pull them out of place, and the whole array will fall apart. Don't worry. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's rowing and breaking stuff. Which works for this mission. Good job, Murray. Of course, if we don't get shot, I think. So how do I destroy? Oh, okay, so we already got a line hooked up to it. We just need to roll away from it. Oakley dokley. I think we just gotta not get hit by pilots? So it shouldn't be terribly hard. Okay, so I just got to do that over and over again. Okay, here we go. Go, Murray, go. Pressing as fast as I absolutely can. Ow. Come on, come on, we're so close. There we go. One more time, here we go. Wrong way, Murray, wrong way. No, don't row on land. All right. We, we can't get hit by more than two planes, I think, or we'll die here. We gotta be a little careful. Ooh, do I gotta, like, click harder? Thumb hurts, bro. I'm weak. I think we made it. Yeet. Of course, Bernie. Of course. Alright. I think we're gonna jump in our plane here and we're actually gonna get uh get some action. I wish they would have let me do that fly. That that flight. That would have been real fun. This is it! I am the tiger, pal! Look for the black baron! Take him out and this competition is all over! And go easy on the throttle! It's been sticking lately! Quit worrying! I'll see you in the winner's circle! Alright, let's go, uh... Oh, can be enhanced with three... No, why would... why in the world would I want to do that? I don't want no 2000s technology in my gameplay. This is 2023. Where's he at? Where is he? Okay, I'm just gonna shoot people when I see him. Is that him? Nope. Where are you? He has to have a special looking plane, right? 
Okay, you're going down because you annoy me. How dare you get in front of me? I'm Sly Cooper. That's not him. Where? Again, he should have a different plane, right? He seems egotistical enough to have a different plane. At the same time, I could just keep taking down people until I find them. Maybe I do need to just take out people until he shows up. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't come out right away. So I guess let's just shoot everyone down. That him? Nope. Well, let's take it down then. Maybe that is him. <gasps> that is him. Okay, because he has a he has a black plane. I'm like, yeah, of course that's. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, but I'm, my problem is I'm going to need more ammo. Hopefully he doesn't go too far. Please stay in my sights, preferably. Thank you for staying literally two feet away from me. Okay, how, do, how am I so bad at shooting? In the first mission, I was an absolute unit. Alright, there we go. His plane is sick, though. It has, like... Looks like Batman's plane. If he had one. Or if he had an ancient plane. There we go. Got Bentley. Oh, this plane's come unfixed. High time for an upgrade, I say. Bro, that's not fair. Oh no, you don't, you weasel. Weasel, am I? I beat you. Your biplane is in pieces. <laughs> We're both still airborne, aren't we? The victor has yet to be decided. Then, let's settle it. Beware, my boy. I've trained ten years at Fisticus. Pugilism is my passion. If you fight as well as you fly, this shouldn't take long. On guard! Alright. Bop. I just, like, hit him from far away? Ooh! Okay, I probably could have avoided that fairly easily. He's actually not taking much, not taking much damage. I need to be a little more careful here. Need to be careful of, especially of his big one. Woo. Ouch! I'm actually getting schooled right now. You're trash. I don't like fire. Bro, can y'all stop? Three little piggies, get out of here, bro. You're about to get smacked. That's not good. Don't. Don't throw wrenches at me. Who do you think you are, bro? Later. Right, come on, Baron. We're not done. Ooh, that was close. Do you have any other cool moves that I can use against them? Yeah, not really. Okay, now we're just gonna smack them with uh, Arcane then. I wanna use something cool against them, but this man's an absolute unit in boxing apparently. Actually, kind of not though. He's just kind of charging me. What in the world did he just do? gonna get his pigs to fight again. I feel like that's gotta be some form of animal abuse. Later. He just killed two of his own buddies. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, and this is... Dude, free glitch? Oh my glitch. This isn't... This isn't breaking any code, but... Ooh, now we gotta fight both at once. Ah! <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Big. Big Bacon. Appreciate you. Oh! Why didn't I hit him? Alright. Big Bacon. I'm done with you. Woo! 
Ow. I just got textbook textbook jabbed. Don't do that. Whoop. You're dead. A fatal blow. Hey oh. That's enough. You win, Cooper. Wait, you? You're Penelope, the Baron's mechanic. No. No, you are the Black Baron. Suppose someone was bound to find out sooner or later. I guess I'm kind of relieved. But why? Look, let's talk on the ground where it's safe. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I mean, we can just talk up here if you want, but... It was quite a revelation. Penelope and the Black Baron were one and the same. But before we could even process this turn of events, we were rushed to the winner's circle. Somehow, against all odds, we become this year's champions. There was a bit of an awkward moment between Bentley and Penelope. I guess the photos they'd sent each other over the internet were a bit... exaggerated. Penelope, no! Sly is taken. That you stay night, away from Penelope him. Explained that the disguise was invented to get her past the dogfight Corn. league's strict age requirements. However, after winning, the Baron became a celebrity, and she found herself putting on the costume more and more often. But now, with the Black Baron out of the picture, she was free to take up a new path, and she joined the gang without hesitation. The next day, our newest recruit treated us to a week-long aerial tour of Holland. I bet the guru's enjoying this one. Just fine. Not for long. Alright. Very cool. Very cool. Now we got a homeless man and a random nerd. Love to see it. Where are we going next? A cold alliance. Let's do it. I actually forgot where this... Actually, I know where this is. Never mind. Are we going to China? Right? China? Maybe somewhere else. I don't know. Gotta keep on our, on our toes here. Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, We'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. Well, we know one of those. Bentley's proposed candidate was a shot. My old enemy, the Panda King. Dude, around these parts, As we love the Panda King. Original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. And clapped his cheeks. There was no way I was going to let that monster on my team. I mean, he killed my dad, so... Firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime, and was now a monk, living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. He still killed my dad, so... I wasn't at all convinced. But there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east. Alright. Yeah. Hey, yo, I thought I thought so. At this point, it's kind of depending on your philosophy, right? Is it an eye for an eye, or is it a forgiveness philosophy? Kunlun Mountains, China. Okay. Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kinda zenned out. 
Ah, uh, Mr. King, Honorable Panda King, we humbly wish to speak with you. We'll smack him in the head with an RC plane. I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, <laughs> Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. <sighs> It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Man, I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Murray, you're up first. If you could get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, do you guys want to see my blisters? No way. Is he serious? He's probably got lots of blisters. Yeah, okay, master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. Boing. <laughs> I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously. Was he for real about the blisters? Because uh, I don't know. It's yeesh. All right, ball form. Oh, we got a couple new moves, too. Roar. Let's do that, that, and that. Okay. Nope, wrong one. All right, so let's do a little... Can we get all the way up here? So where do we need to go? We need to get there. How? I'm assuming that I probably have to get up there, right? But I can pretty easily get up there like this. Hmm. Okay, I'm in position. Oh, I thought I had to get to him. Penelope, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly could jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's uh got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where we're going to get them. The answer? Split each chute down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! That's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I Bentley's definitely got a chub right now. Those athletic moves. But, bro, she's gotta stop looking at Sly like that. How do I move though? How many times do I need to hit it? Oh, okay, well that's stupid. I hit it right I hit it right in the in the thing. It was like, nope, I have to hit it from the bottom apparently. Alright. Noted. Thank you, game, for that. That That gives me an actual pretty good chuckle right there. Like Game physics at its finest. Come on, just two more bullets. Let me shoot. There you go, Sly. Hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really, <laughs> any time. Uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Penelope's a thought. Sure. You can't tell me otherwise. Get her off the team. Bentley is an absolute gem and a great human. If you can't see for what he is, Penelope... I don't like you. Bentley is an absolute catch. Look at him in his wheelchair with his limp little legs. He's an absolute cutie, okay? What up, Murray? Whack the supports up on those pinwheels! Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there. Okay. 
chuck me. Oh, I need to press zero, don't I? Oh. Do I just go yee? What now, Bentley? Oh, I need to hit all of them. Okay. Smack. Don't I'm mind me. Done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. Okay. That seems actually fairly hard if they start moving. Oh, okay. Nyom. Oh, that was close, though. Maybe a little to the right. There we go. Alright, other one. Let's shoot the hardest one first. Okay, maybe we can't even... I can't shoot that one. Alright, last one. Easy. So what now? They spinning. How does that help us? Those pinwheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? Of course he is. Well, that's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help you get up to those rockets. Oh, hiya. Okay. Let's grab a doofus and uh, let's try to make our way up there. What up? Mind if I uh, use you for a hot moment? I think, is this it right here? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I just need to get up on the roof here. And uh, everything should be okie dokie. Bonk. Pretty sure, couldn't have Murray just pushed, pushed that over? But, hey, rockets are sick. I'll never say no to a rocket. Or better yet, just smack down that piece of stone that he's on and have the whole thing come down. should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. Alright. Get the homeless man back. Yeet. Bro, not gonna lie, I think I said this before. He's kinda cheeked up. Look at him. Kinda got some booty to him. Alright guys, a little bit of a weird cut. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here, and we'll continue next time guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up guys? We're playing some more Sly 3. Let's continue right where we left off last time. Alright, what about Penelope? Are we just going to like leave her? I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No, it'll require channeling. Hi, what da Sly, sit beside the panda king. The guru will bridge your minds. It's almost like he's done this before. Is the guru just... Also, why is his head so small? Does he just, like, do this for fun? We get to redo the fight. So sick. Alright, young panda. I'm about to beat. I was going to say something bad right there. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the thievious Raccoonus? Whoa. This is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child, you shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame, fool. Uh-oh. Alright, we just gotta beat him again. This is also one of my favorite boss fights, so I am not mad about this in the slightest. A little easy, but... Whoop. 
Fiery wheel. Booming chop. Boing. Snap out of it. This is all in your head. My mind is clear. Focused on your destruction. Um, okay, how do we break him out of his memory loop? Um, make him sad. Let's do that. Why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you, and forever after you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you, but that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we've both changed. Come out of this trance. Let's meet each other as we are today, and, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. Sick. The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the Guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal would have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the Northern Mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but a deal's a deal. Pants. Let's put your flaming pants back on. All my homies love the Panda King. Let's do this. It's like we're bringing the gang in. A cold alliance. We all know that our objective here is to retrieve the Panda King's dog, Jing King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sao. A real key to this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy. Twice! He plans on forcing Jing King to marry him next Saturday. Clearly, time is of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully, with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, we need more information. Two of us will need to work together to steal a pair of twin keys and break into Sal's house of business. Once inside, I'll need to utilize some new technology to circumvent their ultra-tight security. Finally, thanks to Penelope's air sweeps, we've picked up an unusual radio signature out in the water. Someone will need to go eyeball the anomaly and figure out what it is. We can't leave anything out to chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. I mean, she could just get married and then we just take her after. Let's just flee away from China. You're going to need the grapple cam. Okay, so we need the grapple cam before we do anything else. Do we have 400? We don't. We do also have a couple of other things. Okay, well then we need to get 400 coins before we do basically much of anything. Okay, actually, it looks like we might need the grapple cam for Sly. So let's very, very quickly, we're only 100 gold away. So let's just quickly get enough gold to get the grapple cam. And we'll just continue from there. So I think, yeah, these guys are going to start having like expensive stuff. Okay, we need literally 10 more coins we can grab it from this guy and we'll be able to buy the grapple cam easy peasy yoink one more later let's go ahead and quickly purchase ourselves the grapple cam uh, grapple cam very cool okay let's go ahead and uh we're still gonna do the slime mission first here where do we gotta go all the way up there okay well it seems like that's Almost at the back of the back of the level here. 
Whoa, Carmelita's here again. What up, Carmelita? Will you get angry if I, like, sneak up? Whoop! My bad. See ya. Hopefully I didn't scare her too bad. Whoa, she's still shooting at me. Oh my, she's literally behind me. That's kind of terrifying, actually. Leave me alone, please. Yo, you have a little bit of shmoney in your pocket. I'll take that. You got another pigman? Except this pigman's a little older now. All these guys seem to have, like, big old gems in their pockets. Very, uh, very appreciated. I'm glad whoever's hiring you... Oh, I guess Zhao, right? He's clearly paying them real well, since they all just have gems in their pocket. You have a gem in your pocket? Gimme, gimme. Seems to be a lot of sapphires around here. Do y'all just get paid in sapphires? That would be kind of sick, actually. You got treasure? You also got treasure. Well, say less. I'm... Whatever's in your pocket. Ooh. What do you have? A ruby? Oh. Okay, ruby's a little better. Right, these guys don't have any more watches or rings. These guys are just straight jewels. These guys are absolutely blinged out right now. Got that ice on them. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. See ya. Oh. Oh, in the world do I... Okay. Did I... Oh, do I need to get on that rope? Can I just jump from here? I can just jump from here. Okay. General Sal Center of Business is protected with a special double padlock. If we can get inside and pass all the security, we should have access to the purchase records for the wedding. So let's get to pickpocketing those keys. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The keys are designed with a self-destruct feature, and the guards carrying them are in constant radio contact. I get it. If we steal a key from the first guard, he'll report it in. Then the second guard will destroy his copy before we have time to pull it. That's right. We need to steal the keys almost simultaneously. Since you're better at this than me, I should probably go first. All right. I'll take a position behind the target. Call me when you've made the pull, and I'll pounce. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and uh, get in position here. Take some keys. These guys actually look kind of nasty, though. But look at them teeth, bro. The the that jawline. Get your key. I'll go for this one. Roger, I'm on route for key number one. All right, where do I gotta go? Sick. And they said that we're gonna be using our grapple. What even? What is this grapple? Grapple cam. Let's see what it does first. Oh. Can I grapple on my? Oop. Okay, I can't grapple on myself. Noted. Self destruct. Okay, that's kind of. Did he hear it? Okay. Well, that's actually that grapple cam is kind of sick. I like that. Whoop. Almost got spotted by that dude. I wonder, are we gonna steal the key using the grapple, or are we stealing the key using our f fishing? Why is he blue? Oh. Oh, he's blue because he's the guy I'm stealing from. Okay, R2 right? Nope, oh, wrong button. So maybe this isn't the mission I used the grapple cam. I just assumed since... Maybe it is? We'll see. I gotta stop trying to guess. Well, let's play the game, David. Let's play the game. I got the first key. Go for the second before the guards call in. Okay. Yoink. Excellent. The key's intact. Let's meet in front of the general statue for the handoff. What's the fastest way to get back? I almost want to jump on that boat. Can you get out of here? Woo! Almost fell off of that. Okay, he actually sniped me across the map. Get this man to face clan. I don't even know. Boing. Nice work. With this second key in my grapple cam, I'm all set up for the inner office. Sure you won't need my help on the inside? 
I'm afraid this is a problem only technology can solve. Oh, we'll get right. Well, have fun with your uh, technology. Don't wait up. This could go all night. Hi, right, Bentley. Whatever you say, bud. Where are we gonna go? There? Okay. Wait, can I just like. Oh! Nice, Bentley. Where do I gotta go? Oh, I gotta go all the way up there. Okay, it's just how slide did it then. I'm gonna use a couple of boosters here. Later. Another booster. Woo, they're after me. But think, but think. Time to hack, right? Hack? Did he say hack? I don't know. I wasn't listening. You weren't kidding about the security in this place. Hope your grapple can can lure a guard onto that pressure plate. Otherwise, you're never getting into that upper level. That's why we need a grapple cam. Okay. Um, boink. Okay, so we have to grapple and distract them to go all the way up there, right? Come here, stupid dumb tiger thing. This way, por favor. Apparently, I can't grab onto that. Follow this way. Por favor. Hey, buddy. Whoop, he following. Nice. Now sleep darn him so he'll stay on the plate. Um Oh, and I gotta like spurt. Alright. That opened the door to the upper office. Lure that top guard onto the second pressure plate, and it's sure to turn off the door lasers. Okie dokie, Slay. Oh, I gotta press all one again, right? Now, where is the other one? Mm, oh, he's probably upstairs, right? Great guess, probably. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Can I grab anywhere else? Oh, I did not mean to grab there. Wait a minute, can I just straight up grapple over here? Although I kind of grappled into the corner where I can't really reach anything, so. Zoink. Oh. Come over to this position. Wait, I don't even need to do anything. I think he'll just run all the way around. Follow the sound of my voice. Yeah, he'll just run all the way around. That makes it easy. Can I, like, grapple right there? Yo, ugly. Hey, yo. Got him. Sleep him now while he's on the plate. Bop. Excellent. The way's all clear. Good thing you've got that afterburner. With nothing to climb on or to jump off of, it'll be your only means to the computer in the upper office. Where is the office again? Sorry, Sai, si, I wasn't listening. Get to the hack station on the upper oh, okay. Well, first I'm not listening, then I just don't want to read, apparently, either. Don't wake up. This is all free money, right? Nobody says no to free money. Mine. Will this kill me? I don't know why I assumed... I don't know why I assumed it wouldn't kill me. That was maybe, like, way too much optimism coming from my part, but... Alright, let's do a little hack Don't here. Don't be scared, little computer. This won't hurt a bit. That sounds predatory, Bentley. Don't say that. A wedding day to must give this another go here. Day to must be behind these firewalls. Yup. Alright, we gotta break this big old dude's shell. Also looks like he's got a little, uh... Black hole built into him. Which isn't super effective, but... Here we go. I don't think we actually have to destroy every blue piece. I think we just gotta hit the green part enough. But I think that we essentially just have to break the whole thing at that point. Zoink. Alright, we gotta run and shoot, run and shoot, run and shoot. Also, I'm like 
not shooting him at all. Ouch. Keep forgetting that he has the black hole thingy. Alright, a couple more shots. <gasps> ouch, ouch. I took probably one too many hits right there that I probably didn't need to take, but it's okay. We're fine. We're chilling. We're hacking. We're hacking and chilling. Apparently, Bentley has some weird sexual relationship with his hacking, so. It really is hack and chill here. Ow, 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 stop. Please be nice to me, I'm sensitive. Bop. Gumball number one. Gumball number two. And we're out of here. Aha, the database is wide open. I'm a capital G genius. All right, Bentley. I'll get, I'll, you know what, you can take that. You're in a wheelchair, you can go ahead. I understand. I right, just got. S okay, we got a bet. Didn't we come in here with Sly, and now we're leaving with Bentley? I mean, that's. Yeah, that's weird. But that's fine because the next mission we're gonna do is Bentley anyway, so that almost works out. And can I? All right, I th I'm gonna go ahead and give this a whirl. Oh yeah, no, I'm not even close. I thought I was gonna get somewhat close, but apparently not. Okay, here's another try. What if I do... But what if I do that from a little bit of a distance, huh? Alright, this is... I'm Bentley and this is Jackass. Not yet. Hold on. That wasn't it. I'm... Hold on. No! <laughs> There's that little... The little... Thingy. Alright. I'm Bentley and this is Jackass. Oh! I was... Does one of those things count as his booster? Alright, one more try, and likely we're gonna die anyway, so. See, he gets stuck on this thing. Which isn't very cool. Oh, dude, I'm so close. I think Smelly's gonna die, though. Alright, well, hey. We tried our best. They say it couldn't be done. And, okay, I guess it's. <laughs> I guess no, it couldn't be done. But hey, don't don't say that. You're gonna hurt Bentley's feelings here. All right, I guess we'll just take the normal way around, the boring way. Yo, Crumbly is fighting. Beat his beat his cheeks. Oh, that was. Sorry, I got a mission to do. This is it, General Sal's palace. If we're gonna get at the Panda King's daughter, we'll need an inside track on the wedding. I'm ready with my costume. With some luck, he'll hire me on as the wedding coordinator. Great. If you get a chance, try to score the rest of us some jobs as well. You can't have enough operatives on the inside. No. You can't come out yet, my Blossom. But, please. My father will be so worried. Just let me tell him I'm alright. I beg of you, sir, let me out of this prison. Is this the way you woo your wife? You have shown me nothing but cruelty. I am so unhappy. <laughs> so, I was watching a Sly video. I think it was like the top 10... Was it the top 10 worst villains? or like? I watched something along the Sly video and they said one thing that I actually agree. Tao is by far probably the most evil villain we have. Most villains in this game aren't, like, obviously, okay, they're not good people, but they're not evil, evil, you know? Um, like, the Contessa. Yeah, she does horrible things, but eh, she just hypnotizes people and just takes her treasure, you know? Like, yeah, whatever. Being you know, cartoony. But z this guy is, like, an actual, like, bro, he's, this is domestic abuse, my homie. Like, you can't do this. I think him and Dr. M, surprisingly, they fall, fall in the same game. Are like actual evil like in, in in real life i would look at them and be like yeah i don't know how that happened like something must have gone real wrong for that to happen saying that let's go uh, try to get hired for his wedding where are you at nasty boy greetings honorable general sal Brett. I have heard of your impending marriage and have respectfully come before you.
for you to offer my services as wedding coordinator. How insulting. I need no help. My apologies. I mean no disrespect. Given my genius, I am of course completely capable of organizing the event. However, I might be interested in employing a photographer. A day of such momentous import should be captured for future generations to marvel at. I have one of the world's best photographers on retainer. Really? Well, if he truly is world class, then he might get the honor of chronicling the event. However, I'll need to see some samples before I give him the job. Of course, I'll have him come by right away. You'd better not be wasting my time, wedding planner. I get very, very uncharitable when people waste my time. All of a sudden, I have a craving for fried chicken. Not because I think he's a chicken. Is he chicken? Is he a rooster? I don't know. But I okay, do want some fried chicken nonetheless. I want some samples of your work. I placed waypoints in areas with good photographic potential. Approach the guards while in costume, and they'll probably pose for you. Good luck, pal. Okay. This, like, Sly know how to use, like, the exposure and ISO and shutter rate and... I don't think anyone's ever taught him that, but... Oh, I gotta be disguised. <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. Photographer disguise. Alright. Um, what did I just take off? Well, let's do that. In case for some reason we need to get away, let's keep the rocket boots here. I am photographer. Stop there. Bamboo forest password. Now. Got it. Here oh. it is. I was going to say, do I have it? Sun, night, moon, night. Yes, sir. My mistake. Listen up, meatheads. General Sal wants some pictures of his staff. So big smiles all around, or else. Okay. Here we go. Big old smiles. Great shot, but you'll need a few more before talking with General Sal. Um, uh, where's our next location? I feel like I'm taking a pic for an Instagram girl right now. Um, right here. Hey, buddy, look behind you, you big doofus. Hey, what's the midnight password? As I expected. Here you go. Boom, 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 boom. Night, day, moon, moon. Oh. Didn't recognize you. All right, you stupid guards. Put on some smiles and get in a nice pose. General Sal wants some happy photos. Get it? Happy from this angle. No! <laughs> there we go. That's a good picture, Sly. No, it's not. should be enough to impress the general. Pretty sure this is blurry, too. Bentley, you are clearly not... What's the wedding password? Your mom. Password now. Well, that's not too bad. Sun, moon, sun, sun. Sorry, just being careful. Can you that give me your money? That guy's not going to cut it. Head to the waypoints. I've marked where you can find some good-looking guards. Oh, that's racist. Give me that. Oh, really? A medium nugget? That's all you got? Okay, well, you're gonna... Next time I expect a jewel, please. Ooh, I can get up this building. Sick. Tell me at 23. Uh, one more pick. Ooh. Sorry, I just assumed I was in disguise. Stop winking at me, dude. Okay. We do this. Jump right back in a uniform. Hello? Dude, are you serious? Okay. Stop there. Tell me the sunset password. Here's the password slide. Not gonna lie, this guy kind of sounds like the dude from Mulan. Day, night, sun, moon. Oh, didn't recognize him. <laughs> okay, oh, woman. Well, Look happy. Sad, dude. The general would like a nice couple shot. Oh, really? The monkey can't get involved? You need a nice shot of the couple, and that obnoxious third guy is messing up the composition. Dude. Get rid of him. What's wrong with the monkey? He's a cutie. Look at him. Alright, bro, get out of here. I'm gonna tell General Zhao on you, you butt cheek. I need to, like, get in position. Can I kill him? 
Do I have to actually kill him? You don't want to do this, bud. Trust me. Or maybe can I just take the photo real quick? Oh. <laughs> Lad guy needs to go. Okay, maybe I can just like trick. I need to do that and then press that, so I need to go. <laughs> Got him. Really sly. That's some lovely photography. Not, that last one I actually you stole the monkey the in it, but. I'm sure you'll be impressed. <laughs> I sure hope so. Oh, hey. What up, Carmelita? Just another raccoon. You know, there's a lot of raccoons out in the world. Oh, although I don't think I've seen another raccoon thus far, so. But like, what would we study? Yep, he's a chicken. Ah, uh, the paparazzi. Will I ever know a moment of privacy? Probably not. Make sure you get my good side. It must be quite amusing to observe the effects of power. Why is it that I'm always the center of attention? Because you're a chicken. Everyone loves eating chicken, that's why. Also, my stomach has growled. Oh, I don't know nice if you've heard that on camera, yeah, but... Check out this pose. Impressive, I know. Yeah, I can't wait to actually, like, kill him. I hope we don't, like, defeat him. I hope we kill him. That'd be that much more fun. Sly. I talk to the general now while you've got him buttered up. Greetings, General Sal. As you have no doubt guessed, I'm the world-class photographer hoping to play a humble role in your upcoming magnificent wedding. Hmm. Let me see a sample of your work. I have a keen eye, a great sense of artistic value. I can tell at a glance if you're world class. But of course, your excellency. Ah, hmm. You have a strong sense of uh, compositional regularity and a uh, forced perspectivism. These are adequate. You may have the honor of photographing my wedding. A thousand thank yous, my lord. I'm sure it will be a wedding none of us will ever forget. Sick. All right, job complete. Job Sly. Although I don't think Bentley got his role as the photographer, right? All right, but I think we got one more mission with Murray, right? Ooh, what up, Carmelita? Should we say hi again? All right, let's just uh, say hi. Hello? Swing? Ah! Keep forgetting that she can kick me. All right, yeah, all right. Later. I'll see you, uh, Tuesday. I don't know. I'm gonna head back. I think we got one more Murray mission, and then we're kind of... We're good, and we'll get another PowerPoint from Bentley. But we're going to go ahead and do that one next episode real quick. Let's see if there's anything interesting we can buy before we leave. Um, Silent Obliteration? Sure. Okay, guys. I will see you guys next episode. Hey, what's up, guys? We're playing Sly 3. We got Sly reading as Thievius Raccoonus. But we got a Murray mission to do. So let's go ahead and grab our big boy here. And basically head across... The entire map. I'm gonna belly flop on this. Sorry, Carmelita, please. The mysterious signal I picked up was somewhere on the water's surface. I'm not seeing anything. Keep scanning. These readings are clear. Great snakes on a stick! I don't believe it! What? You found the signal? It's the team van! Last time I saw it, it was floating away on a block of ice in Canada! And now it's here! Highly probable, given ocean currents. I gotta go get it. Don't worry, baby. Mama's coming. Don't Mama. even think about swimming, Murray. That water's freezing. It wouldn't last a minute. But, but my baby. Hold your position. I should be able to drag the van to you using my RC chopper. Bless you, Penelope. Bless you and your bag of remote control gizmos. Penelope is kind of goaded. Not for long, though. But for now, she's alright. Ye? You come with me. Oh, oops. <laughs> alright. Cometh. Uh, nope. This way. Am I supposed to destroy those guards, or can I just juke them out like an absolute unit? Ooh. 
looks like we... Let's go this way. Yeah, it looks like these guys kind of suck at their job, so... Yeet! Later. Yeah, I can't tell if those guards are even able to hit me, because they haven't hit a single one, and I find that... Almost a little unbelievable, to be honest. Can you come this way? Okay, I was like, that seems like dark water. I don't know if I was would be able to, but... Alright, Murray, come grab your truck. Your van, sorry. That was like a blasphemy to him. Oh, my sweet man! How I missed you! Don't worry, I'll break you out of your icy prison! Bop. Be careful, Murray. Now, real question is, that battery inside that car must be frozen to death. Bro, hit the van, you genius. Why is he only facing the bad guys? Face the van. Let's go, Murray. What a unit. Alright, let's help our boy Murray out. I feel like Murray has... De Murray has definitely had a glow up. That was interesting. I'm not a mechanic. But I feel like he's gonna have to replace a lot of parts there. They, they definitely either got rusted. That battery is definitely gone. I'd be surprised if that engine lived. So, at this point, it's kind of a... Kind of a whole different car, but hey, the outside looks nice. That I don't know what type of paint they're using, but that paint is absolutely goaded. Nope, don't do that. Um, but yeah, what I was saying earlier is I definitely appreciate the like more emotion and backstory that they're given Murray. I feel like for two games, Murray was this like almost storyless character that just was stupid and just liked Sly a lot. And, like, felt bad for himself. I feel like in this game, they finally gave him a little bit of emotion. A little bit of, like, sassiness. So I definitely appreciate our boy Murray getting a little bit of love as far as... I want. I don't even want to say story, because this isn't, like, much of a story. It's just, his character feels like, you know, we know Murray as a character a little better. More than just, ah, he's dumb and he likes food. And he's strong, you know. And I guess the other thing is they gave him a little bit of a better dialogue. In the first two games, his dialogue was kind of cheeks. They finally gave him a little bit. It's not too much better, but Murray as a character, to me, is now very, very likable. I like Murray. And, like, you know, I can see his passions. but I'm out of fuel and I can't do anything about those spikes in your way. But we're so close. You did your best. We just ran out of options. She's right, Murray. It's hopeless. Get out of there. Save yourself. I will not. I will never leave her behind again. Words do tear at a father's heart. Would that I had such passion when they came from my little Jing King. Fear also, the panda's kind of coded too. I'm so glad they brought him on. Alright, come on. Let's do this. One of these times, I'm. How far does he need to get to save the van? I can't. I can't seem to get him past this little area right here. No. Do not hit my boy. You know, here's what I'm wondering: Can I just let them stack? They can't get him, right? So, I'll just let everyone stack up. I can just go. Bra there we go. I think that's probably one of the easier ways to do it. We'll have to kill that guy, but these spikes should come up fairly soon. Once the spikes come up, I'll, yeah, see, there we go. I can just kind of let them stack up. And then we'll kill all of them, and then we'll continue afterwards. So go ahead, crowd up. So we can just take a look around. While we do that, 
All right, time for you guys to die. There we go. Woo! People got closer quicker than I thought they would. All right, we just got to keep them away until these spikes come up. Oh. Crap, I accidentally just... All right, well, that was my mistake. All right, you need to die before he gets up. I'm... I'm gonna be very careful to not hit him too. Stop! Stop hitting him! Hit me all you want. My love for this man is greater than your attack. That's facts, Bentley. You tell him. This is an absolute godlike anime arc right now. These are the types of superheroes we need. These these are the main characters. No, leave him alone. I'm gonna shoot all of you. Leave Mitt, leave Murray alone. He's an absolute gem. You stop bullying him right now. All right, there we go. You did it. You saved the band. Well done, hippo. You've lit the flames in my soul. I feel awake for the first time in years. No, thank you, Panda King. You can ride in my van anytime. You got shotgun for like a month. A <laughs> great honor. I accept. <laughs> that is heartwarming. Maybe I'm just ultra sensitive, but like, <laughs> so beautiful. I love. It's just simple, heartwarming storytelling. You love it. Love to see it. The operation is running smoothly. With access to General Sal's database, and Sly successfully hired on as the wedding photographer, we are ready to make an attempt to- Anne Marie's van. Given the complexity of Sal's downloaded data, I've programmed my thief net computer to automatically analyze the- What the- General Sal? He's- He's got my computer! Our whole plan is on that computer! How'd he find us? We're doomed! Bentley, calm down. I need you sharp. Listen up, team. This Sal character is more clever than any of us thought. As of this moment, we have one goal. Steal back the ThiefNet computer. The time for subtlety is over. Bentley, break into the palace and ransack his personal computer. He might have linked it to ours. If so, that's where we'll start. The rest of the team will stand ready. No telling where this might take us. All right. Surprising indeed. Although, to be fair, we've never hidden ourselves very well. So, I don't know. Is it that much of a surprise, really? Like, there. This is the one Airbnb in this on this entire map. Not many other places a potential criminal uh, gang can stay. You know. Oh, yo, what up? I want, I want your, uh, your treasures, my boy. No, don't attack. I want his treasures, please. <gasps> Maybe I can grab it. Please grab it. No, <laughs> I just wanted his jewels. All right, never mind. I don't need your jewels. I got my own jewels. General Sal's computer has to be around here somewhere. No need to be sneaky. Let's just get the job done. Does that mean I can break these finally? Hey yo. I get all the money. Gimme, gimme. I also feel like Link right now. Absolute menace when it comes to vases. Vosses. Gimme, gimme. Okay, here we go. Zoink. How do I get up there? Isn't this the same place we were just at? Um, what in the world? Oh, I should probably... No? Oh, it's right over there. What up, computer? Let me in you. Okay, Sly, I found his personal computer. This should be easy. Why is his personal computer out in the open? It's like asking... Standard OS security, no problem. It's one more time. No, no hits here, no hits. Okay, except if I miss and don't grab the the gumball. Right, here we go. 
No hits, no hits, no hits, no hits. Security breach. I always hit that for some reason. He's okay. Got defense avatar. This could get ugly. Okay, let's go around. I should probably shoot while I'm doing this, shouldn't I? Okay. Let's Oh, look at us go. Also, again, David, shoot, please. If I'm running around, I might as well shoot. Okay, I just need to hold this pattern just like this. There we go. If we just hold that pattern, we are good. Here we go. As long as we don't get sucked in, we are money. Here we go. Hey, oh, you're trash. Uh -huh. I think I found something. His diary mentions a secret passage through the prayer bell. Then a walk across the heavens. You getting the sly? I'm en route to the bell right now. Better bring along the guru. This sounds like his department. That sounds like a whole bunch of nonsense, bro. We better walk to the heavens? It says here to stand under the bell. I'll need to set off the transfer sequence from here. I've always just wanted to stand in the middle of a bell and go ding. I feel like it'd be like a euphoric experience. Did we just go to the Shadow Realm? Got any ideas about that walk across the heavens thing? Haru badada, huavala, hua. That's amazing. He's actually Yoda. If you need to ride on my back to keep the levitation going, be my guest. I'm not a big fan of falling to my death. I don't know if anyone is. But he's definitely Yoda. Look at him. He's even using the force. Look at him go. I totally thought I could like grab onto that and I freaked out for a half a second there. I had a mini heart attack. So my question is, so I can do this, but how does Zhao do it? So Zhao has to do it somehow, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't have Jedi power. So how does he do this? But we're either going to figure that out, or maybe it'll never be explained. Who knows? Either way, this is sick. Thank you, Yoda, for this. Whoop. My bad. Uh, my depth perception was horribly off right there. Hello? Ooh. So where where are we heading? Because you gotta remember the guru is the one controlling all this, so he's the one leading us wherever we're going. I don't we're we going up to that tall building? Was was it a classic case of me just not listening again? I tend to do that quite a bit actually. Also, where in the world did the guru grab that from? Okay. Ooh! Sorry. That one is actually kind of hard to get to. Alright, give me your gun. Is everything behind me still levitating? Or do these guys just get dropped? Does the guru actually just eat them? Okay, I didn't see, but I think they do. Which is, like, horribly cruel by the homeless man. No problem. Take a rest if you need it. I'll push on ahead and look for Sal. Okay. Getting some weird readings up ahead. Wanna use your optimizer goggles? Nope. I actually don't. We're in 2023, dude. I'll need 3D with blue and red. I dude, I got a Oculus right next to me. Ooh. The famous Sly Cooper. It seems you and your little gang were able to follow the trail I left for you. Of course, you'll be helpless without them, as you'll soon discover. I'm not ashamed to rely on my friends. Who needs friends when you can have servants? Who needs affection when you can have obedience? Uh, why try to convince you when I can simply destroy you? 
This sacred forest has been the stage for hundreds of battles, as my ancestors crushed anyone who got in their way. And you will be no different. Bentley, are you hearing this? What's he talking about? I've heard of these types of battlegrounds before. The energy from all the fighting that has gone on before strengthens the combatants, allowing them to soar for long distances. You should be able to fly all the way across the arena with one jump. Plus, you can probably change directions in the air with your double jump. Enough chit-chat, Koopa. Face me now and prepare for the end of your legacy. All right. I think he forgot that I was a main character, though. Ow. Okay, I think I might need to reset my game here, because... Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do a wraparound here, because... Um... The Koopa family has been beaten by Tao. Our legacy is superior. All right, chicken boy. Let me let me beat you up. Skirt. All right, I need to like beat him midair, right? All right, bro, that was close. Oh, if I flew right towards him, can I smack him? Oop, I'm dead. All right, I know I know what I need to do, but I can't seem to do it. All right, bro. There we go. I'm gonna take you back to KFC. Can I like smack him? Ooh! Oh, that was so close though. Alright, I need to. No! Yeah! Bob, get out of here. Let's do this. Start flying, boy. Oh! I didn't expect the double. Clever. Ooh! Oh no, I used my double jump on accident. Oh yeah, oh yeah, get out of here. This is definitely one of the more fun fights. Dude, you made a mistake. You flew way too close to me. Okay. I actually didn't expect for me to hit him that time, but we'll take those. Alright, where are you flying to? Oh, you're bad. Your family. We're, we're taking you straight to KFC. Why are you laughing? Come back and take it like a man. That's sexist. Well done, esteemed. Wedding photographer. I'm impressed you lasted this long. Stop this. So she said. Release Jean King and this fight can end. No. Jean King is mine. Once our bloodlines cross, it shall be glorious. The Panda King in his day was magnificent. With the Tao name, a new generation of kings will be unstoppable. Chicken Panda? But she doesn't want to marry you. She's a woman. She doesn't know up from down. Once I convinced her father to take up meditation, she was ripe for the picking. I faced a lot of bad men in my time, but you, sir, are the worst. That's uh, facts. It gets worse, Koopa. Up until now, I've gone easy on you. But now, now you'll sample the ancient black art of the family Tao. So you're telling me he's trying to make Panda Express and KFC into one? I mean... Panda Express, KFC? KFC Express? I'll take... Alright, wait, so what are, what are we actually supposed to do? Okay, that's definitely not it. Boss fight. This is known as one of the funnest, but also hardest fights... Hardest boss fights in the Sly Cooper series. So, this... I feel like I know his pattern now, though, so I think we'll be able to defeat him this time. But, um... He's definitely not one of the easier bosses. Now, saying that, really all Sly bosses are fairly easy compared to, like, you know, whatever, like, Souls games. But, um, you still take a few tries to get used to here. Once again, once he starts sending his KFC ancestors after me, that's kind of when it gets a little... Yep, when he does the Bacock thing, and then he's got his little family members coming after me. Ouch. I accidentally went to the wrong direction. Okay, maybe I shouldn't try to get fancy with it. How about that? 
I tried to get fancy and start using moves, and I really shouldn't. What in the world is that? Okay, I don't... I That's the first time I've seen that. Alright, cool. I need to be more careful. Can you not call your weird ancestors? Don't bring them... Don't bring them into this fight. You weirdo. He literally just said, I don't need friends. Who are those then, huh? I mean, I guess family, but... Oh, he's doing the bacock thing again. Oops. Wait, why are, why are his friends still chilling? <gasps> I almost got scared there. We're about at equal health here. Again, I don't know... I don't know how to dodge those! Alright. He needs to stop calling those in. It's actually getting a little hard here. Why aren't those hitting? Oh! That was clutch! I thought I was dead. You have won this battle. The war rages on. Take your foolish computer. It won't help you. Jinking is mine. Jinking is a person, not property. And sorry, pal, but we're ending this right now. <coughs> beware. Beware the power of Tao. He just like Cooper me. Yeah, but like he, like Sly said, this is definitely one of the worst villains, so. <laughs> Am I going back after him? I'm, I'm looking for some fried chicken, man. Oh, fried chicken. So she was a mashed potatoes? The thief net computer. However, all the plants stored inside are now compromised. The wedding is still on. Jing King remains Sal's prisoner. Yes, we are going to free her, but that's not enough. No, for this heist, we really need to put the screws to this guy. He's earned it. So, we're cleaning out his treasury as well. A feat impossible without Murray's band. Unfortunately, all that time in the ice has ruined its polycellular battery. I'll need Sly's help to acquire a new one, which won't be easy, as the General's gone all out with security. He's even resorted to black magic dragons and hopping vampires patrolling the streets. We'll need to even the odds before the wedding. Sly, you and the Panda King will work to gather some fireworks and blow up the vampire's crypt. No crypt. No more vampires. Yeah, let's do it. Nobody likes vampires. I'm from Romania. I especially don't like vampires. The dude likes to shove sticks up people's butts. So, um, anything cool? Push attack, spin, thief reflexes. That could be pretty cool. Jump over vast distances. That might be pretty cool. Alright, but those are a lot of money, so I don't think we'll be able to do those now. And actually, we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing some more Sly 3. Um, like usual, in between episodes, I did a little bit of farming. I couldn't record, so I just ran around and stole a bunch of stuff. So I got 7,000 gold here. So we can buy probably most of these moves. Not all of them, though. So we'll have to kind of pick wisely what we want. I definitely think slow time to a crawl. That could be cool. Probably the rage bomb would be cool. Temporal lock. Let's buy that. Barrel pounce. Let's buy that. Then let's buy the level two. How much money we got? Okay, then what we could end up doing is buying these two because they're both 800, so we only have really two more moves left to buy here. So. That is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and jump on Sly here. So let me turn up the volume. Apparently it's a little low here. What do we got? We got we got a lot of stuff all of a sudden. Um, we got the pounce. Let's just go ahead and give uh give that a whirl. How far is this pounce? Okay, that's a pretty far pounce. Now I've got to die. What about thief reflexes? Okay, that 
I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> it slows time down, obviously. Um, okay, I think that's all, the only two really new moves we got. So let's go ahead and put the smoke back on here. And then, yeah, we can leave that like that. Okay, cool. Let's um, head over to the next uh, mission here and get it started. And we're all going to have to kind of collect money also while we're, while we're doing things here, but... Since I bought most of the moves, I'm not in a super big hurry, to be honest. That's it! One of Sal's fireworks stashes for the ceremony! This lock looks pretty standard, but I'll need some help carrying the goods. The Panda King is the man for the job. He's strong, good with explosives, and capable of dealing with multiple opponents. Once we get enough fireworks, he should be capable of blowing the hopping vampire crypt sky high. Look, Bentley. I know you believe in the guy, but I don't trust him yet. You don't have a choice. He's the only man for the job. I'll go get him and send him your way. All right, we're going to get uh, Panda's help. Nice. This is it, Panda King. We need you for a field mission. Sly's trying to break into a fireworks cache and he needs help. Fine. I will be there presently. You may go. Look, I don't mind telling you I'm putting my neck on the line here. We're all counting on you. I will mind your neck. Nice, Panda. I will go Ooh, to Panda Express after this. I am about to work alongside Sly Cooper. And I cannot carry you with me on the journey. You fool! This is your chance for revenge. He humiliated us, ruined us, made us weak. Humiliation was a crossroads. I have chosen to walk the path of humility. Humility that cost you your daughter. Destroy Cooper now. My mind is fractured. No action can be taken until he and I are... In unison, Cooper is at the center. Um, to help save. Without Cooper and his associates, I stand little chance of rescuing Jing King. Little chance. Allow yourself to dip into my hateful fury, and we can save Jing King single-handed. Bro, what is this? The dark Such side. An action would cost many lives. Your path of moderation will cost you, Jing King. Humility. Cooper is a teacher of humility. We have slain his parents, yet he manages to trust us. By studying him, Facts. we will become whole. I have no desire to join with my weaker side. You are failure. I am the strength that used to be the once glorious panda king it wasn't that glorious strong and i am humble but only through cooperation will we become the father jing king needs the yin and the yang if strength were all that mattered sao would be an ideal son-in-law very well cooper shall live all right, not the type of resolution I was thinking of, to be honest. Also, I'm going to make a lot of noise. I'm going to move my mic, so excuse me. Yeah, I don't know. It felt like he was definitely like on the dark side of things there, like, join me and we will take over the tri-state area type vibe. Fear not, Cooper. I shall not kill you this day. Um, ditto. I know you've been out of the game for a while. Maybe you should use this time to brush up on your old skills. First of course. Things first, here's how to fire an object. Center the camera on a target and hold down the L1 button to load firing. Release the button to launch them. Oh, this is so this is so cool. Can I just destroy everything? Oh my god, that's so cool. I think this is by far like my favorite character to play with. That is so cool. 
So do I like pack more of a punch if I hold it on people? Oh, yeah, yeah, I hold, I throw more fireworks if I just hold on to it. I'm on it. Oh! Okay, why did he not tell me that beforehand? Ba -ba -ba. Ooh, but free money? So wait, if I just like kill him. Okay, noted. I they explode right this time. Honestly, I think this game only gets more and more fun as the... Like, we get cooler characters okay, and better, we'll like, stuff. events I'll and stuff. The next Excellent. I'll make good use of these. Like, I know, I guess, small spoiler, but we're going to be getting, like, pirate ships and stuff later. Which, to be honest, I'm maybe way too excited for that. More excited than I probably should be. Alright, can you guys not do that, please? Pew pew. I wish we had a gun with them, though. That'd be so sick. Imagine, like, a firework gun. Although, again, I do not... I think this is, like, the coolest power so far in the game. Um, what I was going to say, but I didn't want to do it in the middle of a cutscene, is that... It's basically just, um, the dude from Red Dead. His Deadeye. Or, uh... McCree's Deadeye. Which is kind of cool. Alright, I'm here. Oh, up there. Um, that's not good. Where are they, though? I love how, um, Panda has the flaming chop. Just like Murray, so that's pretty cool. I wonder where Murray learned it from. Okay, so I gotta kind of stay a little bit away from the diseased crickets here, because... I'm also going to blow up myself on accident, apparently. Alright, you get out of here, you little weirdo. You look like dried asparagus. I don't like you. But, please. Give me your money. Alright, you can... Goodbye. Thank you. Are these... Dried asparagus people? Like, are they filled with bombs? Because... I understand that my bombs blow up, but they themselves are also blowing up, which doesn't seem particularly natural. Did they bury them after they just ate a bunch of, like, TNT or something? I don't particularly understand here, but I'm cool with it. Alright, let's go get the rest of the fireworks. Also, um, a Panda King, like a rocket boost... Or, like, kind of like Sly's Rocket Boots, but for a Panda King. That would be kind of goaded. Imagine right now, like, a surfboard with fireworks on it. I think Panda King might be a little thick for a, for a snowboard, but... Just putting it out there. Alright. Yeah? Okay, Bentley. Chill out, bro. This ain't the last of us. We're fine. We're fine. No clickers, no clickers, just these, uh, weird little crickets. Again, we just gotta try to... Oh, that... They did not feel like dying, okay. We just gotta make sure we don't step too close to them. Because once again, apparently they're explosive. Not sure whose idea that... Forgot to let go. I am a genius. Alright, but we need to fill our pack here. Okay, that was pretty good. Oh, I gotta scratch my nose. Leave me alone. Give me the money. Oh, I'll take that health too, actually. Skirt. Alright, let's get these two guys. Anyone else coming? Sure, we'll hit those guys at the same time. Although they kind of got saved by that little uh, roof thingy. Alright, full pack. 
Got that Panda King pack. Anybody else? Anybody else? Just you guys? Alright. Ooh, that was a fat little stack of money right there. Absolutely love to see it. Another little fat stack of money. They need to give me like 12 targets at once. I need to see fireworks absolutely everywhere. I did not mean to just try to murder Sly right there, I swear. Money, money. Gimme, gimme. I feel like if all of these guys just came at once, this would be a lot more effective than, than them coming in staggered. Okay, Panda King, he's thick and he's cool and he's got a lot of, like, damage potential. Well, holy crap, does he not have any HP in the slightest. I literally hit myself with a single bomb and I was just instantly gone, basically. Okay, that hit a lot of people right there. Hopefully that just kills him right there. I think all this health, too, though. Alright, bro, it's one. Come on. Come on, dude. One more? There we go. I knew it couldn't have been too many more. Ooh, is there some behind us? Forgot to let go, apparently. Oh, that's not good. Let's try and get out of that small area before I accidentally lose a finger. There we go. We're making a pretty good team. This is the last of the fireworks. Put them in the crypt and kaboom! No more hopping vampires. Yes, this ordinance will suffice. They're gonna be fangs everywhere! Right. PTSD, um, what? Just head back to the safe house. Yes, do that. Hey, yo. It's evil king time. He's just a meaner version. It's just emo panda king. He's a sad boy. He likes to hurt people and things. Alright, pig. You're gonna get blasted. Later, dude. Drive by. Boing. Anybody else want some? Are we going back up there? Are we just going back to the original crypt that we were just at? I don't feel like getting shot by this guy a couple thousand times, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, call it a day with that guy. I feel like. I feel like Panda King might be a really good farming tool. This will do it, I think. Ayo. The deed is done. Very yeah. epic. I still don't understand how we're only 31% done with this game. It feels like we're on like the fourth or fifth level, and we're for real only 31% done with the game. All right, let's go ahead and uh, grab a boar, our boy Murray here. Down the line. All right, what moves did we get for him? We got the guttural roar, temporal lock. Let's see what this does. Oh, does this just um? Okay, that's actually kind of busted. I feel like Murray, especially because his mobility is kind of sucky. He doesn't have much, much like stealth. I can just do that and run past people, which is again. I'm, in my opinion, a little busted as far as Murray goes, so that was definitely a worthwhile move to get. What about Panda? Will be 
able to listen in on Sal's conversation. Sure, Penelope. Easy for a muscle man like myself. Just keep clear and let old Mercules work. All right, Murray. Man's trying to hit. Here we go. That's bad gas. This is all my fault. Hang in there, Murray. I'm coming. Quickly, take the foreigner to the highest peak and blast him to pieces. Be sure to leave a trail of gunpowder. All must be done in accordance with tradition, or the ancestors will be displeased. Alright, Zoe. Too late. He's as good as dead. No, there's still a chance. Use your RC car. It should be fast enough to beat the lit views up the mountain. It's the only tool we've got to save Murray. We got it this time. This time, we win. Just have to make sure to not hit the things that are bad. Alright. Bop, somehow I still took damage there. And I forgot about that tiger. Whoop. See, things like those rocks are really gonna screw me over. If I'm not a little bit more careful. It's a good thing this thing basically has like auto lock, or this would be. Much, much harder. Okay, no, did I? I feel like I, I want to hit those before I get to them, but it seems like even if I shoot them at like the first time possible, it still blows up and ends up killing me, actually, so. So that was good for a minute there. Oh, when I just barely actually missed uh, the bridge there. I was a little lucky to be honest. I was a little unlucky. The one thing that could get in my way did. Can we still beat it up there? Is there like a shortcut we can take? Maybe? Let's see, maybe maybe the game will have pity on us <laughs> and make it just a little slower. It's a little fast right now. Hopefully he doesn't shoot me. Feels like the big cards ha haven't really been doing much. I'd like to see a little car driving. Why would you shoot at it? Alright. I think we're actually gonna make it. I don't I'm not really sure how. It definitely took pity on me and like lowered the speed of the burn on the rope, but hey. I'll take it. No complaining. He's got a he's got a big van and a small van. Let's go. Alright, where's he at? I forgot, doesn't he consider basically like his van is like kid basically? So what does he got? Like a like a grand electric grandkid now? Alright. Let's go ahead and um try to run up a Bentley mission. Is there some way I can like jump over this? Oh, I can do the R2. Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh, R2. Whoops. There's got to be a way I can, like, jump far enough with this. Right? Oh, come on. Come on, Bentley. You're, Murray, you're better than this. Boing. Come on. Oh, that would have been clutch if I could just jump on that boat right there. Okay, we can do it on this one. Boing. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Wait, but I need to go... Okay. Very cool, David. Oh, got a full shot of his private areas right there. That was pretty cool. Well, let's go ahead and grab Bentley. And I think we'll go ahead and do his mission today. Hit up his PowerPoint slide and uh, we'll be good. Boink, boink. Boink. Hey, Bentley, are you and Murray finished fixing up the van? I'm afraid we'll need a new power source. The old polycellular battery has lost its core. Okay, is there one around here I can steal for you? 
Penelope's aerial reconnaissance has located a cannon, but due to the delicate nature of the work, I should be the one to decouple it. So, what? Can I help out here at all? Stay close. I'll need you for charging the battery. Alright. Bentley's gonna be the thief. Let's go. Bentley working his way up in the world. Alright, let's just use our super speed here. How high do... Oh, okay. It's over here. <gasps> Almost. Just ran straight into the water right there. Hello, my pretty. Don't say it like that. That's creepy. Is the battery complete? Yes, it just needs to be charged. Seems like that might be a problem in these parts. Well, if we took it the veil, we'll it's time to know. <laughs> Hold it right there, Sly Cooper. Don't move, or I'll zap you. So yeah, I, th Carmelita, I think that's the point. <laughs> this is like... This is gonna hurt him in the long run. I feel like he's gonna... He's gonna lose plenty of brain cells getting shot this many times. Who's that behind me, bro? Stop. What are you doing? I'm trying to shoot the raccoon. Okay, and I lost him. Genius. Woo! Here we go. I'm gonna try not to shoot that TNT right there. Boing. Yo, where'd he go? It is kind of funny, though. Look, I will never complain about a Carmelita mission. These are fun. Sly Cooper, requesting extraction unit, over. Nice tactic, Sly. The battery is fully charged. Plug it into one of the main light outlets to stabilize it. Then we'll attach it to the van. But be careful. Now that the battery is full, it won't absorb any more of Carmelita's shots. No, really. It was an easy capture. I don't deserve a medal. He was practically... <laughs> Later. I'm gonna... She actually sniped me midair. Holy crap, dude. Face Carmelita. Alright, let's make this. Let's gonna make it quick, and then I jump straight into the water. Alright, later. Boink. Um, you can do that, right? Ah. Monkey. Too bad. <laughs> oh, does she notice the second I move? She gonna hit me midair again? No. Okay, she didn't snipe me this time. All right. Rocket time. Always gotta forget that the ledge basically just ends right there. All right, I'm gonna hit him with this thing again. Boink. Oh, I love how neither of them got hit. Oh. That's it? Okay. That didn't... <laughs> that didn't seem very long to stabilize it, but alright. Bentley's the smart one here, so... I'm just gonna rocket my way all the way back. If I don't get clipped on a ledge, at least. Yum. Just gonna <laughs> speed strat that. Ouch. What in the world did he just throw at me? Excellent. The man is ready to go. You rock, Alright. 
<laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Guessing we're gonna get a little PowerPoint here, right? Let's go, Bentley. Wedding Crasher. This will be a multi pronged job with two groups working simultaneously. I'm sure I don't need to stress the importance of the schedule to anyone. First, Sly, Penelope, and Murray will make their way past all the security in Sal's treasure temple and then drop the goods off to me for loading into the van. Meanwhile, the Panda King and Guru will tunnel beneath the palace, creating an escape route for Jing King. Sly, you'll have to pull double duty, taking care of any topside security designed to detect subterranean assaults. Once you guys are done, I'll use my grapple cam to lure Inspector Fox into the palace, where we'll try to get her to take Jing King's place. Then, with the girl and loot in hand, we run for it. Sounds like a sick plan. I think replacing... The Jing King with Carmelita is going to turn out pretty funny, but we're going to go and do that next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. How's it going, everyone? We're playing some Slide 3. We are on, I think, the final operation of this map, actually. Yeah, Operation Wedding Crasher. So, let's go ahead and head to the top. We got to go pretty far up with Sly here. Try to use his rocket boots to do this a little faster. Try to speed run this bad boy. Um... Okay, actually, I don't know how to get up. Oh, okay. No, I see where we gotta go. We might have to do a couple of hop, skips, and jumps here. Alright, there we go. Boing. Woo! Let's try not to get shot by that dude, huh? I don't think I've actually, like, climbed up there before. I don't know why I waited this long to get up here. Alright, start the mission. I'm in green light position. Let's get a roll call. Ready. In position. I'm pumped. I da da da. I too stand ready. Even if we fail, it will have been an honorable effort. Jing King is not forgotten. All right, everyone, let's go. Panda's just got a monologue, huh? Come on, bro. Just say check. Penelope and Murray are relying on your second story work to be let in. They should be in position by the front door. That looks stinky, dude. Don't tell me that doesn't look stinky. That does not smell good. Opening the door for a lady. And some say Chivalry is dead. I try to show my proper respect. You guys gonna be okay in here? The security's tight. Yeah, we're fine. We need to get moving if you're going to make your rendezvous with the Panda King and the Guru. Always a slave to the schedule. That's me. Penelope's gotta stop, dude. What's the plan? According to the blueprints, there's a security computer on the far side of the room under the dragon statue. I should be able to destroy it with my RC car, provided I don't trip any of the blue security beams along the way. Blue security beams? Oh man, this is tense. I love RC missions. This should be fun. Oops. All right. I swear, I'm not meaning to just shoot instantly. It's a bad habit. I'd be a terrible thief, apparently. Let's try to do this really, really fast. Maybe we can get the world record. Nope, because I'm good. Okay, yeah, we're definitely not getting world record after that. I probably should have just ran right there, but it's okay. Okay, we tiptoeing. What is going on here? What is that? Do 
Oh, I thought he was going to jump right into the thing. I was about to put... Yo, what in the world is that? Is that a dragon? Is that like a dragon skeleton? Okay, where... Am I supposed to... Whoops. I don't know if I was supposed to fall down here, but, um... That's where we're at now. Bop. That should do it. The laser door should be going away. They must have another computer or something. But there was only supposed to be one. The security nodes are still active. If that second computer fully boots up, there's no way we'll get in. Penelope, I've been doing this a long time. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that when the plan gets messed up, always fall back on the golden rule. Yeah? What's that? Break stuff! You, you're right! If I can destroy all the security nodes before the other computer comes online, that laser door should deactivate. Less talk and more breakery! So now we gotta... Now we gotta destroy all of them? Okay, here we go. Just gonna shoot frantically and hope hope, hope that they hit in the right direction. Here we go. I thought we spent all of this time sneaking. All of a sudden, it doesn't even matter. Alright, apparently I'm trash. We'll have to come back for that one. There we go. Yep, take a shot that way. How much time do I got left? Oh, I still got a lot of time. Although, it would be great of me if I didn't try to get stuck on every... Every single ledge I basically see. There we go. That was kind of a good shot right there. Okay, is there anything over here? Oh, I can also shoot through these glass things now. Cool. Okay, we got four more, but we got plenty of time. Man, that backup security generator is slow as crap. I have a time to do all this? If someone broke in, they'd probably already be gone with the goods by now. Alright, I just gotta find that last one that I probably just drove past. Bonk. Yes. Wow. You're pretty good at breaking stuff. I uh, I can respect that. Thanks, pal. Let's get that treasure. Alright, Murray's got a chub. Where is the treasure? Am I the treasure? Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna walk towards the front of the room and assume that it's probably there what we're looking for. Looks like a double lever trap door. Call it out. I'm ready. On my three. One, two, three. Oh god. Oh yeah. Not even normal dragons, but okay. weird spirit dragons. One, Sorry, I'm grabbing the money. Three. I wanted to grab the money. Yes, we're in. Skirt. What do you see? Is it awesome? There's plenty of loot, but the foundation looks rotted out. Totally unstable. Hey Murray. Sal's on his way to your position. How'd you come in with the treasure? We're doing awesome! Stand aside, Penelope! Cannonball! No way! Bro, she just said it was unstable. Uh-oh. Man's got two brain cells. I feel like that's not gonna be good. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing next? Woo! A little tight. To the schedule. That's me. Hey, yo, we're going back in time. Guru are in position beneath the palace. Once you're inside, they'll start blasting. All right. Just try to get get up to the highest point that I can jump from, and we'll do a nasty little glide all the way down. Off oh, row. All right, from right here. Skirt. Maybe we can just fly all the way there. I always love these long flights. Alright, where are we? Uh, right on the stairs? Inside the building. Might as well do it with style. I 
I feel like he, we haven't seen him do that in quite a while. Basically since, what, like the first game when we're leaving stuff in the little okay, guys, safes? The, side. the bases around you are used in an ancient Chinese security technique to detect subterranean thieves. Our tunneling to free Jing King will shake the palace. I get you. If any of the vases tip over, it'll trip an alarm. Correct. Don't allow them to fall. I am putting my trust in you, Sly Cooper. We'll get Jing King. I promise. Hava da ba da. The guru's right. Let's get this show on the road. Sly over here melting my heart. What a nice guy. So. No, don't do that. <gasps> that gate almost gave me a half heart attack. Dude, I'm I'm like focusing up hard right now. I'm using all three brain cells in conjunction to try to get, <laughs> finish this level. You guys haven't noticed. I'm only slightly tired right now. Funny thing is, I haven't even done anything. I'm just tired because I'm a weenie. Oh, we going fast. They're digging, digging. Success. We're directly beneath the bridal chamber, just a few inches from Jing King. Hear that, Bentley? You're up. It's Bentley time. Grapple cam to the front of the palace. I left her a calling card and I'm sure she'll see it and come inside. Then it's time for a little subterfuge. Oh, and keep your position on the stilt platform. You're on point for the treasure drop. I feel like I haven't used his little thingy in a while here. Which one is it? The. What? Which one is it? Is it the rate? No. Am I tripping? Grapple cam. Okay, L1. Okay. I haven't used this grapple cam in a, in a minute. Can I just hit the side of the wall right there? I think I could end up hitting the side of the wall. Okay, so now if I click this. Zoink. Follow me. Bro, of course it gets destroyed in like two seconds. Oh, and that was actually another kind of sick burn. You there. With the low self-esteem. Oh, that one's actually kind of cold. Too real, Bentley. Too real. The rubber hose was a little goofy, but... Don't bring the self-esteem into this. A little too... A little, uh... Too close to home, Bentley. Alright, come here. Fox. It's time. I'm right here! Cometh. Hopefully she doesn't shoot me. You will never find me. Shoot him. Shoot him. Beat his beat him up. Aloha, idiot. Got him. Hey you! I'm attractive person! Bentley, Bentley. Chill out, brother. You're gonna, you're gonna hurt someone's feelings. Again, I feel like we haven't done that. Like, I remember as a kid, like, the oh, that's Sly's calling card, but I feel like we haven't done that very often throughout the game. Or maybe we haven't, I just, like, missed them. Father, you have rescued me from General Sal. I was beyond hoping for such a thing. Yes, my daughter. You are safe. Heads up, Sly. You've got company. Sly's just unaware, just looking somewhere else. Okay, uh, Bentley, Secret Plan Alpha is underway. You know the one where I disguise myself as General Sal and steal the Veiled Bride during the wedding ceremony? Yeah, make sure the whole gang's there. Okay, I I'm headed to the rendezvous now. Over and out. Sly Cooper and his secret plans. Who's this failed bride he's so interested in anyways? Well, 
he's not the only one who can play the disguise game. I'll give him and his gang a shotgun wedding they'll never forget. Sounds like a plan to me, Carmelita. Love the timing on that. Rumbling have disturbed my meditation, and on the very eve of my wedding. Do not worry, my bride. I will not let anything prevent our love from blossoming. Not even your misguided attempts to escape. Ah well. Perhaps my meditation will be more focused amid the splendor of my treasure temple. Shut up, KFC boy. I want fried chicken again. Anytime I played this level, I just get a craving for fried chicken. Carmelita took the bait. Where are you guys at with Jin King? We're in the van, waiting for the treasure and escape. Hey, Murray, Sal's on his way to your position. How'd you come in with the treasure? We're doing awesome! Stand aside, Penelope! Cannonball! No way! Uh-oh. Okay, guys, parachute down the treasure to me. I'm ready! <laughs> Why'd I bring the whole building to you, dude? Accidental act of terrorism, my bad. Murray. That was very passive aggressive. Well, now no one's got treasure. My family temple destroyed. Never have I suffered such an outrage! You shall pay! Eat it, Sal! I broke your temple, and I'll break your face for messing with the Cooper gang! You cannot hurt me! Oh yeah? Heads up, Bentley! Treasure chest coming down! Dude, <laughs> chuck the treasure chest at his head. That'd be kind of funny. The outrage! Stone dragon of the temple, I summon you! From rock to flesh, is the family Tao in this hour of need? Bro, boy's got Mushu in his back pocket. You love to see it. Sweet strawberry shortcake. Bro, Murray's got blasted. No, oh, yeet. <laughs> the Tao line is master in this place. Hear me, Sly Cooper. My lineage surpasses yours in every way! It's not about the family name, pal. It's what you do with it. This man's over here stealing brides and calling up dragons. Sly, I'm okay. Yeet. I broke my fall on one of these wedding fireworks. Sly, help me. Back to the day around you will let go. I'm trying. He's kind of, oh! He's kind of really high into the air to be... Now, how in the world do I get back up there? Um, there's got to be other fireworks lying around, right? I would hope so, right? Alright, I'm coming for you, Mushu. Yo. Yeah, yeah, Penelope, I'm coming. Wait, do I gotta hit him in the head just like clockwork? Alright, looks like one more here. Bop. Wait. Oh, there we go. What a mushu. Okay, gotta watch out for his oddly hot tongue. Facing the wrong way, Sly Cooper. Alright. Whoop. All right, here we go. Sly, why are you facing in the wrong direction, bro? No! <laughs> Try number two. Alright, stop squirming. Stop squirming so I can head up your back. Come on, Mushu. I thought we were friends. I'm supposed to be protecting Mulan. What are you doing over here? Bop, bop, bop. Ooh! Can't get hit, can't get hit by that. Oop. 
the accident. Alright, he's about half health. We hit him real good in the beginning, and then we kind of started sucking a little bit there. Hot tongue, hot tongue. Oh, we're going to get some good hits in there, as long as I don't fall off here. Alright, you know what? I'll take that hit. Come on, give me a few more hits. No! <laughs> I don't like it when he barrel rolls. Alright, hit up another firework. Bro, at this point, let's just go to the end, dude. Let's get a pair of Elytra. Call it a day. We might be able to make it all the way to the head. Bop, 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 bop. Ooh. Feel like making an exit? My hero. Don't do that. <laughs> She's a freak. You might have stolen my treasure and thwarted my dragon, but I still have the bride. Jean King is mine. You can have her. Also, we didn't really do much about that dragon. We kind of just hit him in the head a few times. Maybe took a couple of his brain cells away. That's about it. Jump in quick, and we're out of here. Gave him that clockwork treatment. Is that it, really? Okay. Oh, I got you, I got you. General Sal had his wedding right on schedule. Everything was as he'd arranged. Except the bride came as kind of a shock. Carmelita was a little disappointed it wasn't me she busted at the altar. Although I doubt she minded taking Sal into custody. He did after all plague the streets with the undead. From what I hear, the locals were happy to see him go. Is necromancy a <laughs> against the law we dropped off jean king with her aunt the panda king insisted that she be safe there and that he needed to pay off his debt to the gang i was still wary but there was no denying that his skills would come in handy needless to say we lived it up in the back streets of shanghai what kind of gang of thieves would we be if we passed up on recreation like that Sick. Got the best character so far on our team. Look at us go. Dude, Panda's actually massive. Murray's supposed to be the strong guy. Panda's literally four times the size. But Murray's a sweetheart, so. Dead men tell no tales. Next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. How's it going, everyone? We're playing some more Sly 3. We're starting... A new episode, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl here. The episode that I've been looking forward to for a little while now. We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities. To none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. Wonder if Captain Jack Sparrow's chilling. Some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. That's cruel. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper vault. That Bentley, always thinking. 
Dimitri's a frog? I always thought he was some, like, lizard. Is a frog a lizard? Dead men tell no tales. They're very sick. But yeah, I have very fond memories of this map, so I was looking forward to this quite a bit. Especially like the, I guess, spoiler, the ship battles. I don't remember them very well, but I, but I, I do remember them enough to look forward to it. Okay, okay, we got a lot more moves that we gotta buy now. Let's see, but none of these are really calling my name, so we'll we'll just save up money slowly for them. I think we gotta go out with Sly first, no matter what we do here. Bloodbath Bay, the Caribbean Sea. Okay. See, when I stepped out, I felt like I didn't remember this level, but now, giving it a couple more seconds, I actually kind of do. So, so far, I've really remembered most of the maps, which is really good to hear. God, that seems like a small map, though, right? Yo, my bad. I'm just trying to steal the treasure. And I'm very curious to see at what type of treasure. I do remember that dude's call. That arf arf. That haunted my dreams as a 10 year old. Alright, what type of uh, loot you guys got on you? I'm guessing most people will have real good things like gems and stuff, but. Okay, that's not very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and head over to the mission. Enough dilly dally, even though I can't seem to stay on top of a building for the life of me. Also, that dude has an actual cannon on him. I didn't think pirates could get that old. Thought scurvy would get them or something. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers, plain as that. And they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. Scantron tests, dude. I'm pretty sure... If you were born maybe after like 2000, 2010 maybe, you might not even know what that is. Which is hilarious because I remember when I was taking Scantron tests that, were they like, would I consider, consider them already new or old? I feel like they were like new for me almost like, oh, this is new technology. We got Scantron tests. No more writing paper, Scantron tests, and now that's already like ancient history, and it's only been five years, which is kind of hilarious to me. Can I smack him in the head? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Hello? Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I. But I won't chatter with the likes of you, I'm so blessed at the subject. Get out of me sight, Black Lover! All my years, I only spoke of the good and kindness with me partner. Can you tank of a stable? Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, whole lover. Thought he said. Cut your spot on the tonsils, I assure you. I thought he said, like, a bad word. I was like, dude ain't playing. It's a children's game and he's out here. Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. The old coot will need to fool him into thinking that your cantanker is Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job. Matey. So Jake has a thing about monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. Alright, come on, Jake. You're coming with me, big guy. What? Be that monkeys? You need to get a bigger shirt though. Come on, Jake. What? what are you doing up there, bud? I'm trying to get you down here. <laughs> That's not very nice of you, Jake. You're literally an animal, dude. You, what do you eat, kibble? We eat bones? 
Catholic primates. That's gotta be racist. Oh, yo, my bad. Go back down. No, go back down. I right, am dropping this on your head. Later. <laughs> Monkey. Alright, free eye patch. I feel like we could also just buy an eye patch off Amazon or something, but don't tell him that. Alright, on our way. Just gonna rocket boot through the map. Let's go ahead and just press this. Oop, that does not go to. Shut up. Wait. There's the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. This is like the Contessa mission. Hello? Can, did they hear me? Pretty sure I have the silent obliterate, right? So they shouldn't. Okay. Give me your peg leg. Once. <gasps> Whoop! My bad. Do you mind just, like, not remembering that I was just behind you? That would be pretty lit. You would think he'd feel like his leg wobble, right? He's just like, oh, all of a sudden my leg is shaky. Thanks for your leg, homie. Excellent work. You've just got one lieutenant left. Twitchy Neb. I'm afraid word's gotten out that someone is taking down lieutenants, and he's hiding out up in a crow's nest. Which one? Oh, he's all the way up there? Bro, you can't hide from me. Also, I feel like this music is slightly inspired by the Pirates of the Caribbean. I, you can hear it. Keep your wits about you, Ned. Stay sharp. <laughs> sharp as an axe. Sharp as a thin sharp. Ah! I know it. It's true. An agent of Thames come for revenge. Where are you going, dude? That's no fair. Oh, we will take at least a little shortcut over here. And just, uh, wait for him to come around. I feel like this is like weirdly genuinely hard almost simply because I'm impatient <laughs> not anything else boink all right you keep running keep trying to drop stuff on our head nope yo do you have treasure can I pick pocket you I feel like I want to get whatever's in his pocket I think that might be my new goal Get whatever's. Yeah, won't take me. yeah, I won't. Yeah, you think you could take me? That's what she said. Come on. Give me what's in your pockets. Alright, let's see. Where does he go? This is where I lost them last time. Okay, okay, that's what I gotta do. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, that's where I just. Went a little brain dead and kind of lost them. Yo, what up? We're going right by the captain. Uh, we're just uh, playing tag. Don't worry about it. Oh, great. We isolated him. Let's beat him up and steal his stuff. Avast there. You've got me with me back to the sea. I yield. I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut a cloth and away with you. I mean, it's his fault for running, bro. Still think we should have hit him in the head, but that's just me. You've got the full cantankerous Tim disguise. Head on back to Black Spot Key and pretend to be his old partner. And remember your pirate accent this time. Hmm. <laughs> All right, Bentley. Let's go. Uh, let's go talk some trash. I swear. The trash talk of my early youth consisted of the lines that we're about to speak. Oh. I was supposed to wear the outfit. Oops. Alright, I'm just gonna jump right in front of him. No! Okay, good. 
dangerous still. You're back to face Calloway. Aye, matey. And not to be rude, but let's talk of treasure. Arr. How about a round of vinegar talk first, you baboon face toilet? I've read about this, Sly. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. Alright, what do we got? You donkey-eared, duck-billed, cabin boy. <laughs> You're a donkey-eared, duck-billed, cabin boy. That be true enough, but you are... Pinheaded, puss face, piece of filth. Puss headed. Are you a parrot loving, twisted, anchor head? You're a parrot loving. Did he say parrot loving? Anchor head. <laughs> but methinks you're a bleeding, clam tongued cow pie. <laughs> bleeding? Alright, you're a stupid, toothless. Whale fart. That's the one right there. You're a stupid, toothless whale fart. Ha! You swear like a child. You're a idiotic, cross-eyed sack of maggots. Idiotic cross. You're a mumbling s <laughs> crog abused <laughs> bag of vomit. That's the oh, one. Really? You're a mumbling grog. Abusing bag of vomit. That be true enough, but you're a marooned, scurvy ridden waste of skin. Alright, you're a cricket sized seaweed slurping swaddler. You are a cricket sized seaweed slurping swabber. Ha <laughs> ha! Cantankerous teammate must be you! Forgive this old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that could curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away do you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Rame Lousteau fella. Twas a good haul, that. Uh, speak of it while drunk off. You and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger Isle. Oh, and many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lords. It shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost me galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefui. What? <clears throat> what? I'd have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. This Lefui's no ordinary buccaneer, no. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man of the seven seas. The devil lives in yonder keep. Tis there you'll find the map and your death as well. If you go for the treasure shipmate, you go alone. Missy Ferrant is alone behind me. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny, malodorous, hairy palmed bottom feeder. Very nice. All right, so we gotta go fight another pirate. You know, that dude seems like a nice guy. Kind of poopy that he robbed his dad, but we've got a lead on Ruddy Lusto's treasure. It's buried somewhere on Dagger Island. A landmass many leagues from our current position. To make the voyage, we'll need to steal a pirate ship from the harbor. No easy feat given the cutthroat nature of these cutthroats. First, Murray and Sly will steal a jolly boat and blast the rudders off any ships that could chase us out into the open ocean. The action is sure to provoke the harbor patrol, so be prepared for a sea battle. With them out of the way, no one could stop us from leaving harbor. Meanwhile, Penelope and I will work together to break into Lafouille's keep and steal the map to the buried treasure. 
Once both objectives are reached, we'll steal a ship and set sail for Dagger Island. Then it'll be a simple matter of following the map and digging up the loot. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. All right. We got any money for any more moves? I'm guessing we don't, right? 600? Nah. All right. Who we got? Um... Let's do Murray. Why not? I feel like his boat mission could be a lot of fun. Yeah. Let's do the boat mission. Got anything good for me? All right. I'll be taking your stuff. No! Haha, <laughs> right, right before... We're about to get blasted, though. Oops. Right, let's just uh, run away. We don't we don't need the smoke right now to be honest. Y'all still chasing me? You weirdos. What moves we got? Okay, R2. Boing. 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 Let's go ahead and bounce right into our mission here. Okay, Murray, I need you and Sly to blast the rudders off all the galleons in port. With their boats disabled, the pirates won't be able to chase after us when we sail for Dagger Island. What about those boats out there at anchor? They look ripe for a breaking. Don't worry about it. The pirates won't have time to row out and get them rigged before we're gone. Besides, once you start shooting at those rudders, the harbor patrol is sure to show up. That sounds like a job for a man of my many destructive habits. You said it. Take out the harbor patrol, and there'll be no one left to chase after us when we appropriate a pirate boat. It looks like Sly's done unlocking the jolly boat. Good luck, sailor. We're just borrowing a pirate boat. Don't worry about it. We'll give it back at some point. Okay, boys. Murray Rose and Sly Man the cannon. Hold down the R1 button to charge the shot. And shoot oh. Murder. Okay, this is kind of cool, actually. Okay, we gotta kind of be fast here. So let me turn down the volume. I'm gonna totally get hit right here. Psych. I feel like if we get up close, this is much, much easier. There we go. Yeah, I feel like this is very, very easy if you just get up super close to them. Boink. Yeah, I feel like the farther shots are actually much, much harder. Where's the last one? Let's go ahead and trip her on this boat. Oh, what? I'm surprised this didn't fall. Come on now. There we go. That was weird. Patrol has arrived. They look pretty well armored. Is this cannon gonna cut it? You're right, Sly. Murray needs to ram them with your jolly boat to knock off the armor. All right. I'm tired of dodging <laughs> cannonballs. Time to crack some skulls. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cutscene we're getting hit. Once Murray has knocked off the armor, you'll need to sink him with a well-placed cannonball. Run in fear, armor patrol. Right, here we go. I'm gonna ram you with it next week. Coming after you. Bop. That it? Okay, so we just gotta hit them one time, just get rid of their armor real quick. There we go. Easy. Alright, where are you at? It's actually really fun. I, I like the... The boat's a lot more fun to drive than the RC cars because you can kind of like. I don't know, see, the controls are just extremely satisfying. The team of excellence, Murray and his faithful gunner Sly, kick butt yet again. Uh, sorry guys. I wasn't aware the Harbor Patrol had a cutter. You're not done yet. Gas, that thing is massive. Everything has a weak point. Just look at the mast. They've been patching it up for a while now. Sly's right. 
That mass will fall before our combined mightitude. No matter how many cannons they bring to bear, we will bear it. Not to sound like a wimp, but I vote we dodge their cannonballs. Or we can dodge. That works too. Nah, I want to eat them. Let's go. Yeah, something about the boat. The boat driving is just very, very, very satisfying. What, what do I got to hit? The support beam? Okay, got to shoot a little higher on this one, huh? Zoink. A lot of cannonballs. Let's go back around again. Let's try to Kobe them all the way from over here. Kobe. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Team Excellence does it again. Nice shooting, sidekick. Hey, we would have been sunk without your rowing. When you guys are done making out, I'll see you back at the safe house. Sheesh. Come on, man. I think Bentley's getting a little jealous. He's not getting some one on one slide time, if you know what I'm saying. All right, we got one more mission with Bentley. Let's do it. Ooh, let's steal this guy's stuff. What do you got in your pocket, bud? Medium diamond? Only worth 100? Alright, you're going to the sea. You got anything for me? No, nothing. Oh, you're getting thrown. Alright, how do I get back up there is my question. Can I, uh, ball form this bad boy? And just, uh, bounce my way back up there? I guess, I guess that works. Right. Let's go ahead and grab our boy Bentley. What time is it? 7.52. Let me make sure nothing important texted me. All right. Let's grab our boy Bentley. We got any new moves for him? Size destabilizer. That's definitely new. Rage bomb. I think that's new. Now, I don't really think I'm going to use any of this stuff, but... The Rage Bomb might be fun. Let's go ahead and tr just give this Rage Bomb a whirl. Let's see what it does to this guy. Oh, okay. Just basically killed him instantly, which was not what we were trying to do. Maybe we'll use it in this mission. Let's see if it'll come in handy at some point during this. Okay, Penelope. I'm in a position with your hover spectrometer. I'll launch the device and you scan for metal structures that resemble a safe or chest. Anything the treasure map might be stored in. Roger, Bentley. Let's light this candle. Be still, my heart. She made an obscure NASA reference. Why do the girls always have to go for Sly? It's just not fair. What was that? I didn't reach ya. Oh, nothing. I was just saying that we've got fair winds for liftoff. Let's do it. The little homie's gonna turn into an insult. Oh, no. No, Bentley. The data's coming in. It's caching in the spectrometer's matrix. What matter of witchcraft is that? Ah, well, best to shoot first and then ponder later. It's facts. No! We haven't downloaded yet! Ah, oh, the pieces are still intact. The disk is shattered, but we can still retrieve the data. But it's broken. And I rig all my gear to self-destruct if anyone tries to take it after a malfunction. The disc will destroy itself if someone tries to pick it up. Aha! What if we could read the disc's contents before touching it? Right! I could use my RC car to go out and collect the data. It's got the same code base as the disc and should be able to download its contents. That's it! Use the car to recover all of the data, and then we'll know where to strike inside the stone gate. Okie dokie. Here we go. Yeah, I feel a little homie, though. Um... Nice driving, oh, okay. I'm registering a partial download from that portion of the disk. Okay, so we just run into them. We don't download it. We don't stick like a USB stick or anything in there. Yeah, I feel like, um... Bentley needs to get some, like, gnarly, like, prosthetic legs. 
Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. Took me a little while to find find it, but Ooh. I'm Bentley and this is Jackass. No, dude, I'm trash. Bop bop. Here we go. Alright, you know. Ooh, another jump. Oh! That was close. So there's that one. Okay, I need to get this one first. And I think I do one last absolutely gnarly jump over to the other side. Bro, shut up. Alright, here we go. Yeet. No, stop, stop. There we go. Pick it in style. That does it. We should have all of the spectrometer data. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. There's a massive chest near the top east facing windows. Let's go. Also, Bentley needs to, like, do something about his eyebrows because them boys look like pieces of cheese. Just putting it out there, Bentley. Of course she likes Sly. You have cheese eyebrows. Dude, what in the world is going on back there? This Lafui guy is really on it. He must have seen the desk and raised all the bridges to the fort. There's no way in. I've dealt with guys like this before. They can't really trust their own men, so they always keep an escape route handy. You just have to look around a little. Wow, Sly's really taught you a lot. Sly? We're a team. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the brains of the operation. He's just a field man. Just a field man? Sounds like you're jealous. Well, yeah, I, I wish I wasn't in this chair. I wish I could run on tight ropes and jump on flag poles and all that stuff. But I can't. You can do other stuff. Sly can't rewire a satellite or write ASCII code. Sly can't even spell ASCII. Yeah, he's not the most technical guy. Hey, let's get moving. We won't find the back entrance just standing around. Oh, oh sorry about that standing comment. Give me a break, Penelope. It's just an expression. Dude, I still can't tell whether I should like Penelope or not. She kind of annoys me. Dude, one moment she's like belittling our boy Bentley and the next one she's like well you're really smart she's got a real way of making backhanded compliments don't make my boy Bentley feel bad he's an absolute gem and a treasure no nobody deserves Bentley look at him tell me one other dude that can jump on boxes with his wheelchair if anything, this is more impressive than Sly. Sly is working legs. He's doing what Sly is doing without legs. The door here is locked, but you should be able to bomb the support to that upper walkway. Oh. Do I gotta destroy this one here? Alright, well that took way too long to figure out. And now I've got absolutely no health, but... We could probably try and extract some health from someone, right? What is a health extractor? Let's give this a whirl. Let's see if we can maybe utilize that to actually get some of our health back here. Shh. That must be Lafui. Let's get up to where no one will spot us. Agree. Boing. I'll tell you something, my thunder. That disc in the sky was just the beginning. But, sir, it is gone. Then bridges is up and all's as clear as morning. Sure, sure, every man's entitled to their opinion. But I don't want to hear no more of them. Second mate Jones. Yes, sir. You're now promoted to captain of the guards. Th th thank you, sir. Double the patrols and keep an eye out. There's the storm blowing in. I'll be just inside torturing the prisoners. Call out if you need help. 
No, sir. I mean, I, I, sir. Jake is nervous. We can't get inside with these pirates guarding the door. Time for a little swashbuckling. What type of swashbuckling we talking here, huh? Now, question. Can I throw health extractor right there? Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but uh, that works too. Give me a little health. I was hoping for a little bit of health packets. Well, I guess in the meanwhile, we just keep bombing them here. No swashbuckling. We're, we're stealth bombing. I think it's more fun. There we go. Can we now? Let's use a health extractor now. Oh, yeah. Will that give me some health? Hey, yo. Give me your life, too. Screw. Not too shabby, Bentley. Not bad at all. Yeah, look at my helmet. I'm balling like that. Looks like a standard double button latch system. On three in pirate. One, two, three. Arg. This must be it. I've never seen a security chest so thick with traps. I don't know. Looks pretty straightforward. If I had my spanner set, this would be a cinch. Really? Let's head back to the safe house and get your tools. I'd like to stay here if you don't mind and study it some more. Sure, I'll be back in a flash. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. You're leaving the girl by herself? Really, Bentley? That's not very uh manly of you. Dagger Island treasure map. Ah, my eyes! Oh, I can't see some kind of blinding dust. <laughs> Oops. Bro, she got flash banged. Pick her up with your wheelchair, dude. Swoop her up. Give her a ride. Come on, Bentley. You're not romantic in the slightest. Show around town with your wheelchair. Alright, where are you at, Penelope? Don't worry, Penelope. The pulley's holding up the bridges were too tough to take out with my sleep darts. So I upgraded my grapple cam with one of your RC turns. I heard the bridges fall. That's so sick. Okay, dude. Really? I hear ya. The guards are really not supposed to know it's not a real bird. Although this is probably the coolest thing we've done so far. We actually put a gun on a... Dude, that's so sick. You coming? Again. Bentley should just swoop her up on, a, on his little... Uh, on his little tricycle there, but... um. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Gotcha. You back up. Nope, nope, you, you back up. Oh, is that... Oh, I can't pick up that money, no, dude. You still chilling? All right. Okay, now the real question is, she can't jump while she's blind, right? Okay. So I guess we'll have to take her up the long way, right? Come in. Oh, 
sure. I'm coming. I hear ya. And she didn't get hit by a single thing. She's still behind me? Okay. Or did I just lose her? Don't tell me I just lost her, dude. I'm in my really? Oh, my bad, Penelope. I was just trying to get that thing out of your way. There we go. Penelope! Bentley? Thank you. I was really scared there for a bit. You saved my life. There now. Let's get you inside and make sure that dust has no permanent effects. Let me apply some ointment to your eyes, baby girl. Let me let me take care of you. Alright. We're going to end that episode off there and continue with Sly next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing some Sly 3. Let's go ahead and pick up Sly. Pretty sure he has the next mission. X marks the spot. Now, since we're in uh, pirate territory, I'm assuming we're going treasure hunting, which I remember as a kid being very difficult, although I was, like, 10, and I'm pretty sure I couldn't do... Uh, simple math so why in the world is that going that way so i'm assuming it's not going to be as hard as it was when i was 10. i'm pretty sure it just tells us walk like seven steps that way and my tiny little brain was like huh what is seven here we go okay sly time for the main event i've been looking forward to this every thief dreams of one day stealing a pirate ship i don't know what it is but it's like a total rite of passage this is going to be great. As you'll be the first on board, you might want to keep your enthusiasm quiet. If the Night Watch detects you, this whole place is going to get lit up with guards. The rest of the team won't stand a chance. Come on, pal. This is me you're talking to. I'm like a fourth degree black belt at this kind of stuff. Murray will meet you at the Jolly Boat. But remember, keep it quiet. Okay. Dwight would disagree. They don't give black belts to stupid things. Now, we gotta grab a small boat. Here we go. I'm gonna take the hardest route possible just to get there. Hello? Oh, okay. Where they gotta be outside of the boat. Looks like they mined the harbor after our last boat trip. Must have really spooked these guys. Alright. I am always quiet. I am speed, and I'm quiet. Skirt! What up? I still- okay, I always forget that I have this invisibility. Like, power, and I rarely ever use it for some reason. But these guys aren't gonna cause me too much trouble here. I love how I instantly teleported right there. Come on up. Of the gang is below deck. Let's fire this puppy up. Does Murray know how to drive this thing? Sails and get underway. It won't be long before someone on shore raises an alarm. No problem. We wasted that harbor patrol. The coast is clear. You guys did a great job, but they still have cannons mounted up in Skull Keep. I figure it's long odds they get gun crews into position before we're out of range, but it's worth mentioning. Then let's make full sail for the mouth of the harbor. If you guys are ready, I say we do it now. Every second we dilly-dally just puts us at more risk. Agreed. Murray, take up the anchor. Bentley, get down below deck and adjust the ballast. I'll hoist the sails and get this thing moving. All right. You're in command. Sailing is easy. Hold down on the L2 button to turn left and the R2 button to turn right. 
Oh, that's so sick. Oh, I totally forgot that we can actually just drive the boat like this. Oh, that is so sick. Alright, I guess we'll, let's uh let's head towards open waters here, huh? Later. Oh yeah. Wonder if I can get on this and not die. I wanted to do like the Titanic. Staying on the end of it and just you know. Alright. So this is the part where I kind of forgot what to do. Okay. Okay. So like, okay, this is the part. This is the part of the game that I think still amazes me. Uh, it being a PS2 game. That the fact that they have a whole, like, open world sea with islands, that's just kind of nuts to me. I remember as a kid being absolutely, like, entranced by this. Like, this was the greatest thing I've ever done in my lifetime. And for some reason, people are a big fan of just leaving their gold out to sea. Seems like a bad way to pirate, but hey. Who am I to judge? I haven't been a pirate that long either. Alright, let's go. I think we should uh, be able to go basically straight here. We'll, we will be okie dokie. Yep, a little longer. I'll hit this little treasure. Bop. You're the captain. Turn our boat to give him a broadside with the cannons. Oh, we gotta the not hit the, the island, though. Behind, our cannonballs will do tons more damage as they travel the length of the enemy ship. Okay, so back in front does more damage. But it's also going to be harder to shoot that way. So I guess we got to wait for them to get here. And then we go, boop. Oh, yeah. You're trash. Alright, smash right into it. What up? Is that a chihuahua? I still, I still don't know what that is. Whoop. Okay, apparently I'm trash. Can I? Oh, I guess I'm not sneaking right. Let's see how many of them. Whoop. How many of them are there? Is it just a couple of them? A couple of them is not bad. Let's see, do we got any cool moves that we can use? We have the pounce. I guess we could play around with the pounce. Yeah, let's do that. See if we can just bop. You're trash. Bop, you're trash. Can I throw him into the ocean? Nope, he just comes right back up. Okay, noted. Oh, and he has a whole health bar. I didn't even notice that he has a health bar. I am not very uh, observant here, am I? Yeet. Right, a couple more hits and... Uh, whoop. He totally s slashed me across the head right there, but... But game. Ooh, don't shoot me. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, and he, we get an item when we kill him, too? Okie dokie, I'm guessing this is it, right? I'm assuming, I'm assuming. See, I want to do a lot more of those ship battles, because those are real fun. Okay, um, historically, I've never been good at puzzles. I've... Always sucked at them. Like, to an actual surprising amount, I'm... I consider myself, and as much as I joke about it, like, an actual pretty smart person. I mean, I'm in graduate school, so I would hope I'm gonna become a doctor and all that. But, as far as puzzles are concerned, I, I'm genuinely trash at them. I don't know if maybe I have, like, low critical thinking skills, or I don't know, but here we go. Stand before the statue's gaze to begin to walk along the treasure's maze. Okay. So, we need to find statue, right? I guess pretty obvious. They must have a ship anchored on the other side of the island. Stay clear if you can. No telling how many are on shore. Well, we could probably just take a look around. One, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. Ooh, taupe. That's trash. What? 49 gold for that? You're definitely going to kill you for that one. How dare you give me a gemstone that's worth 
What in the world is that? Okay. Looks like Miss Ruby, but purple. Alright, let's find the statue. You got anything good on you? No. What about you, bud? You got anything on you? Nope. Whoop. Let's not talk to that guy. Nope, nothing on you either. Statue? That's probably it. So I'm gonna assume that's probably it. I just do a little pop pop. Yo, actually, there is a lot of pirates here. Once again, do you guys I feel like this might be a real good place to farm cash? Let's see, do you have anything on you? Nope. You? Oh, you, you, this guy actually does have something on him. Alright, give me something good. Don't give me a topaz. Okay. Oh, I want to kill you so bad, but I don't feel like making attention right now. All right, here we go. This is where we start. So now if we L1 this bad boy. Follow the rest of the clues on the map to find the treasure. Take ye 12 paces in the direction of the statue's gaze. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just marked an X on the ground, which will make it easy to come back and pick up where you left off. X always marks the spot. Find the X and take. What? Am I on the X? What? X always find the X and take. What X? Okay, I have to find... See, but what in the world does this have anything to do with it? Oh, that's the X, right? Okay. That's the X. One, two, three, four, five, six. While in map mode, you can use the right analog stick to scan your immediate area. It might be helpful to find this circle of palm trees mentioned in the clue. Move 18 paces into the circle of palm trees. Well, I'm gonna assume that it's over there, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18. Take 16 paces to pass between two gray stones. Like a ship at sail, avoid the rocks. Two great stones. Hmm. I'm assuming we're going in that direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Looks like you'll need to leave map mode to solve this clue. Look around like normal with the right analog stick for this island with three palm trees. Look out to find it. Bring up map mode again. And your direction marker will be pointing in the Bro, same direction. Bentley, shut up. You're ruining all the surprise. The mystery. Let me figure it out. Look out to sea and spot a rock with three palm trees. Make 13 paces in its direction and you and get your feet sandy. Okay, well, I'm going to assume it's that one right there, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... Not all ships meet a happy end, but follow where they point is what ye must do for six paces. Bro, don't, don't. I don't think you want to do this right now, bud. Do you really want to do this? Is this really what you want to do? Okay. Where the... The ship points, right? So, boing, in that direction right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dig. This is too cool. I thought it says SOS on the ground, like, uh, did the person ever get saved? Well, Dimitri, it's your loot. Or is he I in the chest? The honor. <laughs> I open with joy. You, Cooper Gang, is a tight groove. Van Gogh Bullseye. The primo diving gear to accentuate my deep down diving style. 
It's so intricate. Your grandfather was an artist. I've never seen such fine craftsmanship. He had the juice. Check it. The gear even matches the juice. my suit. I can dance, dive, and accessorize. What else is in this chest? I. Let's get a good look. <laughs> Avast, lovers. Didn't think you could steal from the smartest man of the seven seas and not taste the repercussions. Ha ha ha. I might have been late for the opening of the chest, but I'm just on time for the stealing of the gold. Let Penelope go. We can work out a deal. Penelope be the lass's name. Purty as a sonnet, and what a rich sweet scent from the wench's hair. <laughs> What's don't this don't talk? smell her, bro. That's weird. No, he'll hurt her. This guy's a killer. Hey, you sum me up with butter word. <gasps> killer. Away with ye. Back to your ship. This gold is mine now, but her death is yours. Take your choice. Guys, we don't have any options here. Everyone back to the ship. You can't just abandon me. Help! Please. I'm so scared. Penelope. Do what he says. Stay alive. We will save you. I... I trust you. And I trust you still planning logging back to your ship. Away with ye. Now! He's mean. I don't like him. I want to beat him up. Okay. Well, we lost Penelope, but... Bro, he's literally a bird. How hard could this be? We've already... Beat a couple of birds, so. At this point is saving our teammate and friend Penelope. Left we ship, the Death's Head has sailed back to Bloodbath Bay with her on board as captive. Things look grim. There's no way we'll be able to sneak into the harbor. Even the backside of the island is inaccessible due to reefs. To put it plainly, we're in for a fight. Left we is an intelligent opponent, and we'll need to do everything in our power to stack the odds in our favor. First, we'll put Dimitri's new diving gear to use by salvaging some weapons from a nearby shipwreck. We'll need the extra firepower to deal any kind of damage to the armor and forced death's head. It'll also come in handy for our second objective, destroying the Red Sail Sea Dog Clan. They're a fleet of mercenaries on Lefui's books. We need to surprise them now while they hunt for us in small groups. If they ever attacked in unison, there's no way we'd make it out alive. And finally, we'll set sail for the misty waters inhabited by a sea monster the pirates call Crusher. Reports on Crusher are sketchy. Spoiler, dude. We might learn something by analyzing its technique. I know for a fact that all of Lefui's men fear it. An impressive and useful trait, given our current situation. I think they fear it because it's like 50 feet tall, and its arm can crush a ship. That might be something to do with it. I, I don't think there's much we can learn. It's gigantic. What, do you want to become gigantic? But hey, I'll, I'll give it a shot here, okay? I'm not one to uh, not change my mind. Push attack. Um, fine, let's do jump attack, whatever. I feel like I'm not utilizing any of these. What is this jump attack? Oh, we're still on the ship. Well, of course we are, because... So, how do I... I want to do, like... I don't know how to do these special moves. Okay, doesn't matter. Don't really care. So, now we're... On the island, okay, L1. I don't think I really need any of these. We're kind of on the ship now. Okay, so I need to grab a hold of this, and we go off. What's the map again? I am dumb. What's the map? Oh, triangle. Okay, so... Oh, the map is literally the sea now. That's cool. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and give our turn around a little bit here. Let's go ahead and do the bottom mission. Oh, I want to fight. Oh, you look like a big old ship. Let me fight you. Oh, jeez. That's a bad way to start. Um, uh, maybe no, it's not. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shoot you so good. Okay. Um, I'm actually moving in the wrong direction. Can I shoot that shit, too? Can I fight all of you? I'll fight all of you. Like, get over here and let me blast... I need to fix that, don't I? Oh, okay. Very cool. I can just fix it like that. Alright. You're done. You're done. 
Yo, where'd you go? I'm trying to beat you up. I'll take care of you later. That's right. You, you turn around. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. Oh, they threw balls at me. But you're bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Um, where's the front? Oh, the front's over there. Oh, okay. Well, then you know what? You live for 20 seconds more. I'm going to take you down first. There you go. Wow, it's not dead? That is very surprising. Are there any more leaks? Nope, okay, well... Ooh, don't do that, don't do that. Where's... Okay, you know what? I don't know who to take down first. Alright, we'll take you down first. Later. Okay, now... Let's go for... The bigger boy. Alright, first ship battle. I don't think it's going too terribly, considering we're fighting two at once. Not the best, but um, not too terrible. Alright, I think that's it. I think we can finally board here. I don't know how to fix our ship, but we'll have to end up doing that, because one of my sides is actually kind of donezo here. Doom, 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 doom. I am Captain Jack Sparrow, and I got a jar of dirt. Ooh, almost just actually fell off the ship. Hey, what up, dog? I'm coming. Don't worry. I'm here to take ye treasure. What's up, man? Woo. Ah! This guy's cool because he actually blocks attack. That's pretty unique. Okay, let's try one of these bad boys. That always works. Nope, don't do that. Woo. Bop. There we go. Gimme, gimme. Another medium diamond. Okay, not the greatest thing on the planet, but... Alright, ship sunk. Ship's captured. Oh, and I get money for the ship's sunk also. Which is pretty cool. Now, how would you fix ship? That's my question, because I'm kind of hurting, right? How in the world do I fix that. Do I need to fight you? Can I just doink this treasure? That's health. Okay. Alright, well, since you got close to me, you're gonna die instantly here. Ah! Where's the hole? Where's the hole? Alright, you know what? You're trying to fight too? What happened? Did I lose? No shot, I lost. If one of the... Oh, if even one of the place... One of the sides sinks... I just lose. Did I lose money over that? No, I don't think I lost money over that. That'd be a little that'd be a little nuts. Okay, let's go ahead and um actually head towards the mission. Let's go and do the mission. I'll what I'll probably end up doing is a lot of ship fighting off camera. Oh, what in the world? Oh, okay, I need to go like into here. And I totally forgot what Bentley just said to us. Anchor near the beach. Are you all set with your gear? Got the gear, got the macho swimsuit, got more juice than you'll ever know. Wow. I'm a hit singer with a bullet. Cool, Daddy O. How about you take your <laughs> Daddy O, okay, dude. The H2O and get nasty with the scuba. Yo, with bling. Hey, man, you can try. But you'll never capture my essential style. It's like smoke, ungrabbable, and all over the place. But no matter nothing, come at me with some turtle talk. You've got your own flavor. Fine. Your objective is beyond the reef. We're looking for some more of these cannon blast amplification callers. We'll move the boat above the wreck and lower a basket for you to drop them into. Woo, cool, bro. I'll cup the colors and spice up your basket big time. Solid. Hey, uh, you want some depth optimizers for your scuba mask? Nope. Might help you spot sharks. No, I'm good. No, no 2000s technology for me. I like my very flat 2D. Use the action buttons to move forward, left, right, and back. Hit the R1 button to fire your spear gun. Ooh, okay. That's backwards. 
Oh, okay, I got you. So that's forward. R1 is my gun. So I go zoink. Okay. Alright, noted. Let's uh, start moving here. Is that Star Me? Hey, yo, look, that's Star You. We're in Pokemon. Well, I'm literally a jellyfish. Um, but where am I supposed to where am I supposed to be going? I'm lost. Help. I'm seven. Lost in a grocery store? I almost just touched that thing. I'm guessing we gotta go in here, right? Assuming, assuming. We've repositioned the ship and are lowering the basket for you to drop the blast collars into. And, uh, a word to the wise. If one of those sharks attacked, I'd use a face button to swim sideways. Could mean the difference between life and death. Yeah, I don't feel like getting bitten. Okay, where is... Cannon amplification. Is that, is that it right there? I'm assuming that's it. Let's do a little twisty turn. Oh, yeah. How do I grab it? Maybe that's not it. Oh, that is it. It just didn't grab it for some stupid reason. Okay. Very interesting. These cannon blast collars will be in Without this upgrade, our cannons couldn't make a dent. Find five more, and we're set. Oh, there's a... Woo! Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't mean to. Woo! I didn't mean to. Fish are friends, not food. Only four more to go. You're a lifesaver, Dimitri. We had a few blast callers on board, but without a full set, it's hard to calibrate the guns for synchronized discharge. Why why do we never meet nice sharks? I'm sure there's gotta be some nice sharks out there in the world. Why do we always meet the bad ones? You're half there. Just three more. Three more? Hopefully you guys are paying me by the hour. Ooh, a little too tall. A little too high. There Only we go. Two to go. Yeah, so far I've only gotten attacked by sharks like once or twice, so. I'm gonna call this probably a success. Overshot it a little bit again. We just need one, one more. more. Where is I th Where in the world is this last one? Can I shoot a shark? Oh, I can just shoot a Blicky the sharks. I didn't even know that. Well, dude, screw you. What are you guys doing? I thought, for some reason, I thought you guys would be, like, invincible, because you're, like, sharks and all that. Ah, screw that. Fish are friends, not food, homie. Get out of here. That's right. Who do you think you are? Oop. Oh, that makes it a hundred times easier. Uh, ooh, I'm guessing I'm not supposed to go in that direction. What up? Wow, I actually missed. There you go. Ah, there you are. Zoink. Alright, last one, here we go. Perfect. We're hauling up the goods. Now for stage two. In order to make full use of the blast callers, we'll need to fortify our gunpowder with some ground hammerhead shark bones. They're attracted to yellow dartfish. Swim down to the caves under the reef and capture a couple. Okay. They're down here somewhere. Get ready for some fast swimming. I see you. Where do you think you're going, bud? Where do you think you're going? I let, I'm feeling sushi today. Come here. Nice. Catch one more, and hammerhead sharks are sure to show up. That's probably not a good thing. Nope. You're trash. I feel like PETA definitely hates this game. I'm out here just. Oh, I see you. I'm out here just kind of murdering stuff. Oh, wrong way, bud. doing why are you swimming all funny oh what in the world 
that shark does not exist. Goodbye. Interesting. Do I shoot? Do I just... Oop. Ah. What do I do? Oh! I don't know what to do! Let's try a different one. And I'm dead. Okay. I don't... Maybe I'm missing, uh, missing some piece of my brain. What do I... Wait, okay. Maybe I should read. Okay, and it just went away, so I can't read now. Bonk. Got it. So they just need two shots. Ooh, didn't mean to shoot that one. Nope. I think I can shoot that one before it hits me. Nope. Come on, one more. No, dude. Where are you going? I need your bones. Give me your bones. I'm gonna try to make a soup. Dude, why are you running away? You little weenie? You don't want to fight me? I'm literally a, a purple lizard. What are you scared of a purple lizard for, you weenie? You. With the spooky teeth. Oop, I'm gonna get hit. It's okay, I still got hit. I'm about to MLG G60 trick shot you, though. Watch this, watch this. Woo, where are you going? Woo. Pre fire. Oop. Okay, he actually just juked me out. Where'd he go? What? Bro, I actually just, that shark just juked me out. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oop, is that you? Even if that was you, found in trash. Alright. I feel like I'm playing a Subnautica here. It was kind of gnarly, but... Alright, where'd a shark at? Also, my eye just got dry all of a sudden. Oh, that's weird. Yo, where's he at? I'm gonna kill all the other shark friends until you show up. There you are. Let's see if I can hit him from the back. That's what she said. Bop. Bro. Very fun mission. I anything with the Scooby Gear is a whole lot of fun. So definitely down for it. Again, remember, fish your friends, not food. Now, well, I no, actually, I take that back. Any restaurant I go to, I basically just get their fish and chips. So technically, a hypocrite here. Whoop. Let's see where are we going. I forgot that I need to get on the wheel and then we can kind of decide what we're doing next oh that's not where i should be going right now hello okay battle on the high seas i think that's where we're gonna make our way now give it another turn around here oh yeah you're done though i'll see you in the shadow realm homeboy skirt okay let's go on board And hopefully this time I won't miss it. Is that again? Is that thing a chihuahua? I can't really tell what... Is that like a... I can't tell what this is. See, I don't understand why a chihuahua would be a pirate. Unless it's some like ugly, ugly animal that I'm forgetting about here. And these these ones are much easier to fight than those sword guys because... The sword guys block, and I can get fairly... What are you doing down there? Nope. Dude, stop. What are you... Okay, that should help. No, he's just stuck. Bro, what a do... What an absolute doofus. Dude, what an absolute goober. 
<laughs> what am I supposed to do with this guy? Okay, there we go. I think he finally got himself unstuck. What a bozo. There we go. What is this, a medium necklace? Since when in the world are you guys broke? Okay, get out of here. You're trash. How, why in the world do you only have a medium necklace? Okay, but I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here, and we'll do the mission next episode. Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing some more Sly 3. I'm just doing a very quick shit battle just because I just kind of accidentally ran into it. But we do have a mission very, very close here. Battle on the high seas. So let's go ahead and make our way there and uh, basically see what's going on here. Now where... Okay, I was going to say, where do I got to go? But it looks like... We're in on one of the Red Sail Sea Dog Clan. Beat two quarters. Wait, I got my cannonball missing right there. We've got one away from the rest of the fleet. Make sure to board the enemy vessel once their mast has fallen. We need to find out the patrol routines for the rest of the clan. With some planning, we should be able to ambush them in small okay. groups. <laughs> that was... New arms! Their mast is down! Ram our ship into theirs and jump onto the enemy's vessel! Yeah, that took about a solid two seconds to get that done. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, apparently these guys don't have the best quality ship here. Oakley, Oakley, here we go. Bonk. Ooh. He almost actually hit me there. Try to get. I like this little push attack. I think it, it looks cool. And it's a little fun. Alright, one more. And it should be Dunzo here. You got the red sail charts. Very nice. Ooh, and we get money for that too? Okay. Hopefully, we can find a couple of health stations along our health treasure chests. So my ship is slightly low. Come on, give me like one. So literally, just give me one more to top me off, and the game's like, "Yup, I know exactly what you need, baby girl." Okay, let's head into wherever Bentley seems to think that I need to be. Ready, fellas. We are closing in on the action. I love action. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. No, I'm not. Shoot over there. Just gonna shoot these guys over here. We just, we just gotta make sure to utilize our stuff the best way possible. Oh! They're already gone? That's it? Yo, these guys are trash. That was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, now we just uh, give it another twist here. These guys are done, though. Where am I? Where am I leaking? Where am I leaking? All right, I'll see you guys later. For booty. Nope, I want his booty. Give me the booty. It's mine. It belongs to me. Gib. These fights are slightly annoying, because they take forever, and these guys aren't that good at their jobs, but it's okay. How about you just go into the ocean? How about that? Well, he just keeps instantly falling off. Later. What is this? Large necklace? All right. Hoping to get a lot of gold from those shipwrecks. Oh, yeah. Alright, where are we going next, Bentley? Towards... Oh, that's not going to be good. We're going straight for where the sea serpent thingy is drawn on the... I always love how on treasure maps, like, they draw, like, the sea monster. Like, yeah, I've seen it right here. Like, are you... How, how did you manage to live? But, hey... 
Thanks, Bentley, for the absolute spoiler. It's four against one. Four. Stay sharp and keep out of their line of fire. These Crazy. Nah, we'll be fine, Bentley. We'll be fine. Where's the leak? Sweet shot. Stop leaking. Okay. Let's get this next shot ready. Ah! He actually hit me with the cannonball, that weenie. Am I still sinking? Where's the hole? Oh, I'm still good, apparently. Yeah, I'm still good. Alright, we could probably take out this guy. I wish we could, like, split up our cannonballs so I could shoot, like, three people at once. Ouch. Alright, let's, uh... Not do that. Okay, we'll see. These ones are gonna come back in a minute, so I might as well just stay on the side here. Come on, go down, go down. One more, one more. Alright, whatever. We'll shoot without it. Not like we need it. Alright, you're next, bud. Wait, we can shoot this guy in the butt. Gonna shoot that guy in the butt. Oh, is he done? Oh, you're done. Alright, let's try to chase this dude down. Right on his butt here, so... That should be it, right? Nope. Okay, maybe one more. We'll probably shoot this side right here and... Try to board next. Yeet! Alright, let's try to board. He's a sitting duck! Send him to Davy Jones' locker! Or raid the scoundrel for loot! Yeah, I'm gonna loot it. We got the time. I've got the patience. But apparently I don't have the mechanical skill because, jeez. Oh, no. No, please. Okay, here we go. Totally thought I was gonna miss that. Oh, he jumped over it, dude. What a ninja. i to defeat this guy as quick as possible. Keep hitting him with these power shots. Ruby. Very cool. Rank? I'm a Picaroond? What in the world is a Picaroond? Look at us go. Making all that shmoney. Very cool. Alright, we got one more mission. Which, you know what? Can we actually just maybe like... If I go, f is it like one of those games where if I hit far enough on the map, it just takes me to the other side, right? I'm, I'm, a, I'm hoping. Oh no! Okay, I was drinking water. Because my throat is becoming a biscuit right now. I hope it's one of those where we just go, go to the other side when that happens. Like a Final Fantasy game, basically. Okay. Next mission, here we go. These deep, misty waters are said to be home to the monster. Keep a sharp eye out. Sorry, Bentley, but I can't see a thing in this fog. If your sea monster's here, there's no way we'll find him. Well, it's imperative we track it down and discover why the pirates fear it so vehemently. Panda King, do it's you gigantic? have fireworks that might light the place up a little? Make it easier to spot the creature? My fireworks are not flares. They burst with ferocious beauty and then disappear like the lightning. We should really get out of here. With visibility this bad, we might sail into a rock. The boat might take some real damage. Oops. Okay, now that's some real damage. The sea monster is upon us. Go below deck and placate the others. I will confront this creature with my firework artistry. Give a shout if you need any backup. I'll stand ready. All right, Panda King 1v1-ing the Kraken. That's what I love to see. All right, where you at, bud? Bump, 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 bump. Do I need to hit it before it? Okay. 
I want to like absolutely pack my things with fireworks, but I also don't need it hitting me, so... I guess I can just start packing fireworks like the second after. There we go. See, I can hit it with like mega damage right there. Where you at? Where you at? Nope. Nope. I start packing, start packing. Alright, that should have been a max, max dose of fireworks right there. Oh, that's a big ol' eyeball. So, you now choose to face me. Behold the Panda King, your master. Something like that. Is it gonna, like, attack me somehow? Oh, did it? What? Oh! Ouch. Don't do that, please. That's not very nice. Ah. I'm trying to get these max juicy clips out, though. So I don't... I could do, like, the faster small shots, but that's boring, right? Yep. No, let go, please. We're too far over. Level us off. Or we're dead. Bro, stop grabbing me like that, you weirdo. Why do you like me so much? Why are you obsessed with me? Whoop. Well, I'm gonna hit so many of them. It's gonna be so juicy. Can I hit more? I wanna hit more? Level us <gasps> off. We're gonna drown. I was almost close. Seems like all of these only need like a single shot. I think I don't need to pack it fully, but. Back with his weird butthole mouth. Yes, and let me you. <laughs> That's Kinky Panda King. Let me punish you. I'll right, try to get this, get the bag full here. Here we go. Ah! I totally forgot this, the things can do that. Ah! Oop, he's gone again. Rah! Timid creature. With my beautiful fireworks, I will. I. They are all gone. Cooper, your assistance is requested. I'm here. What's the score? Protect the vessel while I go below and hurriedly craft more fireworks. Sure thing. Bentley, you check out that fight? Crusher must be on its last legs at this point. I mean, what could he have left? Ooh. That sucks. Again, Bentley's sitting here. Why are they scared of it? Bro, are you stupid? Look at it. I got you, Bentley. I got you. If only I was... Oh, I keep missing them like an absolute goofus. No, I'm trash at this game. There we go, you're stuck. Okay. Oh, come on, bro. Okay, he's gotta get he's gotta get closer. Oop, I accidentally did the slow motion thing. Okay, thanks, Bentley. 
<gasps> I almost got smacked by that. Bop. No! <laughs> Come on, man. I was totally hitting that. Alright, come in close, baby girl. Let me see what that eyeball do. Alright, come on. Slap your tentacles on me. Ah. I think I need to get... One more tentacle thingy. Ah! Oh, no! Come on. I guess I'll wait for this tentacle to come back. Slap it on me. Alright, get up close and personal. Squid boy. A grand battle that was. Worthy of the names King and Cooper. You really softened him up for me. That was a solid action reaction, bros. You two stand tall. Say, Guru, could you get inside this creature's mind? Oh, no, no, no. Who be the doing there? That's a brilliant idea. But are you sure you can pull it off? Hey, Martha, hold on. Hi, blah, 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 blah. Then let's do it. Just take any precautions you can. What's he trying to do? Getting us a new ally out here in the sea. Hi, Baba Daha! Reverse double cross. Our goal, as we all know, is to save Penelope. Given her crafty nature, Lefwee has undoubtedly locked her up in one of his most secure locations. They are one, the Skull Keep, and two, the Brig of the Death's Head. Our team is too small to assault both simultaneously, so we'll have to fall back on a little sleight of hand. First, we sail in and exchange broadsides with the Death's Head. Armed with the element of surprise and our cannon upgrades, it should be a fair fight. But remember, Penelope might be on board, so we cannot sink this ship. Once the masts fall, Sly should jump onto the enemy vessel and then promptly surrender. A necessary step for two reasons. First, that boat is packed with pirates way too many to fight hand to hand and second it's the best way to get an audience with lefui given his smug nature he's sure to brag where she's hidden if we can get him angry enough got that sly irritate the daylights out of this guy it's our best and only chance to rescue penelope once he talks we roll out plan a or b depending on the situation this lefui is a smart man our only hope is to outsmart him at his own game. Hey, what's up, guys? We're playing some more Sly 3. Let's go ahead and grab up Sly. And let's head to the final mission. So, um, it is very early in the morning. I finally got basically a free morning until like 11 o'clock so i'm like you know what time to play some sly cooper no i didn't want to get into a battle you guys i'll still blast you though i'm just gonna keep sailing away but if they come close i will start blasting okay so i think we gotta go more toward the northern part here do i gotta go in here oh yeah oh yeah i think so all right, let's uh, do the thing. Battle stations, we're headed into action. It's gonna be tight sailing in here, Sly. Keep an eye on the rocks. Woo. So what do I gotta do? I gotta blast them. Oakley, Doakley, Bob. Right, let's go ahead and give it a little twisty turn here. <laughs> You're trash. 
Look at look at you. Can't even hit the cannonballs. Another one. Here we go. Bop. Do another turn maneuver here. We'll even actually be able to hit him in the back. Bro, sailing is easy, dude. That was Jack Sparrow, man. Look at this. Look, turn him around. Bop, you're trash. Let's go ahead and turn around one more time. Easy peasy. A little far away, but not like this game cares about how far away we are. I don't like this side shot. Because they'll be able to hit me too. But if we turn straight... Actually, screw turning straight. We'll just turn for another shot. Here we go. Bonk. Bro, that was the easiest shit battle in my life. You're trash. Really, Cooper? A bad choice boarding a ship packed with over a hundred pirates. Sure, your cane is up to the task of cracking all our skulls. I don't know about all of you, but yours, I'm sure it can manage. Yeah. Restrain this man and keep your distance from the enemy vessel. This smells of lubber trickery. Take heart, boys. Been a while since we witnessed the good plank walking. See. Okay. Um. There was ever a time to get him angry. This is it. When with, with his men around, he'll need to look tough. It's an insult. It's insult the ship. Splinters in it. I thought a prissy sailor like you would take more pride in his ship. Oh no! I take a great deal of pride working splinters into the feet of those about to walk my plank. Ha <laughs> ha! Just the extra touches that makes all the difference. His crew. Your crew doesn't like me much, Lafui. Where'd you find them? A charitable home for cross-eyed deviants? Oh, hear that, shipmates? The condemned man labeled you all wastes of skin. Ah, how's that fit with you? Stick him! Tear the meat from <laughs> Stick his him! Throat. Let's drink his blood! It appears you're right, Cooper. They are deviants. All right, that's creativity, Making apparently. Me walk the plank? You're the pinnacle of creativity, Lafui. Not creative? I'm the smartest man in the seven seas, you, you slanderous scabbard. Seems a little rattled. That slanderous scabbard crack was pretty weak. Maybe I can play off of it. Um, <laughs> show him up. That's the best insult you can think of. I could do better in a coma while speaking a foreign language to deaf apes. Hmm. Your wordsmithing is preposterous, presumptuous, and patently premeditated. Time to put that slack tongue to use, like giving the shark something to chew on. Oh, uh, pirate talk. You've got a real knack for pirate talk. Put two nonsense words together and pow, scary pirate name calling. Bah! You might be quick with the put downs, but who's got the hidden girl? <laughs> Me! You'll never find her. All right, I'm getting close. Time to really push the Penelope angle. Um, his attentiveness. <laughs> okay, this will get him. I suppose you'd have to keep her locked up. After all, if she ever got away, you'd never get a date. It is true, I have a strong personality. But I've never had a problem with the ladies, especially when I have a broadside aimed at their sailboat. Uh, savvy. Okay, I guess he's the... <laughs> Doesn't really care. Hidden? A fellow sharp as you couldn't hide a stick in the forest. I've got some skill in hiding my blade in lover's guts. Fancy a demonstration? My ability to keep her prisoner. I'm not worried about Penelope. A girl tough as that will free yourself by tomorrow morning, then come and steal your wallet. Ha! That chickadee will never escape a skull keep. She's locked up in irons, and there she stays until she agrees to love me, despite all my faults. No! Be the time sharks launched on your parts. You're the captain. Yeet. <clears throat> Time to pull one of these uh, Luke Skywalkers and the. Step on it, Murray. They've got Penelope locked up in the skull keep. All right, that's where we're going. The lovers getting away. Yeah, didn't uh, Star Wars do the same thing with Luke and when he was uh, about to get killed by um, Boba Fett? Right, he just like jumped. Got the lightsaber from R2D2. <clears throat> okay. Um, 
There we go. I was gonna say which part of the dock side. Run for Penelope. You keep the boat safe. We're gonna need it for the escape. Safe as a baby. Now get moving. Thanks, Murray. Designated DD. Slut, there's a back route up the skull keep. Jump on the floating boxes. Penelope and I made a walkway all the way to the top. Okie dokie. Here I go. Later. I don't feel like fighting you. Just a couple more jumps. Man, how do those boxes not get washed away? I feel like they like stand perfectly still just for us. I say that and then I dip into the water twice in two seconds. Clearly a genius here. Let the let the genius work. Alright, Penelope, where are you at? Also, didn't Bentley in his PowerPoint say something about her being here? How did we not know that she was already here? Okay, not in there. Are you in here? What up, Penelope? Bro, she could have just jumped out the window. What's Penelope, the problem here? Is that you? It's time for a rescue. Lafui. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> well, alright. Let's, let's cap the series. Size dead. Alright, game's over. Thinks he can outmaneuver the smartest man on the seven seas. <laughs> Not hide me. First mate Jones. Aye, aye, sir. Take a battalion of your best men and raid the Cooper ship. There's sure to be some lingering rats about. You've got no mast, homie. We just destroyed it. Don't cut me off while I'm speaking, or I'll cut you off from breathing. The Cooper ship is making for the open water, sir. Oh, rats indeed. Make full say with what must we got. If they make it out to sea, we'll never catch them. Aye, aye, sir. Bentley, slide up, float up, and look, we boat is gaining on you. Keep it together and leave you at the mouth of the harbor. If I can get into deeper waters, I should be able to give this guy the slip. But slide! Keep it together. We're not done yet. Plus, Sly, dude, when has Sly ever been in actual trouble? He'll be fine. Out to sea in this wind. Jones! Aye, sir. Load the cannons and prepare to come about. If the breeze don't help, we'll fall back on iron and powder. Fire! Bop. Who? Bro, Bentley, beat him up. Start, start chucking bombs. He's got hella sleep darts. A boss there! Afraid he didn't quite make it out of the harbor. <laughs> prepare to surrender your vessel. Sorry, Lafui, but I'm sure this water is deep enough. Deep enough to be your grave. Guru, crush her now! Hey, -ho. <laughs> we got the big boy. Oh, my thunder! Just crush her! Crush her! Yeah, it looks like it. Let's go, Guru. Good to see you, too. I'll focus on freeing Penelope. You take care of any pirates that might come up on deck. Use the left and right analog sticks to control your tentacles. Then hit the R1 button and L1 button to smash guys. Will do, brother. Bop, 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 bop. Ooh, I need to go the other way. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. The controls are are inverted for this, which is very interesting. But it'll just take me like two seconds. To... No, no, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Yeah, it's gonna take a second to get used to, but um, we're doing it. Honestly, I just I don't know why, but it's this is oddly satisfying. Like the little slap and the I, I can't explain it, but it's just I can't stop hitting R1. It's just very, very. Satisfying. Oh, okay. One third of the way done. We got this. Also, where are all these pirates? Oh, okay. I'm like, are they just like appearing out of nowhere? But I see them. They're coming out of that little hole at the back of the ship. Bop, bop, bop. Also, you'd think after I've smashed like 30 of these guys, they'd be like, um, we should probably like, try something different. But, um, <clears throat> I'm glad they're not because this is kind of fun. Bop, 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 bop. Keep it up, Guru. Only two left. I got you. Not gonna lie, this uh, giant squid thing is kind of goaded. It's always my, one of my favorite parts of the game, just because 
I don't know. I mean, I'm sure most people do, but I have like a really weird fascination with like large sea creatures. Again, I think most people do because it's just what? How could you not? But anything involving krakens or giant squids or giant sharks or like really deep sea creatures is absolutely like fascinating. Let's go, Bentley. Rizzer up. Uh, oh, okay, now I'm kind of starting to slack here. I'm letting them get close. Nope. We haven't even let let Bentley get hit once. Ew, why they put her in that dress? Call up your squid or the girl gets it. Back off, guru. I'll deal with this guy. I that you have set me up to think I got smart again. Then pulled me into the deep water with this beast. Make him eat. I make him eat a bomb. Just. You're mm. the cleverest man I've ever had the pleasure of beating. Are you getting the slide? Yeah, I've got some perspective on the situation. A fast. Guru, get Sly. He can't swim. Hi, shipmate. But who'll be helping? Ooh. Ah! Nobody touches that turtle, but me. Me pirate flower finely blooms, yet he'd favor this cripple over me, the smartest man of the seven seas. <laughs> oh, I do like smart guys, and he beat you at your own game. You tell me who's more intelligent. <gasps> Be still my heart and quick me blade. This time for a duel. You and I'll make the mating dance of death. All right, time to get really high, so it's very suspense suspenseful. All right, Bentley, get up, bro. Come on, stop faking it. Ah. Okay. Bro, stand still. Ah. Okay, apparently I'm trash at this. My pirate flower, but short and bloody. All right, here we go. Try number two. Here we go. One more time. One more time. I always forget that for some reason he does four swipes sometimes. Sometimes three. I still find it funny that he gets absolutely gassed after like three swipes. Like, how do you get tired after three swipes? Does this man not go to the gym, or does he just spend all his time? I don't even. I don't know. What do, What do you do for fun, Lefui? What is your definition of fun? Because clearly, it's not working on your short skills here, considering you get gassed after like two swipes at me. Is that sword really heavy? Or you just got like I guess he's like a bird, right? He's got like no arm strength. Alright, here we go. Bop. Bop. It's hard already? Here we go. Alright. That's what she said. Alright, I'm pretty sure he's, he's gonna start mixing them all in, right? So I gotta go down, jump, jump. Uh, oh, okay. Apparently, I, they wanted the other attack. Okay, seems like that one was correct. Okay, totally messed up that one, but it's okay. Okay. Wrong one again. I always hit the opposite one of what I need. Just so frustrating. Dude, how do I keep missing that 50-50? I know I'm supposed to tell by the Q. There we go. No! <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> it's incredible, actually. There we go. Okay, so when he's leaning over the edge, that's when I need to hit the triangle. So okay, so that... Okay, maybe... I don't know, man. I'm a terrible pirate. There we go. Nope. That one. I swear. I know you guys are going to call me dumb in the comments. Maybe I am. I don't know. But I know I could very easily learn which stance is what hit. To be honest, though, I don't feel like figuring it out. It's almost funnier, me winning, knowing absolutely nothing of what I'm doing. I think that's even funnier. 
Bro, he's got beaten by Penelope. I don't know about that one. I think I think we gotta take take that title away from you. Just gonna be honest here. Lafui was beat, outsmarted by our own resident genius, who'd done more than just rescue a team member. He'd won himself a girlfriend. Hey. -o. It was nice to hear him talk. They'd have these conversations the rest of us couldn't even follow. As far as I could tell, they were made for each other. Dimitri was in love too. The new diving gear had gone to his head. We were informed that he'd be our frogman for the Cooper vault job. Not that any of us had even asked him. For the first time in memory, Carmelita didn't show up and cart everyone to jail. Oh well, I'll send her a postcard. You know, I'd hate to have her feel left out. All right, we got Frogman on our team. Let's go. Also, is he a frog? He doesn't look like a frog. He looks like a salamander or something. So I don't, he can't be a frog, right? Or are they just like making a joke on his amphibious nature? I don't know. Honor among thieves. Okay, so here we go. Honor among thieves. Start episode. Episode six. All these memories, they just bring me back to the same place. Getting crushed to death in the fist of some genetics experiment gone wrong. Not the way I thought I'd go out. Shame, really. Now that we've got this big gang... Gang. More like a pack of misfits. Either way, we've become a team. We had some real potential there. Could have pulled off some big jobs. We were so close. The door to the Cooper vault was opening. But that Dr. M. If there's any justice, he'll get his. I just wish I'd seen what was in there. A stockpile of my family's accomplishments. Would I have measured up? What would I contribute? Would my father have been proud of me or ashamed? Funny, but... Here I am at the end, and suddenly all I can think about is what a coward I've been towards Carmelita. Never took the next step. Looking at Bentley and Penelope, it's clear what life is about. If Carmelita was here, I'd tell her straight out how I feel, and quit playing around. Put our professional differences aside and see if we can make it work. But that'll never happen now. I can't take this crushing. Just let the pain stop. Dude, and all of a sudden, I remember why I love this game so much. So much goofiness in 1 and 2, and even most of 3, but... See, it seems like that where... Like, I, don't, I don't even care what you say, but like... that One of the greatest video game scenes of all time, in my opinion. Again, it, it fleshes out Sly so much compared to, again, all the goofiness. God, I love that scene. Oh, there's his uh, cane. Lieutenant Gronk, get your squad together. We're about to see some action. Yes, ma'am. Lock and load, you apes. We're going in. Hold on, my tail. Up to that, Do we gotta shoot him in. Do we gotta shoot Monkey Boy, or do we gotta shoot the big guy in the head? Guess we'll just keep shooting Monkey Boy. Yo, the apes are going crazy. I guess we keep shooting. Alright, let's keep moving. 
Ooh. I'm instantly jump in the water. So, you've got friends. I've got a shot list. Where are you going? Let's go calm it. Kinda goaded. Oh, don't shoot slide, you doofus. Yo, what in the, what in the world are you? Is that a crab lizard? Oh, yeah. I forgot Dr. M's working with, like, mutants and genes and stuff. Yeah, I don't... Out of all the things Dr. M you could make, you chose crab... Crab lizards? Then an... Wait, an alligator crab? Dr. M really do be... He really is evil, considering he made those things have to live. Those things have to live the rest of their lives knowing they're an alligator crab. That's... That's gotta hurt. Nope. Bro, we're definitely gonna give him like, a concussion. This man's gonna... Not have many brain cells left. I'm gonna fry them all. You harpy wits! Why are the police invading my home? I'm here to see that justice is done. Justice? I'm the victim here, defending what's mine from thieves! Looked to me like you were attempting to murder that man. That man, please, you know this is Sly Cooper. You're as transparent as you are narrow-minded. Cooper is a criminal. I'm here to bring him and all lawbreakers to justice. I'm no lawbreaker. It was all self-defense. First things first. Put Cooper down and we'll talk terms. Sorry, Madam Cop, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Although, I can throw you a long, long way. Go and smash that woman, crush her bones to paste, and toss her in the sea where no one will ever find her. Alright, time to 1v1. I can't believe this idiot just brought it to me. <laughs> Poor fool, he looks just like his father, and he's just as dead. Not quite, that was kind of zero brain on the monkey's part. He, he potentially just lost the king. He's still breathing? He's alive! Hang in there, pal! You're gonna be okay! We'll get you back to the ship and patch you up! I don't think you can patch up a crushed lung, homie. Or, like, yeah. Hey, Bentley, are you a surgeon? I'm sure she'll be fine, but. Fly's gonna make it, although he's suffered a major concussion. That's it? If he were up and about, I'm sure he'd want us to retrieve his After that, all he got was a concussion? Jump in, do this swim, and take it. Legit, eh, my main man, bro? Won't be that simple. That's an electromagnetic buoy. Dr. M has set him up all around the island to snag approaching metal bows. We just lucked out that we came here in a wooden ship. She's right. Get too close and your diving gear will magnetize to it. <laughs> That's an excellent idea, Guru. You're the only member of the team who doesn't carry metal equipment. If you can convince some of the local sharks into joining you in an attack, it might be enough to break the buoy. Oh, that's all. All right, we got our resident homeless man. Let's go. You'll need to ride out to the rest of the pack. You'll need to jump from shark to shark to possess them all. After Ooh. you've befriended them once, they'll follow wherever you go. Okay, but how do I? Oh. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. So I need to go, bonk, bonk. That's not very nice of him. Oh! Oh, my bad, shark. Okay, where do I gotta take this, though? Oh, okay. It literally tells me if I, if I had two brain cells, I'd be able to figure it out. You'll need to jump off and get on top of the buoy to activate it. That'll drive those sharks into an attack frenzy. Nice work. Find some more sharks and keep at it. Can I take one of these? Okay, good. Here we go. 
Alright, come here, sharks. Ooh, I, I no shot, dude. I wasn't even anywhere close to those. Alright, let's see if I can actually. <laughs> they literally pop up right when I try to dodge. I am. Okay, it's okay. We're jumping to this next shark anyway. This shark. Bing bong. Alright, let's head back to the buoy. I feel like we're on some, like, episode of... This is a Bear, Bear Grylls show. Maybe I'm, like, the shark whisperer. Dr. Pole type. Thing. Stay cool, Guru. Looks like the defense system has intensified. Guru's had like the sickest. Oh, okay, noted. I'm not supposed to step in those. Guru's had the sickest missions. Like he's actually taken over a Kraken. I feel like he's just got to be like the most overpowered character, right? <laughs> got to be. That should be all of them. I feel like I'll, on a one-on-one, on, one on one, I feel like he's just got to be the strongest, right? Like, who is the strongest Sly Cooper character? Well, like, if we're talking about strongest, I'm probably Panda King, right? Or is Murray strength-wise? I feel like Murray's probably stronger, but Panda King is bigger. So then we got like a one on one with Murray and Panda, and then who's smarter, Penelope or Bentley? I'm assuming Bentley, but maybe that's just sexism. <laughs> so I don't know. Okay, we gotta go all the way around. Alright, let's see. Let's try to do this again without failing. By far, the coolest character. Now, I don't even think there's competition. It's definitely Dimitri. Bro, name someone cooler than Dimitri. Whoop. I love how he's got all these defenses in the ocean. But he never knew what he was fighting against in the first place. So he just kind of set these up at random, which is hilarious. Ooh. Okay, I don't think I actually grabbed a new fish right there. That is not what I meant to do. Okay, I don't know how many, which one of these I've grabbed, so I'm just gonna, I think, rotate my way around all of them. Am I good? Nope. Okay, I have not grabbed all the fish. All right, I think now I'm good, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa. That actually gave me a slight jump scare. I just like dozed off for a hot minute. Did not expect. Oh! I messed up the jump right there, but not like it matters. Each time we get a new shark, we basically get a new life. Well, there goes the cane. See ya. And so I'm talking about Dr. M. He he blew he accidentally threw the cane into the ocean. How are you supposed to find it now? It's okay, Guru. The cane's not lost. We've got a diver on the team, remember? I'll have Penelope prep Dimitri for the job. Don't talk like that. No one else could have got the cane off that magnet. You're a credit to the team. Just leave your shark friends behind. They freak me out. Yeah. Guru, you're my favorite homeless man. There's no better homeless man than you. Bentley's tending to Sly. He wanted me to prep you for the mission. We. Oui. The turtle dude makes sounds for a scuba. There you go, baby. Demetria Natura. Woo! Your plan is worked to perfection. My plan to get you alone in a swimsuit? Come clean, my lovely, and play your cards straight. These are dangerous waters, and I'm a bit strong, macho macho man. Okay, first, get over. 
Like I said, cool character. And yeah, I, I love Dimitri. Quick, grab the cave. I'm detecting some of Dr. M's creatures swimming towards it. Alright, do I like what do Oh yeah. <laughs> now I remember how to move. Oh I remember this mission being so fun. I remember this mission being super, super fun, actually. I think I, I, I had a little bit of trouble doing it when I was uh, younger. So right, left, right, left, down, up, down, up. Still... Okay, managed to only take one hit there, surprisingly. Oh, I actually took a hit there? Oh, we actually made it through? Oh, thank the lord. We gotta shoot him. Good thinking. Take out Dr. M. He's the will behind that creature's attacks. Yep, so depending on how that circle thing is oriented, it either attacks horizontally or vertically. We just kind of got to know. In that case, it's horizontal, then we go down. And I think in this case, do we got to shoot... I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot the monster or the monkey, but I'm just going to shoot the monster because that's the thing sucking me in, right? You go over to the left. You go down. How did that hit me, dude? No shot. Ooh. Okay, so I do hit him. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Ow. Okay, noted. Not supposed to hit those. Don't know how that hit me. How that hit me either. All right, so far so good. I think. And that that monster is low key kind of terrifying, dude. Again, dude, deep sea creatures is like a no go. What's that? What's that word for like fear of deep water? Thalasso. The lasso phobia or something, thasso. I don't know. It's a it's a big old word. There's a whole subreddit to it, but how do I do? I need to hit that. Oh, okay. I just need to hit that. Okay, understood. Understood. I'm sitting here like, how in the world do I dodge that? Yeah, saying that it's one of my favorite subreddits to actually go on. Especially for a hot minute, I actually had Cthulhu as my, like, uh, desktop screensaver. Something about big old water creatures. Are... Love how it just leaves his teeth behind. I'm sorry, Dimitri. You did your best. Come on back. Alright, well, we know where we're going next. We're going up into the sky, and I wonder who has things that can fly in the sky. Hmm. I think I know a person. Alright, what are we going to do next, Penelope? Tell me. What's the next course of action? What are we doing? Do we just shoot him down with Bandit King? That road dude threw down heavyweight. I had him solid. But he ran, baby. 
Yes, and now I'm flat nowhere. You were magnificent. Alone against a creature trapped in an undersea cave. How about a kiss for Monsieur Magnificento? My lips are warm, like bread from the oven. Slow down. Remember rules one and two, both of which told you to get over yourself. Both before my magnificence. Yum, yum. Give me some. I'm going to check on Bentley. I think I'm going to use that one. <laughs> yum, yum. Give me some. I'm you. I'm back to the jack to the Everson, baby. It's facts. Look at him. He's clearly in his prime. He's got a little bit of a gut, but hey. Oh, he's up and running. All right, Sly. Sly, you're up. He should be back in bed after the thrashing he took. Another blow to the head and your brain could snap. Quit your worrying. I feel fine. Did Dimitri find my cane? No, Dr. M managed to get away with it. Then we got to go. You're going nowhere, pal. Any attempt on Dr. M or the Cooper Vault will be impossible with these radar towers linked to the missile turrets. Wait a second. Penelope, have you completed that work we talked about on your RC car? Yeah. Oh, I see where you're going. That'll work. Smash the drones, siphon their power, and fry the tower's matrix. Perfect. Let's get your car onto a drone patrol pipe. Not to be too obvious in exposing my ignorance, but, uh, what in the world are you two talking about? Explaining it would include a lot of multisyllabic words. I could just show you. Bring on the demo. Oh, so we just got hit in the head, so... Can you launch my RC car to that pipe? <laughs> With the fireworks, it will fly as the bird. Let's go, Panic King. Fly, bird. Fly. Of electronic dominance. Time to smash things up. Use the L2 button and the R2 button to activate your vehicle puncher. Knock the security pros off the track with your puncher and pick up your ball energy. Get it up and I'll open the jump gate for the radar now. Okie dokie, Bentley. There we go. Another really, really fun mission. I love. I just I can't stop saying, but this game. Oh, I missed the ball? I'm kind of trash. This game did so much. Okay, meanwhile, let me just try to get off this. This game added a lot of these, like, more mission types with the drones and the... And I love them so much. I think they did a fantastic job with making this game a little bit more diverse. You guys know I play a lot of, a lot of old games on this channel. And a lot of them I have fun with. A couple of them I don't. Like, I'm just going to be 100% genuinely honest. There's a lot of games that I play because I loved as a kid. And, you know, I have fun recording. But sometimes I can't wait for them to be over. This is not one of those types of games. I'm genuinely having fun with this one. Which says something to the quality of the game. Can we just, like, hit him midair? Bop. Here we go. Okay. Oh yeah, it's this thing I was locked off before. Yeet. Scratch one radar tower. Alright, we need to get five more balls. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Bonk. What are these balls again? I'm pretty sure they said what they were and I just wasn't paying attention. Are they just like energy balls? There's an email from school probably. Which reminds me, I have to go to school in, like, an hour, probably. Did I get him? No, I don't think I got him. What, oh, can I, like, just slow down? Oh, what are you doing? No. That was probably a bad idea. No, get back up. Okay, I actually just got trolled by this, by this car. Clearly, he's just better. Ah. I also keep running into those. There we go. All right, two more. I don't know how many tracks we have, but... Ah, okay, that one hit me basically matter. No! Okay, actually, I juked that one a little bit. Bonk. Bonk. 
Can I, like, run back for this one? No! That makes me sad. Alright, one more. Here we go. My RC car doesn't have too, too much HP left, so I've got to be a little bit more careful. Up until now, I've just kind of been uh, roaming around, just having some fun, but I actually need to start not getting shot. Here we go. Ouch. I don't know why I'm bad at this. Here we go. Took a number two. Bop. Can you not do that? Bro. I'm gonna get you. Come here. I want I want your energy. There was two of them? Don't understand why there was two of them, but uh I've got an experiment. I've gotta do this experiment. Okay. We have let's pass him. Phone, stop. I'm recording. Alright, let's pass him. Let's let him pass us. And let's pass him again. Let's let him pass us again. Now. Oh. I still only get one energy thingy. Pull for it for me. Uh, Alright, one more. That turn is all giving me trouble. Is he? Oh, okay. I was like, is he behind me? Could just wait, but I know that dude's right there, so you know what? Give me your power ball, you weirdo. I want it, and it belongs to me now. Gimme, gimme. Ah. Ah, uh, alright. Mine. Apparently not, if I can't get past a single turn. Have I ever hit this turn without doing that? I feel like I learn all these lessons and instantly forget them in the span of 30 seconds. Alright, here we go. Is this the last jump? I've rested long enough. You sure? This is my legacy we're fighting for. You think I want to sit this one out? Understood. The biplane launcher, although untested, should get you a lot. It's gonna be tough up there. Be tougher down here watching others fight my battles for me. Hey yo, are we getting back in the plane? Disable the turrets. You'll need to destroy their sensor banks. Unfortunately, it's only exposed for a short period after a missile is launched. Nice shooting. Good thing Penelope took out those radar towers, or the sky would be thick with guided missiles, all heading for you. Alright, this is not so bad. Once you kind of get a hang of uh, dodging these bad boys, it's not too bad. They're shooting me, a wiener. Let's go. Bop. I want to make sure not to waste too much of my ammo because I can run out actually. And that is no fun. It means I gotta go find some more and... I'm not in the business of finding ammo. I'm in the business of shooting it. Alright. Oh, I got lucky that he was just kind of open right there. Alright, we're going for you, bud. Only got three more left. This has been easy. Uh, I won't even need to find any more ammo either. Oh, well, there is some ammo. I might as well just pick it up while I'm here, right? In case there's a part two to these turrets. Alright, where is... Oh, I can go fast. I totally forgot about being able to go super speed here. They're shooting me, ya bozo. Oh, he actually almost hit me too. Where are you shooting at me from? Hey yo. No! Alright, let's go ahead and um Can we just There we go. Oh no! I'm trying to go down. Um, oh okay, I'm like, do I regain control? Where's that last one? Oh, it's over here. 
or shooting me. Easy. That's not good. What am I supposed to do with these things? Alright. Not too bad. It's gonna take a hot minute. There are 20 of them, but um... It's not too bad. Really? Ow. I just gotta manage to avoid the little turrets, but... How hard can that be, right? I love how it's also shooting at me while it's going down. It's a little dangerous. Ooh, where do you think you're going, bud? Where? Oh, he's going down. <laughs> okay. I guess that's where I want him to go, right? I assumed like he was trying to like run from me. There we go. Bop. Well, I'm gonna run out of ammo, aren't I? Please, no! See, that didn't count as a kill, though, right? Because another thingy exploded him? Alright, let's try to get this guy. There we go. Easy peasy. Is... Yes, okay. I was like... There, there's the delay because they have to fall to the ground, but it always trips me out of, like, did I actually get them? Ouch. It's not good. I'm in the middle of their little shooting area. Right. I look. It's kind. Of, it's kind of nice when they cluster up like this. But at the same time, if they cluster up, it's a bigger chance that I actually get shot, which is not fun either. All right. Here we go. You're next. I'm out of ammo. No. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, here we go. Time to find some more. Where are you, ammo? Oh, you're around here somewhere. Ah, there you are. Oh! Whoops. There you are, right in front of me. Bonk. Alright, burb. Where you at? Is, is it a bird? Is it, or is it a bat? It's just a robot bat. Ah, there you are. That's who I'm looking for. What? How did you survive that? I don't understand how he survived that. Later. Later. Oh, yeah. See, I'm hitting them, but they're kind of coming my way, so it's hard to do the follow-up. Ouch, dude. That person ran into me. Rude. Um, let's go grab this ammo real quick. I have a feeling I'll need it. My bird. Ah! That was a bad choice on my part, actually. I need to avoid hitting them, because then I take damage. Kind of already low on damage to be honest. Or I'm low on health to be honest. I need to be a little bit more care careful about not kamikaze into them. I keep having these weird flight patterns where they kind of cross me though. Alright, there goes that one. There goes that. Alright, two more. Here we go. Where are ya, you little buggers? So you just drive around in a circle until I find him, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, let's maybe give it, slow it down. What time is it? All right, we're still good. We're still good. Why in the world did you fly into that? Not the brightest I, I see. If these are supposed to be like defense bats, they're doing a horrendous job of defending. They're actually running into your buildings. Later. Woo! That one flew by close. Alright, last one. Here we go. I'll see you next time.
Time the Feldrich likes to play second fiddle. I am the master here. Sidekick no more. Hi, <laughs> right, Dr. M. You weirdo. Little does everyone know, but it's like eight hours later. I went to school. I went grocery shopping. I cleaned the house. My wife is cooking dinner. And now I'm back to Sly. Here we go. Ooh! Alright, apparently, in the eight hours I was gone, I also forgot how to play the game. See, why isn't it... Why isn't it hitting where I want it to hit here? I don't know, but... Okay, I need to stop being trash. It's okay, though. Okie dokie. This is very, very trippy. Wonder, does he only stop once I hit him, or does he just stop in general? Alright. Woo! We're going. This is trippy. It feels weird because. I feel like it's not very well. It's hard to spatially know where I am in this, because they're not, I don't think they're three, I don't even know what's going on, are they, are those 3D objects? I don't know, but I can somehow make it through them fine, but it's definitely a little trippy, because I don't know exactly what I'm about to hit, okay, see, these things I have to hit, right, okay, see, why was that not working earlier, was it because I wasn't directly in front of them, I think that might be it, okay, here we go, bop, bop, also, I think, okay, good, I didn't wait for that thing to, Basically, uh, go bump, 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 you know? Oh, this one's a little hard. I don't want to dance. Dancing is dumb. See, how am I supposed to hit him? He keeps me. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, juicy. I'm getting a couple of juicy shots in there. Where do you think you're going, bud? I want to take your giant whale down. Hey, here we go, here we go. A couple more shots. Where do you think you're running, bud? Come on, let's go. Yeah, it's not a good idea, but, um, yeah, what else we got? Sly has a uh, main, uh, main character plot armor anyway, right? What's the worst that can happen? Here we go. Bonk. Just like your father. You don't know anything about me or my father. I'm gonna move the mic. Really? Well, who let you in on the seat of this place, eh? Was it my old pal McSweeney, perhaps? McSweeney works for you? This was all a setup to get the cane. No, my boy. Once upon a time, he and I worked together for your dear old dad. My father wouldn't have run with a guy who tried to steal from the Cooper vault, let alone attempt to kill his son. Time does strange things to people. Just look at the real leader of your gang. Bitly. Whatever. We're friends. Equals. Then why is it called the Cooper Gang, you self-centered egomaniac? That's enough. <laughs> Time to meet the past. It's kind of true, though. Why is it called the Cooper Gang? I want to call it like, the Animal Pack or something cartoonish. Okay. I guess we're going into the vault. Let's do it. Team, a family. We should do this together. Okay, be right up, partner. Nice. We'll have the Panda King give the van a boost. Stand clear, Sly. We're about to get awesome. Very cute. The fuse is lit. Buckle so, up, Bentley. We're about to fly. Yeah, what? 
Oh, this is sick. What do we do with the church inside the vault? Do we just, like, store it up? We're never doing that again. Because I always thought the Cooper gang were, like, one of those, like, take from the rich, give to the poor. But if we're just putting it in a vault, what do, do we, like, give it away? I don't understand. Or is this just like for like prized well, possessions? Amazing. Yeah, it's gotta be like at least a hundred years old. Good guess. An archaeological marvel. At least a hundred and ten for sure. Because it looks like I'll have to go on from here alone. Do it, Slide. This place was built for you. We'll hold down the fort here. I think he could still come. Just uh. You know, Murray, jump on Bentley. Bentley, use your thrusters. I believe. Hmm. Could be dark in there. <laughs> not for the last time, game. I'm not using 2000s technology. I'm good. I am okay with my 2D. My ancestors sure knew how to decorate. Nothing but big piles of gold. Okay. So I'm definitely going to take a look around here for just like small things this place was started by slight and common the second he built his fortune in the employ of the great pharaohs that must have been around 1300 bc 1300 bc okay see are we near egypt i feel like this would be a weird place to have a cave if we're not near egypt right that's a lot of gold that's a lot of gold just kind of chilling in the water it seems um, am I doing the right thing here? Oh, I'm guessing. Those are gonna go down, right? Oh, yeah. Again, I wanna look around to see if there's any, like, secrets that maybe I missed as, like, a kid, you know? Is there anything cool around here? Let me turn down the... I feel like the volume is way too loud, right? There we go. No! <laughs> no! Oh, I'm sick. Treasure? Cool. See... My brain just wants to go over there and just grab a couple handfuls and we can just buy all the moves right away. That reminds me, I have a lot of gold and I still have some moves to buy. Sir Gallop of the Knights of the Cooper Order. Honorable Knight and Cunning Thief. Okay, there's this shield. That's actually a pretty sick shield. Except I don't like the sword. Why is the sword bent like that? I don't like that, but I like his shield a lot. Okay, can we... What is in this direction? Nothing. Okay. Let me take some more gold here. Boink. Can we see what's under the water? It seems like very, very deep. I wonder like how far... See, but it's weird because that money pile becomes stone when we hit the water. So maybe the money isn't as deep as I think it is. Whoops, I almost fell down. Okay. I'm questioning the purpose of this. Can't tell if this is defense or this is just like, oh, I like rolling rocks. Or stone? I don't know, man. Who knows at this point? Ooh, I'm not going to jump over three of them, that's for sure. Okay. A little flight here. Okay, we got some carpets. What is this uh, guy? Indian? Indian. I see one carpet and I instantly assume Indian. Look at me. Although I'm right. Salim Al Kapar of Arabia. It was said that he had the stealth of 40 thieves. 40 thieves, classic, huh? How do you have the stealth of 40 thieves? I don't know. How do you. How do you quantify thiefness? I am actually 27 and a half thieves? What the world is this? Bro, does someone like lube up those joints? After this many years, I'm surprised this is doing <laughs> rolling as smooth as it as it is, to be honest. 
Okay, I'm guessing I gotta go right there, right? Skirt. Yo, what is dripping down that? Is it stalagmite? Or is... There's two things, right? There's a stalagmite and there's a... I don't know, I'm not in geology, but... There's two things. One that goes up, one that goes down. Ooh, this guy looks cool. What is this, a Mongol? The strongest of the Cooper clan, Slay McCooper, could break any lock with a single blow. Can't tell if that's prehistoric Cooper or, like, Mongol Cooper, or is that, like, Scottish Cooper? Who knows? But he's definitely a big boy. Wee! Oh! I didn't realize it would do me like that. It's a, a lot. What are those? Is that an axe? Stone axes? Maybe that guy. Maybe that guy was. Wait, does every person add a trap? Like, so we got big boy, um, ancient Cooper. Did he add this trap? Because those little stone things do look very ancient. Dude, what in the world? I feel like I'm being very impatient here. But I also feel like I just want to get past it. Oh, I totally glitched the crap out of that one. Alright, here we go. And you know, I'm just gonna wait. I gotta stop being so impatient here. Ah, uh, see, I don't know if I could have made it to the next one. But I also don't feel like trying. Just, uh, slow down, David. Slow down. We'll make it there eventually. Feels weird. Cooper's like, or Sly's looking at us directly in the eyes. Look at him. Look at him looking into your soul. Okay, we got. Ooh, is this Japanese ninja Cooper? The ninja spire landing was perfected in feudal Japan by Ryoichi Cooper. This doesn't look. Well, those are katanas, right? We seen they're like a form of like short katana, maybe. <gasps> Whoops. So maybe all these traps are based on the Coopers. So each Cooper gets to add a trap. Well, see, now I almost want to go back to the beginning and, like, re-see all of the traps because I didn't realize that they were connected to something. Boing. Boing. These are very bouncy swords. Bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. Ooh. No! Oh, don't do Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Oh, so close. Alright. Come on, go under. Come back. It's really just that last one that screwed. I pressed the button. I pressed the button, I swear. Dude, on my mama, I pressed that button. Zoom, zoom. Right, come on, this, 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 out of all the, I'm pressing the button. I don't know. I'm pressing the button. I do. I swear to you, on my YouTube career, I am pressing that button. And the fact that that's happened, I think three times so far, astounds me. Okay, come on, please, please. There we go. Bonk. Alright, there we go. Finally, finally. We have, like, no health to show for it, but we did it. Gimme, gimme. Gimme all the gold. Okay, where are we headed to next? Okay, okay, okay. Who is that? Oh, is that Pirate Cooper? Let me guess. J Jack. Oh, but it's hope. It's a woman. Ayo, first uh, woman Cooper? Guess I really take after her. Yeah, it feels like you take after a lot of people. We've I think we've used guns, we've used cannons, we've used swords. Sly's really getting the whole Brady bunch as far as the Sly Cooper skills go. Ooh, I gotta run. Mm, can I make it? Oh 
Oh, it didn't send me to the beginning. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, I almost got last minute sniped by that yellow wall. That would have been real sad. Skirt. Alright, who's the next Cooper? Let me see. Okay. Oh, is this going to be Western Cooper? I see the bottles and the wheels. This has got to be Western Cooper, right? Hey, oh, is it? Oh, this is built. What? Hold on, hold on. Because he this guy is in slide four. What is it? It's like I think it's a play off of Billy the Kid, right? I don't know. Is it Cooper the Kid? Tennessee Kid Cooper. Tennessee Kid. That's the railroad tracks in the old west. Tennessee Kid Cooper. That's the one. Something with Kid. Alright, let's see what Mr. Kid has for us as far as traps go. No, okay, maybe they don't. That's not. This isn't very Kid-like. This isn't very Western. Woo! I jumped real high for that one. Bendy, bendy. No? I feel like I'm not supposed to hit those rocks, but then I just didn't. It didn't matter, so I don't know what I'm thinking. <gasps> oh, oh. Okay. This is just like the Jean Besson level. We go up a rope while things are trying to smush our little fingers. There we go. I'm guessing that's where I go next. Alright, hold on, let me guess. There's a piano. Debonair Cooper. Right? Victorian era London. Victorian the Cooper, okay. Grounds for the most gentlemanly thief, Thaddeus Winslow Cooper. Yo, what is slide? Oh, okay, I thought he was like bending his back. Dude, England Cooper, Debonair Cooper. What's the difference? James Bond Cooper. I don't know, man. But give me, give me all the gold. Give me. It's actually not that much comparatively. I could get much more by stealing out of pockets, but. Oh, uh, oh, is it another one of these traps where the barrels go yeet into the ground? Okay. So I gotta wait for that one to open. And then I can basically go here. Alright, couch with an absurd amount of money. For a fancy rich man, I'm surprised he uh, keeps all of his gold inside of a couch. A little weird. A little spinny spin. One of these. A doink. Okay, that was not an editing error, that was the game. Very interesting. I know what I need to do. I need to jump, right? And then I go, yeet. 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 Oh, yeah. This is actually one of my favorite obstacles. That's so cool. Aviator Cooper? We follow after this guy, too. Besides being a thief, Otto von Cooper was a great fighter ace and mechanic. Otto von Cooper. I'm surprised they didn't play off of uh, the Amelia Earhart. Amelia Von Cooper, I don't know, man. Oh, that's going to be a mistake. It's okay, though. I made it past. Yeah, this is definitely one of like my favorite pieces of Sly. <gasps> Just being able to see like his ancestors is fairly interesting, actually. As far as like lore-wise. And I know we get to see a couple of them over in Sly 4... It's only a shame that Sly 4 sucked so bad. <laughs> it would be a lot cooler if uh, in, in 4 we actually... S anyway. I'm sure Sly 4 isn't the worst game on the planet. Hold on. I don't think I'll be able to guess this one. I didn't look yet, but I, I'm seeing briefcases of money and technology, right? Is this like early America, Cooper? Technically. No, this is uh his dad. This must be my father's work. How am I supposed to get through this thing? He made this challenge for a move I've never learned. There's nothing like this in the previous Raccoonus. Come on, Dad, help me out here. Hmm. Interesting. So it's a laser. See, we just walk on it. 
Oh. Okay, we can just walk on it. That wasn't very challenging. Nice work, Dad. I also feel like maybe this actually isn't. I think this is just a problem just because there's so many lasers. I feel like as far as the game goes, this is definitely like the most entities in the game we've had so far. This must be the inner sanctum. Wish Bentley and Murray were here for this. Wait. There's laser beams? Wait. He didn't finish. What about those laser beams? I wanted to know what the laser beams. Do it, Sly. This place was built for you. We'll hold down the fort here. Oh, I'm like, we just did this. I get it, though. Now we're playing with a different point of view. I got it. I got it. My little brain is picking it up as we go. Ooh, Bentley stuck. This is going to be the payday of all time. Think of all the loot piled up back there. You ever feel like you're playing second fiddle to Sly? Like he treats us as sidekicks? No way. Sly's cool. We're all in this together. Sure, we're all here. But are we equal? Who went into the vault? Sly. By himself. Watch out! Dude, Bentley's evil arc is starting. Dr. Ebb's goons? They must have forced the door after we opened the lock. Think of it this way, Bentley. If it were you in that vault and Sly and I were out here, what would he do? Stop these thugs and protect his friend. Right, and that's what I'm gonna do. Keep your head down, stay clear. I'm gonna smash a lot of skulls, and I don't want yours to be one of them. Let's go, Murray. The absolute goat and best friend. Get, it, get hit? Maybe you wouldn't get hit if you were if you weren't standing still, you doofus. Yo, what happened? Is it because Bentley got hurt? No shot. If Bentley gets hurt, I lose. How does that make any sense? Why can't Bentley just fight? <laughs> Come on, bro. What are you just doing over there standing there? Help me out. Alright, no problem. No problem. Alright, let's... I definitely want to use my fire hands on these uh, crab homies because they're the ones that can block. They're the one they're the slightly tougher ones. Whoopsies. Let's make sure no one's hitting Bentley again. I'm confused that why I'm why I failed that time. Did I not like kill him fast enough? What's the problem? Bonk! Ooh, I need to get out of that. No. Bonk. Yeah, that, and that charge is kind of goaded. The problem is, I'm kind of out of mana again. That's a lot of crab boys. That'd be kind of good. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Ah. Well, let me get some of that health. Thank you. You stop singing at me. I don't like when you sing. You sound bad. I'm gonna eat this bomb. Ah. Very cool, Bentley. Thank you for your observation. Monkey. to get into a screaming match with a caveman like yourself. Then lock horns with me. Think you'll find I'm a better match. I have no fight with you, Bentley. You and I are the same. I gather you were the technical specialist working with Sly's father. You knew Sly's dad? Quiet, caveman. The adults are talking. That's right, Bentley. I know the pain you suffer working under your inferior... It's no secret, I'm smarter than the other guys. But there's more to it than that. <laughs> like what? Legs. Like brotherhood. Brotherhood? <laughs> That's just what he wants you to think. 
It's a tool to keep you in line. Now that's the thing that keeps us happy and alive. It's why I'm going to stop you. And me too. Fine, Koopa Gang. I tried. Caveman attack! Yo, Dr. M's kind of built. This guy's stronger than he looks. Need some help. Okay, so I... Okay, here we go. Ooh. I'm pinned down. Need to fall back on my grapple camp to deal with these goons. Why can't I just bomb them? Okay, here we go. Grapple cam. No one. Oh yeah, I forgot I put the sick turret on it. Did it? Did it make it? Oh yeah. Stop shooting at me, you weirdos. Go back to the zoo. Losers. Hey yo, Penelope. Whew. Can't be talking like that. Bentley's gonna get distracted. Here, <laughs> keep the keep the nice words until after the mission's done, huh? Oh, that's not good. I, I need to get behind something now. Oh, see, okay. I need I need just the two seconds to jump. Please, 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 please. Let me get behind. Okay, here we go. Right. Oop, I'm not supposed to shoot Bentley. Stop shooting at me. You guys dead? I don't know if the PS2 can uh, go that far. Okay, um, let's go ahead and grapple a little closer then. There we go. Yeah, apparently my thing didn't reach that far. Alright, you two. Bonobos, stop it. Yeah, weirdos. Oh, there's one more of you? You done now? Thank you. Appreciate it. Bing bong bong. <gasps> I almost thought I didn't make it. <laughs> You've been bamboozled. Well played, Bentley! But it was a meaningless gesture. According to the tracking device I planted on Sly's cane, he's just entered the inner sanctum. I can use the collected positional data to get through the gauntlet with ease. That hauls for Cooper's only. Maybe it's time for men such as you and I to change all that. Nah, monkey boy. <laughs> he's getting away! What do we do? Uh, I'll think of something. Just give me time. Follow? You know something, Bentley? What? You think awesome. Thanks, pal. You do think awesome. Good job, Bentley. Okay, what do we do next? Oh, what's going on here? This is just overwhelming. Amazing. How did Thaddeus make a flying machine in the 1800s? That this thing still works. Oh, I'm sure it's operational. Dr. M, glad you could see all this. I know you've been looking forward to it. Looking forward to all this and your death. Come on, aren't we supposed to banner a little? All right. I'm getting real good at the first couple of phases here, but... That fire stage is kind of giving me some trouble here. Let's go ahead and see what we can do this time around. Ooh, almost got caught. Caught lacking in front of the in front of the boat. Okay, did I somehow managed to avoid get. Oh, I said I managed to avoid getting hit in there, and then I instantly get. Okay, I was not. I. Okay, hey, we took a lot less health than normal, so you know what? I'll take that. No problem at all. You get. I wish those hits counted because they're basically free hits. Come on, monkey boy. Woo. Hmm. I probably can get like a cheeky hit in, but I don't think so. Uh, let's head over here. Let's destroy. 
Okay. So now we need to move in. Ooh. Is he going to do the... Oh, we actually hit him twice there. That was kind of goaded. Oh. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, we actually... Okay. Alright, we're going into the last... I don't know. I actually don't know if this is the last phase. This might be second to last. Not, not too bad, though. We took a lot less damage that time around than we normally do. So you know what? Not bad. Not bad. I'll take those. Now, this is the stage that I have the trouble with. So, really... This is the one that matters to me. I can't seem to do this one properly for the life of me, so. Mm. Oh. It's okay, that hit didn't make it. No. Okay. Oh, he's running after me. Gotta have those fireballs explode. Then, come on, dude. Are you serious? No, okay, I need to... I I don't think I can... Oh, okay, no, I can dodge that. Okay. Why can't I just do this correctly? Okay. Come on, there we go, finally. Okay, I think we need to hit him one more time. You've got some mopsy sly. I'll give you that. I don't know what went down between you and my father, but I'm telling you, it's not the same with me and Bentley. You might be right. He risked his life to defend you. I do the same for him. Funny. Your father was never such a good friend. We're all individuals. I might be part of all this, a member of the Cooper line, but in the end, I'm just me. Not Henriette, Thaddeus, Slight and Common, Ryoichi, or my father. Just Sly. Please. Keep your touchy feely rhetoric to yourself. I can't stomach it. You coolers a bunch of dirty attention grubby thieves. All of you thieves. Hey yo, best character. You right there. Both of you thieves are going to jail. Nice to see you, gorgeous. You too. Oh, I love interest. I might be beaten, but I'll make you suffer. Not her! Oh! President, get down. Not Cooper, bro. Not like no this. One hurts my criminal. Hey, yo. Time to shoot him up. I'm playing Counter Strike right now. I'm gonna no scope you, bro. Stupid monkey. Now look at you. Mm. What happened? Sly? Where are we? What is this place? Sly, can you remember anything? No. Who are you? You look familiar. I'm Inspector Carmelita Montoya Fox. And who am I? You. You're my partner, Constable Cooper. Well, partner, we'd better get out of here. The ceiling's gonna go. Haven't got much time. Let's go. That yeah, warms my heart. Also Sly, makes me very sad. You in here? Sly? We watched as Dr. M just stood there, unwilling to leave as the walls caved in on the vault. He'd spent his life lusting over the Cooper fortune, and he wasn't going to give it up, no matter what the cost. Our exit was a little rough, but Murray managed to get us out just in time to witness the final fate of the Cooper legacy. It was a bittersweet moment, the end of the road always is. We both looked on, lost in our thoughts. Thinking back on all the adventures that had brought us here. The people we'd met and places we'd seen. We'd worked for a long time to get Sly into that great vault, and now its secrets were hidden again, this time for good. I could only hope that he'd found what he was looking for in there. We searched every inch of the island for Sly, retrieving the gang one by one, only to make the surprising discovery that he didn't want to be found. 
As always, he left a calling card. Only this time, it was worth millions. The months rolled by, and when Sly still hadn't shown up, Murray headed back east to complete his training with the Guru. Without Sly as our leader, for the first time, we each had to step out on our own. A difficult thing. We'd been together ever since we met at the orphanage. To this day, Murray and I are still close. Recently, he's been trying to break into the pro racing circuit, stock van class. Things are looking good. He's got a unique talent for living through crashes other people would have found fake just always bounces clear. And of course, there's Penelope, my new partner in crime. Let me tell you, I'm in love. She and I have set out on a journey that I never would have dreamed up while running with Sly and Murray, although I hope our paths will cross again soon. So while this might be the end of our adventures together, it could be the start of something even bigger. Time will tell. Literally, cause I'm building a time machine to find out. It was slide four, where we go through time. All right, there we go. I think that's technically the end of the game. Although there's only like 51% done as far as the game. So to become a celebrity skin diver. Hold on. The ladies flocked to him, and so did the money. I got a postcard from him once. It said, I'm here, wish you were fine. Like me. He's his own man. I'm guessing they're going to show us a couple of those in between. But I was going to say, there's a lot of these speed challenges, which we'll do. The king returned to China and lived a happy life living two doors down from his beloved daughter. She, of course, was pleased to have him screen all of her future suitors. As of yet, she's still unmarried. I don't think she'll ever get married. <laughs> I don't think Panda will ever pick. He doesn't seem like a nice guy. The Guru returned to the Outback and took on some new Dreamtime students. One of which was a high-profile rock star that brought a lot of unwanted media attention. Last I heard, he was hiding out in New York City. Figured it was the last place they'd ever look. Who else we got? I know they're saving Sly for last. I know they are. Show us what Sly's up to. Devil. I'm guessing he doesn't have amnesia then, huh? I feel like, would you really want to lie like your entire life? Like, hey, by the way, I don't have amnesia. Yeah, it's just me. It'll, he'll flip eventually. He'll, he'll say something like, remember when you used to chase me? And she'll be like, what? Okay. Um, extremely cute. Y'all know I usually give reviews at the end of the games. I'm gonna keep this one short. It's a fantastic game for... Is this PS3 or PS2? I think it's a PS2. Whatever it is. It's just a fantastic game. Um, big improvements to Sly 2. I, before I was playing Sly 1, 2, and 3, I saw a lot of people say Sly 2 was the best. And honestly, remembering, I did too. I said Sly 2 I think is the best. After playing it, now that I've played 1, 2, 3 in quick succession... I changed my mind. I think 3 is the best. Um, the story is probably slightly better, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, this story is like Hooper's never been a strong suit. But the missions are funner, the maps are cooler. Obviously, it's a sequel. It's made later, so it should be better. But they did do better, which is good. A lot of sequels aren't better, but this one is. Can't say the same about Sly 4, but this one is good. And I'm going to say that so far, out of the 3, Sly 3 has been my favorite, and it has been the best. And I highly recommend playing it. 
I really highly recommend playing all three, but number two and three are close, though. I will, I will say they are close. Two, like I said, is really good because of the improvements that it made, but three is good just because three is good. Not as many, like, there's not as many improvements forward, but the game itself is just such good quality. It's almost a shame, once again, that they ruined it with Sly 4, but what are you going to do? And I do plan on playing Sly 4. I do plan on it. Will it happen? I can't guarantee it, but am I planning on it? I am. But again, the game is technically not done. As far as, I think, the, like, the, the, like, percentage, we're only, like, 50-something, so... I think, see, in here is jobs, the getaway, what is this, the gallery? Jobs and challenges. These are all challenges that we have to do. My problem is there's a lot of them. You basically have to replay the game. I think we will definitely do a lot of them, but we're not going to do them right. I'm going to end this episode off here, if I didn't make that obvious. Maybe we'll get around to them. If I have some time, I'll definitely do them. Uh, but once again, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Again, amazing game. Please play it if you have the chance. And don't be that weird guy. I don't, I don't want to play it unless it's on the PS2. Bro, just download the emulator. Play it on the emulator. I'm playing it on an emulator right now, and it's good. The amount of problems that I've had are so minimal. Just get yourself a controller. Like it's The game is amazing. Don't be scared of emulators. A lot of people are, and I don't understand it. The game is still the the great game that it is play it i highly recommend it and um as far as what i'm gonna play after this once again probably slide four i'm playing definitely still flash games probably you guys have probably noticed there's a couple of those on my channel um as far as what i'm gonna play after there's a lot of other ps2 games that i want to play that aren't as high quality as this but they're just like fun games like the cars ps2 game i just want to play it but i'm gonna end the episode off here i'll see you guys in the challenges He's too fast. Lure him into the tar pool. That should slow him down. <laughs> to another valve.
Murray, these pumps are out of tar. I saw some more valves over by the cop station. Follow me to a fresh supply. <laughs> Without the tar, I'll crush you boys like a bugs! Not holding back no longer. Listen to the song of your death. The Murray knows no song but the triumphant horn section of his own triumph. Quit talking, a stupid kid, and die. <laughs> 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 Valve's empty. I'll crack another. The tar's ready to flow. to another valve. Ready with the tar. Looks tough. Might take some more bombs. We've got company. Just stay on those tar pipes. This is good hair. This is getting serious. Better hurry it up with those pipes. Shock on! Turn it on! Oh, 
Crank it up. Let go of me, you geriatric fiend. Shut up and hold still. for this you won't get enough for the grave pal sly hurry it up pipe it down lunch meat activate Solid one. sense, of course. Keep this up, and the environmentalist will send a thank you card. Coming down!
wall hooks. The miners must use them to haul up their drills. Looks like you're going to get some rock climbing practice. up the environment or anything, but these caves are rich with opals. I can see why these miners are so driven.
should move on to phase two, where we light the crude oil on fire! Chew that miner like bubblegum! Okay. Eat up, pal! Chop that clown in half! Hungry little fella! Delicious miners! Wonder if they taste good! Thank you. 
Vince, Sly, you okay? Right as rain, pal. Good one, Sly! Just keep coming. You holding up, Murray? Feeling strong. Behold my powers of destruction. Well struck, Murray. You're looking good, Murray. Go. Keep your tip.
this law, girl? Chip and nail, sweetheart. in the finals tomorrow. Done deal.
while it lasts.
sleep? What's he TV? Some real competition on our hands this year. Oh, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Merit. No, 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 no. We've done a fine job training. Our pilots are in tip top condition. The best lot without question. Truly. This is going to be.
<laughs> Come back and take it like a man.
Okay, sneak up behind him and pickpocket the screws from his peg leg.
My ancestors sure knew how to decorate. Nothing but big piles of gold.
Yes, you're dead.
we're here to talk about some of the earlier stuff. Uh, just produced for Sly. Uh, I'm Dev Madan, art director of Sucker Punch. I'm Nate Fox, I'm one of the game designers. And what we're looking at here is a level that was produced um, but never made it into the game. Well, it made it into the game spiritually. Yes, spiritually. I mean, you can tell. It's, it's like a big, uh, impressive, kind of Riv Riviera feel, high class, very yeah. like Sly Cooper right. style. Yeah, just figuring out the evolution of the gameplay between Sly 1 and Sly 2. Months we worked on this? Eight months? Yeah, a shamefully long, long amount of time. And it didn't even make it into the game. Yeah. But it was sort of the, uh, the, the, the conceptual building block for how we were going to construct Sly 2, which was a big part of mm -hmm. Sly 1. I mean, totally. You can tell like, it's all non linear and how you move through this space. Totally. It's a pretty, pretty radical shift for us. I remember in this level, uh, we were going to have a Bentley steal a giant yacht and smash it through all of these docks and eventually uh, bash it into that large uh, building, which was a casino, mm -hmm. so that the Cooper gang could pull off a pretty sweet heist. Those are the smartest guards ever. I know. Well, at least they stand handed attention. You know? <laughs> Sly attacks them and they're, yeah. they're there. They're very present emotionally. I love this cop boat because it uh, fe features the fine Sucker Punch tradition of writing poor French on things. <laughs> and one loves this, so we're now back at slide oh, one. Do you read me? Yeah, Bentley, I hear you. I've just identified a potential problem. See that filthy game? I love, there? you know, we, we, we kept the same Bentley the from the very first just kind out. of voice uh, experiment. Okay. But that's slide. Oh my gosh. chance for oh me to bust gosh. out my new climb move. Climb move! Oh, man. Give everyone like to punch a character in the face more. That would be it. Bentley's a pretty interesting guy, the voice of Bentley. Mm -hmm. He's a friend of the felony office. He worked in a record store down on the street from me. It'd be nice to go in and get a uh, recommendation on, on an album. And he ended up being the voice of Bentley. Yeah. Well, it'll give you record recommendations in the Bentley voice. <laughs> I think he walked up the one. <laughs> Two shells down. That makes sense. Oh, look, oh, this is a dancing cat. Yeah. Oh, Nothing we says forgot. video game good to times like dancing cat. <laughs> that scene inanimate. Uh, well, I guess it is inanimate if it's dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, man, man, even this music I remember. Like, I can't listen to this in the CD anymore. This is the same level we we're just look, looking at, just in a obviously much more primitive form. Look at the animation. Oh yeah, Sly looks like he's got a problem. <laughs> yeah. What's his wow. deal? If you saw somebody in real life running like that, what, what would you assume would happen to them? Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm th thinking burn victim. <laughs> Back injury? Fuse spine? <laughs> Fuse spine? Oh yeah. So we didn't have the cell borders on Sly. No. Sly's cane could transform into many unique devices, including this fabulous number, which would allow you to see an invisible maze. So amazing. So that we were so bad in terms to put this in the game. This level went through the entire development process. Everybody in the office touched it. That can just one. Yeah. Funny that parts of this level actually did ship in Sly mm -hmm. 1. Sly versus the huge pistons. Why is Sly always evading large machine parts? <laughs> if I ever get rich, I'm gonna hide all my money around <laughs> huge <laughs> moving parts. With <laughs> open fire pits. Yeah, <laughs> lots of fire right near my my <laughs> folding paper cash. Oh, check, check out that dynamic move. Actually, it's interesting. That this is a really, really old move movie, but. Slide's still de doing those uh, cane swings off the mm hooks. -hmm. Yeah. Was that where you came up, up with the idea for the cane in the, in the first place? No, it was, uh, it was more of a question mark. <laughs> Actually, it was 
because he's a raccoon of mystery. mystery. Which is clearly, clearly evident in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that masked character right. swinging on the blowing? The only thing that I kind of wish that we didn't get rid of was this, the original idea was that Fly's eyes should always be able to see them, even in the dark. So, like, we'll see here. And he turns around. <laughs> if he ever turns around again. Um, but how his eyes pop out. Yeah. Oh, remember that checkpoint with the Sly logo on it? We had a lot, lot, lot of arguments internally about whether or not there would be Sly iconography in the world that belonged oh, to the Oh, yeah, 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 totally. It would feel more like stealing if you didn't, didn't run across stuff that uh, belonged to, belong to you. Yeah. Uh, he's finally made, he's made it in. I like that mo most of our conversations internally are about, about what would make it feel more like thieving or be being a thief. Uh, at this point, I think we're pretty aware of what it takes to be a thief, and if we lose our jobs... <laughs> we can, we, we got another line of work. Yeah, we got a, <laughs> our second career is all lined up. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it made sense that one of the five people freeze things. We'll be right yeah, well, we gotta know, right? Yeah. Like, uh, players oh, well, will not, not know that they can freeze, freeze. water, so, so they should something like need something fish. iconic. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't want to freeze a fish? <laughs> oh, the crab takes it again. <laughs> and this is... I like that we made the NPC orange, so that you can't tell from where he is on the floor. Oh, right. So or the orange NPC on an orange, orange platform. That's part, part of his cunning camouflage ploy. Totally. <laughs> if anyone asked, it was completely to make the NPC look extra so smart. <laughs> Money popping up out of holes. <laughs> so interesting seeing the character without his cell I really like that old thing where the, where the money would fly, fly like butterflies yeah. into your pack. Yeah. Pretty, you know, uh, or True. surreal. Yeah. But uh, it's rewarding. Yeah. yeah. Didn't we have problems using uh, green money because it would, wouldn't Local localize into yeah. different countries? Yeah, and, uh, it truly illustrates a, a problem globally that we have different colored like, money. The video game industry would really benefit from one color. Oh, the underwater approach. approach. Yeah. You'll notice that's the same fish that was a free freeze fish. <laughs> just kept <laughs> using it. Here. <laughs> oh. Slap. Oh, oh yeah, you can change the wings yeah. on the underwater Rose vehicle to, to go through different openings in the cave. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Raleigh's level was supposed to entirely be underwater. Yeah. Yeah. That was gonna be our first level of the game, yeah. underwater, because it was gonna be easier to do it that <laughs> way. Oh man. Oh. Very intense. Uh, this, this is amazing. This old sly. It's good. Was, was this PC? I don't know. You know, you know, frankly, like I've blocked this sly out of my memory. <laughs> as far as as far as I'm concerned, the sly we know today kind of sprang up fully formed. It's like a boxing gloves on and. Big clown shoes. Clown feet. Yep. Oh, but check it out. He's a he's a dynamo <laughs> in action. Wow. Puts that set up ahead. Stairs. Oh yeah. Video oh. games are all about like like fantasy fulfillment, yeah. and here we're fulfilling the fantasy <laughs> of ascending up a blue staircase. <laughs> but watch out, kids! There's lava up ahead. Yeah, I, I never really noticed, but Sly's in a lot of, a lot of caves in these demos. <laughs> uh, all those stretched textures and careful, careful Sly. Sly. Yeah. Care careful Sly. Don't trust ambiguously oh. shaped objects. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, I don't know if you know it, but uh, orange means, means lava. Lava. 
Oh wait, lava is bad for video game characters. Video game character and a video yeah. game? Lava. It is. At least in most video games, that's the case. However, in our, our game, we uh, decided that it didn't hurt his <laughs> life at all. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, yeah. So he, he could run in lava. Yeah. Whereas the mod modern Sly, he can't swim. Totally, totally. But he can run in lava. It's the clown shoes. <laughs> Completely. Totally. Totally. He used to be a lot tougher. Yeah. Is what did. this video tells me. Cool. Yeah, it's an impressionistic painting. <laughs> it's a Dutch, Dutch masterpiece. Cool. I kind of miss the Sucker Punch era, era of rolling lava rocks. <laughs> I feel like that was a real staple for us. Yeah. Not too beefy, though. Not too beefy, no. Oh, the big guy! The original! The Pretenator! <laughs> Check out that I was, mean I, I have nothing to say about that. That was brutal. You did the mocap for that run, didn't you? <laughs> oh, here he is in his most modern form. <laughs> Whereas I, I did the mocap for this, this sequence. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that looks better than the original slide I model we just looked at. I kind of missed the purse, though. No. Really? No, not really. Hey, still doing the hook swing. Mm -hmm. Same as way back when. Still got the giant machine parts. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, in caves. <laughs> yeah, in caves. There's a lot more catapults in the new game, though, yeah, yeah. than in past games. That's because those environments were so big. That's true. Environments have gotten big. Just like Monaco, yeah, really. Monaco, like, that was yeah. a big departure, and mm -hmm. it really is what we're doing these days. Like, this street right here is just like that one yep. in Monaco. Yep. Yep. This would significantly be more gunplay. That's interesting to look at the uh, computer monitor section of that gameplay. Just the, how, how much more abstract everything's gotten from those original kind of very linear very level design. I mean, we clearly wouldn't have even thought about multiplayer. Venice is the same kind of romantic getaway Monaco was. Monaco, yeah. Of course, uh, multiplayer, it's not so real romantic. No. no. Well, that's... That's that. That's that. That, that was really painful. Show your bling and let me shine you.